Good morning, good morning. Cloudy, rainy day. North Florida. Even it's a not a good day for the dogs. Bad man. Amy, hello. Red JTV. I think that's red. Is that the same red? If he's not blue, I'll have to turn him back. Is that Jay? Is that Jay? I haven't seen you in forever. So I, I see y'all uh, watch the sci-fi thing. I don't know where he's at. I don't know the police station. I don't even know his real name. Things that we should know. Um, I don't think they're going to keep him very long unless you don't tell him his name. But I'm pretty sure they already know it. Bell Admin, good morning, good morning. I don't know if anybody knows what happened or where he was at. I mean, we know what happened, but I don't know if anybody has sci-fi Bryce information. Pouring down rain and standing out here getting wet. Knock it off, you two. This ain't time for that. Would you stop? Silly nugget. Nug, no. I thought that was you, Jay. I wasn't sure. Ain't seen you a while. Let me get back in the house. I'll fix you. I don't think. Wait a minute. I might be able to do that right now. Nope. I'll have to do it when I get back in the house. I, mean, I don't think you're blue right now because I wasn't sure. I had a couple J's and I wasn't sure what happened. But either way, um, just if anybody knows where this was at, oh, you only know his first name? All right, you two. Come on. Let's go. Oh, shit, that's lightning. It's time to run. Come on, Bever. Bever, come on. Run. Woo, that stuff sounded rough. Go on, knucklehead. Leave, leave Nugget outside. He don't care if he gets wet. Me and Bever, we, we don't want to get wet. Oh. Holy cow, that stuff was lightning. We had the worst rain you've ever seen. Oh, it's freaking cold rain, too. Um, yeah, I, I, if anybody knows anybody, because I guess this just happened. I don't know. I woke up and Ohio Steve alerted me and told me, oh, yep. So Ohio Steve was, um, watched this go down, I guess, last night. And Amy and them, I'm, um, like I said, I just figured I'd record it, copy it, put it up. His video is still spinning, so his camera is probably still running. I'm not sure how long it'll run. <clears throat> but uh, any helps help, you know what I mean? Any help we can get out there for him because, like I said, uh, he ain't in no position probably right now to help himself. And if there's a bond, um, maybe somebody can help try to get that going. I don't know. He's in Michigan near Great Lakes. Okay, so I thought he was in California, see? <laughs> I don't even know. Man. I can't keep up with everybody. Oh, let me find my computer here. Let me get my computer on. Yeah, if anybody has any information they want to share. There's the link, but... Uh, I figured I'd just get out there what I could. I just woke up a while ago. Oh, Steve said, hey, get on it. What you doing? Sleeping all night. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like I said, everybody's from California. I don't know where anybody's from anymore. I just say, hey, they from California. Who knows? <laughs> that or, you know, I ain't very many in Florida that I don't know. So and I don't, can't keep track of everybody. Just saying. And this video is still spinning. Let me go look on it. It's still spinning. Yeah, his video is just sitting there spinning. I don't know. Oh, there's not much I can do but share the info, you know. But he's sitting there live. It says up next in three. Some, it might be shutting down here in a minute. I don't know. 
I wonder if they left his phone behind. I wonder if they left it laying there or something. I hope not. Either that or he pushed the button and it went. Because like if I could turn, if I push the button and turn my screen off, my my phone still stays running. Whether I'm talking on the phone or I'm recording. So until the battery dies, it probably stay running. What was that? I don't know. Some strange, strange noise in the background. I'm saying on his page. I don't know what it is. So. I got my speaker up as loud as I can get it. I really can't hear much. It almost sounds like a car driving. I don't know if I hear road noise or whatever. Like, did it, did it, did it. I'm not sure. Let's see. What we need is his name and um, his, his real name. And then we need the police department that arrested him. I don't know any of this. I guess I don't know anybody that knows any of this that I could contact. You know what I mean? And there's probably people we know, but if anybody can contact someone that would know, I mean, I'll call the place. We ain't got no problem. I'm sure there's a bunch of us that'll make a phone call. Find out what the deal is. I mean, they really didn't even give him a chance. The way I seen it, he's like, tell me who you are or we'll hold you or something. But at that point in time, I ain't sure what I'd have done. Well, we can start with his town if anybody has any information. I'm sure we can. Uh, you know, I was figuring somebody's going to know, and they're probably still sleeping, whoever it is that would know, maybe, or maybe someone could call and share the information. I wasn't even planning on some other stuff to do. But, uh, oh, you did? All right, cool. Waiting for an answer. All right. I guess we're waiting on the train. Yeah, I could probably bring him up here. Let me, uh, uh what's so high? Steve not blue in here. What'd you do? Make up a new channel, dude? What the hell? How come you ain't blue, blood? What do I do? I'm gonna fix that somehow. Where am I at even? Oh, there I am. Oh, you're not. I'm not. I can't turn you blue, blood. You over there on his channel. <laughs> Tony, hello, good morning, good morning. Wanda, hello, hello. I was trying to turn Ohio Steve blue, and I'm over there on Sci-Fi's page, and I'm on it like, why can't I turn him blue? <laughs> hey, I'll be awake here in a minute. Give me a minute or two. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. I just woke up to this stuff, you know. I'm still on my first pot of coffee, and uh, it ain't even done yet. I woke up to this stuff, you know. Let me uh, come back over to my page. Oh, there's Bell Admin. I got to fix a bunch of stuff here. If I get some new names, new pages, comes in on 
all the fake names. This is getting out of control. You know. KJ. Oh, there's Red. See, Red, he changed his name. I didn't know who he was. I was like, you know. Red J. Make him blue. There's only about a hundred Bell admins running around now. It's like ridiculous. That's the real Bell right there. We just don't know anything anymore out here. Everything's getting totally different. Madison. Okay, now I'm trying to. I was going to bring his page up. I got to turn the volume off. I'm going to start echoing. I wasn't ready for this. I got my good eye open. I could see barely. Then went outside and got it splashed in the rain. I had to take the daggone dog out there and run around in the rain like some kind of... But hey, my driveway is not flooded, but the road is. Is that hot? Yep, there I go. All right, now. Pop in the bottom. Share screen. Sci-fi bar. Where's he at? Is that him right there? Yep. That's right. Okay. There. Um, um. Wait a minute. That's the wrong one. Ain't it? Let me look. Might be bringing the wrong one up. Who knows? This is too dang early for this. Well, we started out the video. Here it is. You're showing this gold coin. You know what I mean? And, uh, They were jamming out a little bit. Had it going on. And this is where it started. This is where all the problems started, pretty much. What's happening, Dale? Jangy girl, good morning, good morning. Hello, John. How you doing from Northeast Ohio? What up, what up? Now, Vaughn, um, bad man, he was over there, so he was, you know, he knew what was going on. <laughs> Just left what? Where should Stain Z at? Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> good morning, good morning. <laughs> Welcome to the dark side. It's so much fun to say that someone typed it in. Welcome to the dark side. How do you like me now? I like the best part of it all is I'm back quiet. <laughs> I can go take a nap. But yeah, any help is help. Anybody knows anything that can help sci-fi. If they don't want to send me the link, I will. But yeah, this is crazy. This cop, man. And he even knew they done seen him at that the police station probably. What the heck? Did I go all the way forward? Yes, I went all the way forward. Let me back it up a little bit. I mean, all I'm really trying to do is um, find any information we could find. The sound wasn't the greatest. Um, Back it up a hair again. Cause it was weird. I don't know. I mean, he must have been just bouncing around playing the game like he usually does. And uh, this was the beginning of it. This was the beginning. I don't know what he did. 
or how this happened. I don't know anything other than Ohio Steve told me, hey, Sci-Fi got arrested and um, nobody has any information. But I don't know how he got this music to play. How's this music play? See, he started playing this music somehow. Is this video put together after? Is this after he got arrested or what? Because it, I don't understand. If anybody knows anything, please help share. You can't trust or whatever. Photography is not a crime. Filming everything for public use. That's what I don't understand. How could he have this music playing? I mean, he got Streamlabs here playing. I don't know what's going on, man. It's too early for this stuff. Y'all need to get arrested during the daylight so I can be awake. I still got about half a headache. Can't see my recent message in there. Did it shut down over there or what? Let me look. Live chat. I was on live chat, I thought. John, I see your message. It says, uh, hello from Ohio. I decided to come back here to see if there has been any progress. Is that the message you're talking about? What up, other Gregory? Different Gregory than the one who's been running around with the trolls? Not the same Gregory, I don't think. I don't know. Uh... I got to get some coffee. That's all I know. My coffee's almost done. But anyhow, let me let it play for a minute. Oh, I'm on the wrong screen. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure anybody can help Will. Even if Karen Deere starts crying. But you see how the music's playing? Did he already get out? I mean, how you play the music during an arrest? Anybody understand that? Now that's the best sound I can get. That's all he's got. But it gets better. I don't know. Ohio Steve told me this morning. That's why I'm sharing this. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just saying I'm just was told and here I am. <laughs> no justice. What up? Hey, everybody got a past. Alex, come on up. Tell me about it. Let's hear about it. We like the facts. Give us the facts. Just sharing an arrest video, but if you want to come tell us about it, Alex, I'd be more to more than interested. See, it's a Streamlabs video, but why is the video still up and playing on his channel? But when Ohio Steve tells me help, yeah, I'm on it, blood. I'm on it. I can only go with the Ohio Steve day. 
because uh, uh, Steve get on it. He said I was on it. Steve, hope you ain't went to sleep. Yes. John Smith, you got 131 subscribers and not one video, no content. But that's the officer. Like I said, I don't know when this happened. I don't know nothing other than Ohio C told me to do something. Or no, it was, uh, I don't even remember, man. This is too early for this stuff. Like I said, y'all need to get arrested during the daylight hours when somebody's awake. I can see what's going on, man. It's so dark. I can't tell nothing. I don't know when this happened. I'm just running with the show, you know. That's what they told me. You don't get have to on nothing. I'd walk. Get out of here. Go do your job. I don't want to be harassed. I'm working on a project. It's a bad man's fault. He told me to do it. I don't need to answer any of your questions. I am a free American on a public sidewalk doing a constitutionally protected activity. I didn't do anything wrong. So, Huck Nui. Are you Go back to work. You wanted to talk to me. I told you what I was doing. I'll go back to work. I don't want contact with you. I don't want to have a conversation. My my lawyer loves that shit. This ain't my first rodeo, young man. No, you can't. Good citizen. Because I haven't committed suspicious. You can buy one of these at Walmart. I'm walking around on a public sidewalk. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. Take it out just because y'all are acting like some fucking tyrants. I'm going to ask one more time. If you say I'm not detained or if you don't say anything, I'm going to I'm going to leave. It doesn't it's none of your business where I'm going to fucking go. Well, how is it your business? Because I'm trying to figure out. You don't need to figure out nothing. What's the crime? There's no crime. Well, their feelings don't trump my rights. Isn't that true? You you uh swore an oath to the constitution, right? Okay. So why are you here harassing a man with a camera on a public sidewalk after I told you what the fuck I'm doing? Now you're going to piss me off. That's right. I don't need to talk to you. Who are you that I need to answer to when I didn't do anything? No one. You're a public servant. You work for me. If I need help, I'll call you, which will be You got me. Yes. Look at those guys. Bunch of wasted taxpayers for a guy doing a legally protected activity here. Constitutional activity. Yeah, like I said, I thought he did pretty good. Take away the evil immunity. Yes, the evil immunity. That's for right, for sure, for sure. But um, like I said, I don't think he went too far. I don't know when this was done. If anybody finds out, let us know. But like I said, when Ohio Steve said, hey, glad you came out, I thought, you know, just for real, I'm going to run it. If it ain't, I, do, I, don't care about before, I didn't do anything illegal. So I seen a lot of his videos and I ain't never seen this one. So I don't know if anybody knows anything. We'd be more than interested, but let's, let's, uh, and watch how they go. I mean, these cops are like, when the third cop shows up, I guess he already decided he going to come arrest somebody. And he didn't care. But they said that he was creating a disturbance or some shit. I mean, I ain't never heard this crime before, but hey, let's you let it investigate, go investigate. I don't need to give you nothing. No, I'm not going to give your name. If they got feelings about it and they're feeling a certain type of way, there's no law being broke. Okay? And I just told you what I'm doing. So now, are you trying to solicit something on me? You trying to you trying to get me arrested for something? Am I? I don't know. Why, why are you still standing here? Why are we still standing here? 
Hey, did you see that? <laughs> he asked him if you're trying to do it, and the cop asked him back, am I? <laughs> Wait a minute. I just asked you a question. You asking me the same question back? You trying to solicit me a crime or a charge? And the cop says, am I? <laughs> cop don't even know what the hell he's doing you know, I, mean, I just said yep you are you try because it looks like it i mean it looks like it to me <laughs> uh, but it gets worse <laughs> say wait there's more yeah. why why is there another officer <laughs> you guys are ridiculous man Okay, you figured out what's going on. They'll go back to work. He's trying to figure out what's going on. He tell him he's filming in public, and he just seen him at the police station, I think, earlier. So, I mean, it's kind of like, well, you pretty much know what he's doing. He's walking around with a camera. But what? Nothing. There's no butts. No. Because you don't need my fucking name, man. I don't care. What you, any of your names are, no disrespect to none of you guys, but this is ridiculous. I'm not doing anything wrong, okay? You don't need my name. You don't need nothing, are okay? You, are you visiting, Lord? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I could be from Timbuktu and be legally standing on this corner, and I don't have to tell you where I'm from, where I'm going, or anything. So unless you're fishing to try to get me arrested for something, I don't know what the, all these questions are for. I didn't do anything wrong. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Am I free to go? Or am I detained? So I'm not detained, right? Oh, then you're going to have to do what you have to do, right? And then I'll see you in court and sue your ass. There is no video... <laughs> Photography is not a crime, buddy. Anything my eyes can see in public, you cannot trespass the eyes. I can film it. Supreme Court has ruled. So go ahead. If you want to go ahead and, and do it. Oops, I exited it out. <laughs> Let me bring it back. I don't know what I did. But either way, I'll bring it right back up. I've got too many things open and I was shutting stuff down accidentally so I go back to my history where is he at oh there he is oh nope that's me <laughs> damn bad man this is too early for this man I wasn't ready I wasn't ready but let me go back in here and figure this out oh <laughs> uh, no so anybody knows anything, anybody can help, let us know. Let me bring it back up. It says SUP with a question mark is his title. So I don't know. Here we go. Let me bring it up. I got to put the thing back in. Oh, shit. The power just went out. God damn. We're having a terrible rainstorm, y'all. Okay. Where is he at? Oh, we way back here. I got to click on the stream yard. I think it's still running. Let me bring it into the basement. It might have shut down. I don't know. See you over there, Wanda. Okay, share. Add to stream. Yeah, it's crazy. He's he been. I don't know what's going on, y'all. I really don't. I'm just trying to. Share his link if anybody, somebody got to know what's going on. Now you're going to piss me off. You were talking to me this entire That's right. I don't need to talk to you. Who are you that I need to answer to when I didn't do anything? 
No one. You're a public servant. You work yes, for me. If I need help, I'll call you, which will be. I can hook you, Joni. I got a connection. I know a guy, Joni. You got me. Yes. Look at those guys. Bunch of wasted taxpayers for a guy doing a legally protected activity here. Constitutional activity. I do. I don't care about complaints. I didn't do anything illegal. So if you want to investigate, go investigate. I don't need to give you nothing. No, I'm not going to give you a name. If they got feelings about it and they're feeling a certain type of way, there's no law being broke. Okay? And I just told you what I'm doing. So now, are you trying to solicit something on me? You trying to you trying to get me arrested for something? I don't know. Why, why are you still standing here? Why are we still standing here? Why? Why is there another officer? <laughs> you guys are ridiculous, man. Okay, you figured out what's going on. They'll go back to work. But what? Nothing. There's no buts. No. Because you don't need my fucking name, man. I don't care what you, any of your names are. No disrespect to none of you guys, but this is ridiculous. I'm not doing anything wrong. Okay? You don't need my name. You don't need nothing. Okay? Are you visiting for work? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I could be from Timbuktu and be legally standing on this corner. And I don't have to tell you where I'm from, where I'm going, or anything. So unless you're fishing to try to get me arrested for something, I don't know what the, all these questions are for. I didn't do anything wrong. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Am I free to go? Or am I detained? So I'm not detained, right? Well, then you're going to have to do what you have to do, right? And then I'll. Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't know what's going on. Unless he wakes up and tells us, I don't really know. Like I said, I was asked to share this. I'm sharing it. And that's what I do. All right. Oh, well, yeah. I hope it ain't this early. At least I have a chance to wake up first. Because I really don't know what's going on. When I'm asked to share something about the right person, I'm going to share it. And you can blame Ohio Steve and uh, let me see who else can I blame. Bad man. Yes. Bad man. He's the one who did this. It's his fault no matter what. <laughs> on Badman. We can always blame Mitten. He's here. Mitten did it, y'all. I don't know. Anybody knows anything, let me know. <laughs> We're just trying to figure this out because, like I said, we're talking about Sci-Fi Bride, the video guy, and Sci-Fi Bride, the bike guy, because he got an electric bicycle. He rides around with his bicycle and uh, videotapes. Maybe the camera's on the bike. I don't know what's going on. Anybody can help? Hook a brother up. Let me know because, like I said, I have no idea. I'm still drinking my coffee, my first cup, too. Well, actually, it's my second cup, but my first cup got cold because I had to take the daggone nugget outside and it's pouring down raining. And this has not been a good morning so far, but hey, we'll continue on. Now, if you listen to this, though, I don't care when this happened. This is crazy. The cop said he was, uh, how do you say it? He was create, creating a, a problem that somebody else would have had. So he was standing there. If you, you got to listen. I'll see you in court and sue your ass. There is no video. <laughs> Photography is not a crime, buddy. Anything my eyes can see in public, you cannot trespass the eyes. I can film it. Supreme Court has ruled. So go ahead. If you want to go ahead and, and do what you got to do when these, um, you know, people are worried about filming and they put up some blinds, you're supposed to provide your own privacy. There is no expectancy of privacy in public. I'm detained? For what? For what crime? 
How am I? I created a disorderly. Yes, you got to be Filming this building. The security came out. I didn't answer. So now he's creating a disorderly. <laughs> How the hell do you create a disorderly? And what the hell is a disorderly under the law? We need to look up that word, disorderly. Find out what creating a disorderly is. Let me back that back up. We got to hear that again because I ain't heard of this charge yet. Creating a disorderly. Has anybody heard of that charge and what that means? <laughs> creating a disorderly. I got to hear this again, y'all. You got me. Yes. I might have backed it up too far. But hey, until he wakes up or guys, gets out, we find out taxpayers for a guy where he at. Really activity here. Constitutional activity. I, do, I don't care about complaints. I didn't do anything illegal. So if you want to investigate, go investigate. I don't need to give you nothing. No, I'm not going to give you your name. If they got feelings about it and they're feeling a certain type of way, there's no law being broke. Okay, and I just told you what I'm doing. So now, are you trying to solicit something on me? You trying to, you trying to get me arrested for something? Am I? I don't know. Why? Why are you still standing here? Why are we still standing here? Why? Why is there another officer? <laughs> you guys are ridiculous, man. Okay, you figured out what's going on. I'll go back to work. But what? Nothing. There's no buts. No, because you don't need my fucking name, man. I don't care what you, any of your names are. No disrespect to none of you guys, but this is ridiculous. I'm not doing anything wrong, okay? You don't need my name. You don't need nothing, okay? Are you, are you visiting court? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I could be from Timbuktu and be legally standing on this corner, and I don't have to tell you where I'm from, where I'm going, or anything. So unless you're fishing to try to get me arrested for something, I don't know what the, all these questions are for. I didn't do anything wrong. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Am I free to go? Or am I detained? So I'm not detained, right? Oh. Then you're gonna have to do what you have to do, right? And then I'll see you in court and sue your ass. There is no video. <laughs> Photography is not a crime, buddy. Anything my eyes can see in public, you cannot trespass the eyes. I can film it. Supreme Court has ruled. So go ahead. If you want to go ahead and, and do what you gotta do, when these um, you know, people are worried about filming and they put up some blinds, you're supposed to provide your own privacy. There is no expectancy of privacy in public. You are detained. You are detained. Now look at old, uh, the boy standing there with legs all spread open like he ready for a shootout. He at the Wild West. He's going to be quick draw McGraw. So this did happen. Yes, that's what I was wondering. We don't even, we didn't know how he put the music in there. H.A.M. How did he get the music in at the beginning was one of the things we were wondering because, I mean, that was pretty cool. I like that. I mean, how do you get live feed music? You know what I mean? I don't understand it. It didn't make no sense to me. But hey, if you say it happens, see, H.A.M. is now to blame. H.A.M. is the blame. Now, y'all, we get to blame A.J. Um, Mitten? The blame is all for you for about five minutes, but we'll get back to you later, Mitten, because you're always the one to blame for sure. Um, so now AJ takes the blame. He steps up in first place, and that's AJ. Now, first place winner of the blame game. Get the blame, AJ. Hey, babe, it's AJ and Scott and Fault today. Remind me later. Don't let me forget. Yeah, I got that short term memory loss. Oh, hell no. I'm out of something here. Got to find my lighter. Can't find my bag on it. But let me keep playing because now that it's AJ's fault, um, we can just blame AJ no matter what happens. Let's go. 
Let's continue on. Continue on, soldier. For what? For what crime? How am I? I created a disorderly incident. Yes, you got people standing. Filming this building. The security came out. I didn't answer. Being arrested, guys, or detained. They're saying I'm, I'm detained. Oh, now you said I'm being the disorderly, sir? You're being disorderly, yes, sir. You're going to get see. It's a, it's a meal clippers. See, now I didn't do anything wrong, and you guys are going to give me a disorderly because I'm sitting here talking to you? I'm not doing anything wrong. You guys are the one. You guys are breaking your oath that you said. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm just. Oh, then you're going to be held until you tell us who you are. So it's up to you. How long do you want to be held? The same thing? Yeah. All right. Well, that's what happened the way I got it. What I seen. I got the clip. Like I said, I got the clip. So, in case it disappears off his page, yeah, we still got it. So, I don't know what's going on. I really don't. AJ says it happened live about five hours ago. Um, I really don't know what's going on. Tell us all about it, AJ. Come on up. <clears throat> Because you're getting the blame no matter what. Anyhow, AJ, that's just the way it is. You get the blame now. See, Batman had the blame and then Mitten had the blame, but now it's on you, AJ. So, hey, you got the blame, blood. Can't help you now, blood. It's all on you, AJ. Now we got to do it. Yes, Ohio Steve's the one who told me about it, actually. He was the one when I went in there. He's like, he was saying something. I was like, uh-oh, well, hey, I'll put it up there and see what goes on. We'll find out later. They can always blame me later, you know what I mean? AJ, you can get out of it. You can just say it was that damn dirt farmer did it. You know, just blame me. Hell, I'll take the blame. Yeah, that's what I did, man. It's only like 8 o'clock here now. It's dark been raining. I mean, it rained so freaking hard last night, I thought the house was going to wash away. Something got hit by lightning right dead outside my house because it shook the whole house at the same time the lightning flashed, the thunder hit. I mean, I was it vibrated the place. I was like, holy shit. I mean, I was waiting for a tree to come falling through the house or something, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on, y'all. I figure I'd just go ahead and uh, bring this up, bring it out here, and figure it out later. If anybody knows any way to help, stop by, any phone calls, any phone numbers, put them in. We'll start trying to call. But we can't put his real name in here, I guess. So maybe go in the back chat or something. We can call and find out where he's at, if he's got a bond. They're probably going to make him see a judge, huh? Who knows? I don't even, like I said, I don't know how they do it in his state. All we can do is try to wake up and figure it out. Oh, it's pouring down here all night. I mean, it rained so freaking hard. It was like there was a giant wave falling over top of my house. And it ain't stopped since. Slowed down a little bit, but it's still coming on. I don't know what's happening over there. Like I said, I really don't. What we got going on here? We got some wrestlers. Got people catching fishes. Let's see if he's still alive.
What? Somebody hear a bird? Would they leave his phone out there on the side of the roof? Well, that's what we got. I don't know what's going on. This is his page right now. It's still live, so. I don't know if he put this video up last night. I don't know if this happened last night. I can't say 100% for sure. Unless someone was out there talking to him. And uh, we can go to the to the chat and see. Uh, chat. It don't matter. Either way, we're blaming you, AJ. You get the blame. You in Ohio, Steve. See, when I came in, all I seen was uh, Ohio Steve said, you've been waiting on me. And um, I seen AJ, I seen Von Bedman, and me. And somebody named AJF said they are not naive. We go to their channel, see what they're all about. H-A-M, I'm subscribed to the channel. Just don't know. Uh, check on their videos. They've got a bunch of videos. They've got some big old gun videos. H -A, I mean, A-J-G, A-F-G. I can see right now. So, like I say, I don't know. Well, like I said, good sharing, sharing the news, nothing but the news. What are you doing cooking up an omelet, bad man? That looks like it says omelet. Let's do it. An omelet. Cheese omelet. I must be hungry thinking about an omelet. Like I said, I didn't have plans to even turn the computer on this morning. But look at where we at. Here we go. Another fine mess we got ourselves into out here. Yes, that's what we'll do. We'll blame Steve, AJ. You was just riding along? Yes, see, you was picked up. You was hitchhiking. I was a hitchhiker. I just got picked up. That's all. I don't even know this guy. I ain't never seen him before in my life. I don't care what he says on his videos. <laughs> he lied about me. That was a guy that looked like me. That wasn't me. I'm telling you right now. They just picked me up about a block ago. I want out. I told them I wanted out from the start. <laughs> and then y'all started chasing them, man, with your lights flashing. I'd have been backing up probably. I see that motherfucker coming over there. I'd be like, I don't know what I'd have done in this case. I really don't. But one thing that omelet you was talking about sounds good though. A cheese omelet, man, that sounds like something I could make. You better get away from me. You didn't listen good. I'm not the deep fake. <laughs> It's too early for this sci-fi. Sci-fi, why you do us like this? What up, man? What up? <laughs> I think 
think I hear him in the background. Sci fi. Where you at? <laughs> Over there banging around. Like I said, I don't know what's going on, y'all. I really don't. But. See, I can hear it better on my phone than I can on my computer. I don't know. I didn't have nothing to do today, and it's pouring down raining. I wasn't going to do this, but hey, like I said, we're blaming Ohio Steve now. It's all Ohio Steve's fault. We have the clip. We got the screenshot, Steve. Where are you at? He went to bed. That's what happened. When he seen me out here, he, he said, oh, I've been waiting on you, Dirk Farmer. And then he went to bed, left us all up. That's how he did us. Bad man, AJ, Ohio Steve is to blame. No matter what happens, Steve did it. I'm telling you right now. Because his ass over there drooling on the pillow sleeping, and we all sitting here awake saying, what the hell? What up, bad man? How you doing? We, we agree in it's Ohio Steve's fault no matter what. <laughs> Anything that takes me off of first place, I'm good with that, sir. <laughs> me too. I'm on out of that picture. I'd be done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't me. <laughs> wouldn't me this time. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Lots of questions, though. Lots of questions. Yeah. Very, uh, very interesting video. If you um, look at it technically, I'll put it to you like that. Yeah, see, I'm not an editor. I don't edit, so I'm I'm uh, even I, curious. I edit. I like technology. Right. Uh, yeah. It's like, I don't know. There's a big bell ringing in my head. Yeah, when did this happen, huh? Well, not only when did it happen, um, why is it being, um, let's put it, produced in this way? You know? Yeah. Because it's very, yeah. I don't know. Well, if you edit, how do you make the music play in the beginning? Oh, you have a uh, a different frame for the music, and you could organize it when you're editing. It's very simple, you know. Yeah, it's all footage. This not is live, whole... though. You couldn't be live, live and start playing that. You need to be present to be able to do that on an editing, um, you know, like an OBS or something like that, so you can actually physically do that and the way this video evolves especially with this end screen like coming up that's suspicious because yeah. it would either show black or it would show what's coming off the video and it wouldn't give you the live audio so to speak live audio with uh, the dead screen you know here just yeah. play now uh, a lot yeah. too many questions too many questions yeah like I said, I, that's what I like to do. I like to ask the questions. I, the questions. This is yeah. why I will uh, be more than glad to participate with you on, <laughs> on this issue. I, I know where to go when questions are had and to be yeah. answered. Sir. Hey, yeah. Because I don't edit. Believe me, I, I've never uh, been uh, able to uh, quite figure it out. My friend, I have wanted to tell you quite a bit on that non-editing thing for quite a while. Even offer, you know, a hand when it's needed. Yes, I know. You know, you keep it simple and you just push it out, which is one way to do it. Absolutely, though. Yes, if I can like get your story to one big person, then they push it on for everybody else. You know, it's yep. like, so that's yep. pretty much how I was able to get my stories out. Because, like I say, I don't, I don't edit. And I know there's a lot of ways to do it, but I just ended up, you know, like you said, put it up live. That way, yep. you know, everybody's going to go to the live feed tab and they can watch the whole live. It's like, you know, not absolutely. Forever, that's always, but, a, that's always yeah. a really good way to do it, to be honest. And you do well, like your telephone, you, you know? Yeah. They said I cut up, I mean, even yesterday, oh, you chopped up a live and cut it up and made it sound like something yeah. else. Well, I, for one, can't do that, but I don't think you can even do that to a live feed and then still have your chat left over unless you did some really complicated editing, which there's I, no I way I can do. I absolutely remember that.
piece from yesterday, and it's absolutely ridiculous because a yep. live is a live, and maybe you could, uh, you know, you have different scenes for the live, or you have different cameras for your live, or okay, it's technically a button you push. You could do yep. it in the in the stream labs and stuff like that if you have their app or in the in the uh, on the net uh, GUI and stuff like that, but you can't. Not you, when it's you, under you the, get the a, live chat. No, you get serious anomalies on on the cut up lives in the chat yep. and how scrolls and even the cuts. It's it's yeah. it's there to see. It's there to yep. see. Yeah, that's why I always say about how they chop and cut up the videos because people show me how they you know what it looks like. You know, either a couple screenshots or whatever, or a little short yep. clip, and then I can actually see how it breaks and then it starts over and. I'm like, well, yeah, that is definitely a chopped up clip. But I could have told them that before because I pretty much remember what I say. So when they chop it up or any of us, we pretty much know what they say. Oh, so that's absolutely, that. absolutely. Don't, you know, and don't not know. only that, if you're doing an audio analysis, the, the cuts are like blatant because yeah. the alignment of the audio will never be as good as you might think you hear it. You know, you, you might have a dead space, but in that dead space – you have noises and you have specific background noises and you have noises that keep on going and all of a sudden they stop and there are no more of these noises that i mean you can hear the uh the washing machine three rooms away for five minutes you know it's on the rinse yeah. cycle uh -huh. and you're expecting to hear it and all of a sudden this goes away and you come into like the middle of a car honking or something yeah it's very blatantly yeah obviously yeah See, that's what I'd say. I, I started playing around a little bit, with, but this takes a long time to learn that editing stuff, man. You guys that do that have been doing it for years where it'd take me years to even come close just to catching up where y'all are at now. Well, and then I, everything would change, you know? So it's like... I, I understand that, but the basis is is you start simple, you know? Yeah. The, always the keep it simple, stupid. Mm -hmm. And you go after things that you, you've you seen in the past. Let's say you watched the yeah. video. You're like, oh, man, I like that. How did they do that? Yeah. The wonderful thing about this, uh, you know, online thing is you could ask a question in a search engine. Yeah. And you'll probably get a video with a really short explanation of air. One, two, three, four, five. There you and go. All the, all the programs, man. Why can't I have Windows movie maker back <laughs> well, you, you, can, but you have to know where to get it and install it from but i could also really? get you a better one instead of the windows movie maker that'll yeah, that was easy man things. hey that was easy yeah. dude yeah well, well that's windows what i stuff, that's what i window played prides for itself in being pretty much idiot proof and then you get yeah. these like professional level things but uh -huh. again you start slowly, you do the things that you like, and then you, little by little, you know, you step up your editing game. I'm, I'm a big believer in, you know, every yeah. every video you make needs to be better in a, one thing at least than the video prior that you did. So you're showing your development and your ability and your talk game and your legal knowledge and your editing and your production and all that kind of good stuff. You know, yeah, I thought important. these guys. I thought everybody had a team of people doing all this stuff. For them. <laughs> I don't know how they got enough time in the day. <laughs> some of them have a team of one, and they uh, talk with them, and uh, you know, they they do their uh, thinking together. You know, you you get the pool thought going, and what you thought necessarily isn't the best thing to do. You know, you get to hear another option. You know, I, I think sci-fi personally could have handled, handled that a lot better. It didn't have to even end like that. Uh, I mean, just a situational, you know, thing is like, are, if I don't identify, are you going to take my freedom away and beat me? If he would have said, yes, here you go, man. <laughs> you yeah, want to yeah. search me too? You know, That's why I say I'd be never take up. the ride. That's why never. I say back up. I've said it for years and people say oh you gotta get arrested and, I, and they make money getting arrested and they think they're gonna sue you and when you tell them you're gonna sue them that's they laugh at it <laughs> they do because they don't care it's insurance and it's the union and go prove something you know everybody but, says it though everybody's i'm gonna sue you and nobody really does ever but, i mean very you know have you seen anybody like, lately Lately, have we seen anybody really sue anyone? 
other than Jeff Gray, um, you know he's going to sue him. Well, but, you he know. better. I mean, that's part of his thing because he does it quietly and off to the side. But I, I, one of the issues is why there is no change and why some places there is change. It's all because of the lawsuits. And if you're you're going to say that you're going to sue a cop, well, you know what, son? 99% of the time, you ain't going to do shit. You're going to get convicted in a municipal court. You ain't even going to appeal, and you'll pay the goddamn ticket. Yeah. And yeah. that's a yeah. that's a shameful thing, and people should be called out for doing that yeah. a lot more. Yeah. Well, and like I said, everybody said I could have sued this or that and this and that. But I, I talked to lawyers, you know, and I know how the game's played. And I've always said, I've already played their game. It's like playing poker with someone who knows how to stack the deck. Absolutely. I don't want to. I don't want to do that no more. I did it. Yeah. See, but this is this is the main thing that people don't get. If you're gonna go out to pay like that, it's only pay to play, and you better have a good mouthpiece and yep. lawyer and or advocate or attorney or anything to represent you before you even think of messing with any, anybody because the one thing they, they forget are there to win hey you got to be jury friendly which i know i'm probably not just saying <laughs> <laughs> it's a possibility i might not be jury friendly well yeah, but... not including uh sir's history my good lord of the court <laughs> um forgetting about his many many videos his multiple youtube channels sire <laughs> Please do not look foully upon poor old PDF, though he is a good man of full heart and soul, religious even at times. God damn it. Just because he's the victim, how can we prosecute him? <laughs> we got to victimize him some more. Fuck that shit. <laughs> I've been down that road a couple times. <laughs> I, hey, man, ain't nothing I haven't heard or seen before either. You know what I mean? I <laughs> know. And it's long enough ago, so I've already known better for a very long time. Yeah, you know, yeah. when you grow up in New York City, I'll put it to you like this: when you grow up in New York City, you learn quickly what a policeman yeah. is. That is it, no mistake about it. I mean, everybody's crying. Oh, look how they arrested him for that. You know, he should be happy they didn't stomp him mindless for taking <laughs> pictures. It's like, what the hell? I'd say thank you on a nice calm arrest like that. Especially you know? as dark as it was out there. It was so dark, nobody could have seen anything, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You know? Yeah, rest of New York? Sure. How many days have you spent in the tubes? You like Rikers? What do you think about that? So. I had a difference of... I had an epitome yesterday. I think that's the correct word. Epiphany. Epiphany? Is that what it is? Yeah, epiphany. I have one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so I started thinking. I said, you know what? We really need all these crazy people running around doing this stupid shit because that way I don't have to. See, this is what I came to the conclusion of. Well, I mean, I did my uh, bidding long time ago, mm -hmm. and I did my bidding for um, self-preservation and self-defense, you know, because yeah. when you're in the corner, you better have uh, receipts. You better have some receipts. If you're stepping yeah. up to fight, you better be coming with Man, I had full books, and uh, it ended the way it ended. But yep. um, this is, yo, you want to poke a bear? Sure, I can understand that, you know? Big balls, no brains? Okay, we were all like that once. Just have somebody who knows what they're doing in your corner before you do this. So, I, I mean, I have a very good friend. He was convicted on freedom of speech, even though the Supreme Court has already decided, you know, the Hill issue in that state convicted in municipal court for three yeah. words within 38 seconds okay yeah. after this comes another three arrests on walking on the wrong side of the street and get out of our town because you're black and all this kind of garbage yeah. so if you think that the cops oh and the you know who was quoting the supreme court says yeah fuck the cops don't give a shit what the supreme court says nope. you know they but don't they care they lose Ain't gonna be nothing out of their pocket. Hello, Wanda. Hello, Wanda. Hello. How I'm are you gonna put morning? his name in the chat? Okay. In the back chat here for All you. right. Okay, thank you so much. Yep. Okay, you can drop. How, how are you today? I am good. How about yourself? 
Well, like, I woke up seeing this and I was watching it and it just didn't quite make sense. And and then we have Von Badman here as well. So um, he has the same thing. Questions. Do you have, does this, <laughs> any of this look like it PDF. happened? <laughs> does it look like this was already pre-recorded to you? Or does this look like it happened live? It, I've never seen a live like this PDF. Not <laughs> streamed, nothing, not with the music and not with that screen. Yes, so we don't more questions. My but my. we don't know if we should even call anywhere because we don't know we'd have to call to find out. If you put his name and stuff in there, then the place we can call and find out if he's been arrested, they will give us that information. That's public information. So yeah, we could do that. But it just seems like this might have happened a different time and he just put it back up and then he went to sleep and left it running maybe live. Which would be like weird, it. but it sounds I like do. a lot of people that were in there said he was riding bike before this. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's where all that on the video. Is. But the interesting thing is you had five bells at a certain time stamp. You had five bells from I heard a church bell ring at five o'clock in the morning. I so it would have to too. be five o'clock in the morning. What time was it when people were watching? Because again, I'm not on your part of the planet. So it kinda it's different. You know? And what state is he in? Well, what, again, what I would think he would be in Minnesota, uh, Wisconsin, excuse me. Wisconsin. And, um, but I don't know what city his, uh, his investigation of the uh, police officers was uh, lacking in some <laughs> details. So let's put it like that. Yeah, yeah you can see anything, or anything at all with their cars, their, their uniforms. It was so dark. Well, again, he stated that he doesn't care what their names are and he doesn't care what their badges are, which is like kind of defeating the purpose of the whole interaction. Purpose. That's yep. true. That is true. That's the main thing you want to say on the on the on the video. The, so that everybody the first would know. thing you want to actually, the first words you utter out of your mouth in a, an interaction like that, <laughs> especially on a three to one, is name and vag, name and vag, and name and vag. That is it. Because uh, yes. um, helping him is helping us. That's why we want to help. It's not like we're just helping him, you know, stopping them from doing it to him is helping us as well. You know what I mean? Right. Because now oh, wow. we don't know what's going on. I don't want a flood call somewhere that don't even say, man, that, ain't, that happened a year ago or that happened two days ago or he's already out. We don't know. That's what I mean. I like to have the facts, you know. So this is very confusing right. to me. That's why I didn't want to go in your chat and put in his name. I thought I'd come on StreamYards and then put his name in there. So you have yeah. it, nobody else, you know, just the people on StreamYards then. Because so, I have his phone. I could call him probably. I didn't even think of that. But he's probably, uh, that would oh, be a good far. one. I could call him. I wonder if you'd hear it ring. <laughs> if you call him, you wonder if the live will die. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Yeah. No, that's yeah. his other phone. See, again, that's another thing. There, you should have two telephones. Yes. Yes, that would help. Hello, you've reached whatever the number is. They are presently detained and. <laughs> <laughs> and my name is. <laughs> Please help me get out of jail. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, well, I'm going to jump down. I'll keep watching. Thanks, PDF. Hey, thanks for coming in and hanging out with us. I wish you could stay longer. Yeah. I'll, I'll go call uh, him. I'll send him a text and call him at the same time. So I was going <laughs> to rock his world. Go. I got to go to a different screen. There you go. Uh, yeah, just talk to bad man. Be right back. <laughs> All right, I'll stay up for a minute, bad man. We're going to talk. <laughs> Please entertain it me. It is like really early. It's seven thirty a.m. my time. I don't know where you're at. Uh, it's about three thirty in the afternoon. I don't understand this. Oh, yeah. uh, early, mm -hmm. early. <laughs> What's this early thing that you yeah, speak of? A.M. Yeah, this A.M. stuff. And I started watching when he first came on over an hour ago. So I don't even know what time this happened either. Well, I mean, it's it's you have the uh, time bar. You could run it back. It should be about five, six hours ago. It was the start of the the video, and I would think that okay. maybe fifteen minutes in, 
you have the the five bells that I heard, and that would be a way to. Oh. But again, uh, the video very suspicious. I mean, nothing against yeah, the gentleman, okay. but the video. No, but in look up here says, at the screen right now. It doesn't. It's still going, but it says GTA start racing. Well, yeah, that's like the last thing that screams at me, and the audio is still kind of whatever it you is. You can hear the birds. birds. Well, not only that, I heard a lot of groaning and coughing maybe four hours ago, stuff oh, you like heard that. that oh. it sounded like maybe it was in a, a bag or in a trunk or something that was moving. But, I mean, Interesting. you can't be naive uh, on the internet ever. And as PDF has seen and, and put out there, too, that you really don't know who people are. I mean, a lot of people on the net pretend to be one thing. That is true. And here you go. You know? It, it went straight to voicemail. His phone ain't on. It? it went straight to it went straight to voicemail, so his phone's not on. Interesting. It's the battery so dead. That, either that or he's in jail, because they make you turn your phone off when you go to jail. But not Everybody if they I've take your telephone from you. Not if they take their telephone oh. from you. If they take the, your telephone, um, the funny thing is that this happened to Frickin. If you remember a year, like a two years guy. ago, yeah. he got arrested with a whole bunch of people. They left all the telephones on, talked a whole bunch of shit with all the telephones on, and it was all recorded. Yeah, they done all of it. Was oh, like yeah. seven hours of shit talk was recorded. Yeah, remember they oh, was it's... laughing at they was yes. laughing at me. So how do you handcuff a one-handed man? Yeah, and they got that. Yes, <laughs> but see, wow. see. Hey, they so did you one. can't underestimate stupid, though. Never underestimate hey. stupid. Well, this is how it worked, too. The trolls were calling to tell them that the phone was still the phone on. Was on. Call uh, yep, yep. Remember that when they took it outside and put it inside a box, inside another box in the trunk of a car to get the phone to shut off because it wouldn't yep. stop recording? Oh. This was the <laughs> funniest <laughs> thing I've ever hear. seen. Yeah. I remember that one because they were all talking and they we uh -huh. they recorded all this stuff. Everybody yep. recorded it. Everybody was yep. recording. <laughs> hey, once on the internet, it ain't going away. It's uh, never yeah, going it's away. Why well, you don't want to lie? Don't <laughs> no, make up no lie. Okay, we're gonna Either find that it. or keep on lying. You know what I mean? <laughs> if, if you're they honest, that good. If you're... Hey, they're not that good. They got people, old people like us watching. <laughs> they yeah. can't lie. Yeah. We look at them and know they're lying. Yep. <laughs> Catch him. You put the old man voodoo Leslie. on their ass, you know? Hey, Leslie's here. Hello, Leslie. Hello, Leslie. Hi, Leslie. Good morning. Yep. And like I say, we're, and no matter what, we get to blame Ohio Steve today. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one that told PDS. Sure. I'm on your side, man. <laughs> yeah, we got you. <laughs> We're covered. We got to all stick together Straight on this up. one, man. Leslie, it was things. You. you know, I was just thinking before you showed up in the room, I was like, wow, PDF is going to love this one. <laughs> I'm like, this is PDF food. I swear yeah. to God. Too many questions, even... man. Too many questions. I said that for the thought. like, man, I ain't even awake yet. I can see this shit. I'm like, this something ain't right. <laughs> but but you know what, man? That's always the best time to start. If you ain't awake, you're going to be waking up real fast. Yeah, so, I have one eye open, and I knew something was wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the hell? There was something a disturbance right. in the force, my son. I know. I know the feeling. I've woken up very often. And another friend in Texas has gotten booked. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know. Something ain't right in the world today. Right. Yeah. And it poured down so hard oh, last night. Commander's week. here. Hi, Commander. Commander, come on up. Commander. Hammer's here. Oh, yeah. Hebrew <laughs> hammer. I get to say Bokil Tov. <laughs> ah, there you go, Hebrew. Hello. And, and again, I don't know how to edit. So when I, even if I look I'll at something, me. and say, 
there's a problem with some editing thing going on right here, and I don't I don't know what's going on, but well, something just PDF, don't seem right. may may I say that uh, Copy Me Production is proud to be of service of the one and only PDF, and if you need some, yo, bro, hit me up, man. I'm like always available, you know. Wow. It's I mean we we've, we've known each other whether you you know it or not for quite 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 a long time kind of thing going on, you know. <laughs> Damn, if I can, I don't even have to drop any names, you know. I mean, the yeah. <laughs> <your> understanding <laughs> is there, so no. I yeah. I do consider you a friend, even, whether you know it or not. It. So hey. you know, shame on you. <laughs> yeah, I, you I, I appreciate it too, because uh, that means. Something. I'm just saying, <laughs> whatever you you gotta, yeah. <laughs> Batman, <laughs> yo, <laughs> sure. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Feel free. Feel free. It's it's all good. And thank you, thank you for sure. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. Is that noise great. in the background from his? Are you here now? I had him muted. Okay. Oh, it's still the birds playing. Yeah, there's yeah. something beeping. But the groaning and and that that kind of was like really weird, and it sounds like drunken stupor, sleeping very uncomfortably. Kind of, I don't know, I don't know. And where where in a lockup do you have fucking birds like this? Yes, you know? it's like too many questions, too many questions. That's April, the it's not April, that. right? I don't know. Like I say, I know sci-fi a long time. Sometimes he does some really strange things. And um... I, I, this is, I agree with you, and I've been present um, in his uh, beginning when, yeah, and I'm like, bro, and he's like, huh? And I know. Like, I, I, treat him, I treat him like a brother, and he don't like it sometimes, but that's, that's just how I am. He, well, that's like, you know what? I, that's the right thing to do, but the yes. lack of recognition of the facts in yep. general will mm -hmm. make it an issue. So it's like, yeah, all right, one time, two times, I'm like, I, I don't need this, man. I, I got enough kids, you know? I mean, they're all growing up. I did my fucking work. I put my time in. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I yep. put my time in. Exactly. So, I've done it, so I'm ready to do something yeah. else. You know, they yeah, haven't yeah. never done it yet, so it's their turn. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, that, we get and to that's watch why them. we're so good at nailing their feet to the floor when you know it exactly. goes awry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, experience. What do you think, man? Yep. Because, uh, like I said, when you come out here and you're not jury friendly, you're not helping the situation. <laughs> jury friendly. Yeah. yeah. You have you know somebody I mean, so. in the basement that left you a chat with a link. Okay, let me look. I have wondered quite often whatever happened to uh, Mr. Brown. I don't know. Show me his right? half That was a unique experience. I'm going to grab Jeff, go and chat. I'll talk to you guys later. Later. Nice talking. You too. See, I wish I was a okay. bird watcher. What would ornithologist would be a bird watcher uh, in the scientific uh Jargon, and then I would know what kind of bird that was and where they were living. Yes, we need a bird person. I'm sure somebody yeah. needs a bird person. Where'd Joni go? Joni Rotten, she has birds. She's got ducks. I'm sure she would know. Joni, bird, close enough. What goes tweet, tweet, tweet? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we need somebody that knows about birds. Yes, that's yeah. a video. Um, you should have just put it in the chat, show me. 
You should have shared it in the chat so everybody could click on his video. He's got a good video. Show me. Put your link in the chat, man. And um, they can go check yours out. Yours is a lot better than the one we watched just now on his video. Sci-Fi cleaned it up or something. What'd you do, what, Sci-Fi? There's, there's I'm not that, Sci-Fi. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. I can say the wrong bit. He made a video. an original version? I don't know. He, I guess he made. He said it's a video he made. So show me. Cleaned it up somehow. He's one of them editors. You know uh, that, right? Yeah. He does all that. He does some really stuff. Some really. I mean, he tried to come up. I thought you were trying to come <laughs> in. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's a. Uh, he does some cleared up. I think he cleared it up some. I don't know, nah, but it has the music. It doesn't look like that to me. But uh, he did some a uh, little bit of texting and graphic work <laughs> i like that pig a pig's ass sticking up in the air that's always good i thought it looked clear on my maybe it's my phone compared to the no, I, uh, I can only see it at 360 so it's probably like a low level upload and bryce you could get it at a uh, 720 but again the night the night vision and it was probably yeah. an older older phone and yeah you know like I said, how's he have the music playing over top? Well, not only that, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the way it cut from the music to uh, the cop scene. I mean, just that Stop right talking. there. And his phone ain't, ain't off, so. Like I said, I don't know, man. When you come out and do this stuff like that, you got to do it right, or you're just messing yeah. everything up. You just... Well, you know, it, it all goes back to uh, I got my pet peeve is uh, this is not a show show ID state. <laughs> OK, <laughs> so you gave him something new to use. Good for you, you idiot. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. come on, that thing doesn't even exist. And this is the kind of postulate you're raising to an idiot cop. You know, this is not a show me. There are no show me ID states. So, yeah, people yeah. have to do it correctly. Mm -hmm. And you would hope that, you know, in the end that they would learn because they pay the price, you know, because you know they don't have a lawyer and nobody's going to represent you. Absolutely nobody. Yeah. And that's the problem. I, I, yep. um, I'm i not jury friendly, but I didn't want to be. You know what I mean? I'm not. Well, I'm I, not try and stay out of the, of I try and stay out of the eyes of the jury, period. Yeah, that yeah would be that's the me. smartest thing to do. That's yeah. exactly it. Are you going to brutalize me, take away my freedom, and uh, if I don't give you my name, officer? Hell yep. yeah, I am. All right, there you go. Sam Smith, yep. 1234 yeah. Jones Street. Yeah, you know? I know my, I, hey, I know my driver's license number by heart. By heart. <laughs> you want it backwards or forwards, officer? <laughs> Every other digit or not, sir? Yeah, I give them all to you in a row. I ain't going to do like Carolina yeah. did and give them the first and then the last. and then No, nah, I ain't going out like that. No, yeah. no, no, no. That's when they tase you in the middle. They're sick of your shit. <laughs> yeah. Stop resisting. <laughs> yeah, we've seen it all. Like I said, now we get to watch them oh, yeah. laugh at oh, them yeah. because they all laughed at us back in the day. Yeah. But but you know it when it happens, it's still kind of like it's it's a dig in your guts. You know what I mean? You still feel that drop yeah. of the uh, of the free fall. So it's yeah yeah. yeah. And, and not only that, to watch the train coming, you know mm -hmm. you're saying, oh, this is gonna be bad. You yep. know, <laughs> yeah. I, I saw I saw I don't I think in Oregon um, two years ago somebody had a really good day they went to the court and they f messed with the officers and they messed with the judge and then they came out and they messed with the officers some more and then they walked into the city and they went to get a donut and they had a violent interaction when they went to get a donut and you see them on the street after. And I'm like, dude, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. They got their gloves on and they start talking and explaining and showing video. <laughs> I'm like, oh, man. Three yeah. years of, of uh, trouble you just bought yourself by, mm -hmm. not, by being there and thinking that anybody cared whatever you said or showed them video or 
they were blatantly assaulted. This is the incredible blatantly assaulted in a store. Yep. The reasoning, yeah, go look into the law accommodation. It's a big thing. It's a big thing, you know. Hey, at least I'm smart enough to say, "Hey, am I trespassed out of here yet?" <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or can I get a cup of coffee? <laughs> right, like, right. And get a out donut. Of here. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay, yep. Out of here. You know, but again, you know, it's the young people these days. <laughs> it's it's not time like to go. We... <laughs> you get one chance to leave, I've always said. You always get that yeah. one chance to escape, and that's it's like a split second. You, that, you have to take that split second, and if you miss it, well, that's like you said, they start putting it's, their gloves on. You, you know, know it's you're life altering. It's life altering, and people don't get that. You know, oh, no, they can't do that. Hey, hey. They can do what they want to. There are no consequences. Cops oh. shoot people for nothing, and yep. they don't lose their job, and they get paid for being at home, and their yeah. union rep represents them in all their court cases and all the suing and all that kind of stuff. He just has to show up for a deposition. You know what I mean? It's like, are you kidding me? Yep, three no years of your life, and yep. then you might be able to try to sue them. If you look if yep 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 that's after yeah. conviction because you get convicted in a municipal court no matter what i mean yeah. i've seen quite a few lucky people and they you know, say they the can make you role. appeal if they can make you appeal it they don't yep. even care if you win the appeal they no, still they don't. can make you do that and that's the hardest part i mean look at rogue nation we all know anyway yeah, well, no way in hell he should have been guilty but then look what goes on around here there's no well, way this should be allowed to be happening and this I also will relate to uh, Travis Hines. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, and yeah. I, since that happened, I've seen a change in him, and he's a lot more aggressive, and it's a lot better for him to be like that now, but he needs to uh, really do it like that because you're too nice and you talk. And I can understand the uh, shtick, let's say, behind it, but you can't be a victim to these predators and they're and I, absolute I think, predators i think they get to a point too like him and a lot of people that you know are like him that have got reached the problems that they get they have to evolve into the next step of the game they can't just keep doing that same thing it's like you know you start out as a for a, a street worker and then you end up working in the office and then you end yeah. up working as the boss and then you work yeah. you know what i mean you, you have to step up it's like well, you can't this just is be what the, i was saying about you know, that you, you know absolutely and this is what i was also saying about you know everything you do or you produce or you go out and you do a cop watch and every time you do it you need to step it up one thing better every time yeah one yep. you you must or else you're gonna drown i mean okay it's the content and content and youtube and don't know that don't know that don't know that don't know that net and all that good stuff that yep. it don't pay the bills when uh, you need a lawyer for you know 20 large and that doesn't even guarantee that you're going to get out of the trouble that they're putting you in because you know a lot of people don't realize you know that when you start to file your paperwork, like, you know, from let's just, I'll go with my, the, the things that I've been through. Personal experience. Absolutely. If I would have to sue the, the sheriff's department, um, I have to write the intent. You know what I mean? The that I'm going to sue. Well, not only then, that, you would need an affidavit of truth. You would need a complaint record of the, the legitimate complaints. Without that, no cause, no compensation, no wounds. You well, don't they, need they to be always made better. kick it back. Hey, but check it out. They always kick it back for one word ain't quite right. So then you're, and they usually tell you what words you didn't spell right or didn't put in the right place, whatever that they're contesting. So they always mm -hmm. contest it because they can. They can. And if they Absolutely. can do these things, they're mm -hmm. going to do them. Whether they can get away with it, whether it's legal or not, if they can do it, they're going to do it. You know, uh, as long legal, as legal, it will be lawful. It might not be. This is uh, what we also have to understand. You got the legalese when yep. it's legal, and you got the lawful. These two are very different. Legal would be a uh, commercial term, a commercial legal term. You know, c c contractual law term 
would be, you know? So yep. again, yeah. And the, the only, all the the only thing, the one thing they said that the only thing the cops have to worry about is, or anybody that works in the government is what they're doing an arrestable offense. If mm. it's not, then they can do it all legally you know what i mean or how you want to work you see what i mean so because it's not an arrestable offense so absolutely you know and that's how it works and you don't think they're going to pull all their tricks out of their sleeve you're playing with someone who stacks the deck now do you want to put all your all your money in you want to go all in with that guy i don't think Hell so no <laughs> you know, that's what I, I might said. be stupid but i ain't that stupid <laughs> I, I play texas hold them but I ain't playing with no damn dude that knows how to stack the deck and got cards of it, please. <laughs> mark cards, you say, sir? I don't see these are mark cards. <laughs> is that a is that a shotgun I feel to my chest? Sure, all in, yes, sir. And they say, all right, yeah, well, you know why? Because I already played that game and lost. <laughs> hey, this time. is this is a sign of a smart man. You do it. You find out consequences aren't worth whatever it was, and yeah, move it on down the road. Absolutely. That's all we can do. So now I get to watch them screw up. And I try no. to throw my bone every once in a while and tell they them, hey, you fucking up. Bro. They oh, yeah. listen. They, listen they know me. everything better, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Well, I, I had a talk with Junior today. Yeah, he knows better. 24 yeah. years old, he knows better, man. It's all right. I'm don't just, worry about it. We just an old guy. We don't know nothing. Yeah, what do guy. you know? You've been <laughs> around so long, guy. you got dust in your ears, man. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Things aren't like that, Daddy-O. <laughs> you live back in the old days, Daddy-O. <laughs> That's like they try to tell Blue Steel stuff. And I laugh at him. I said, man, he'd jump out of a plane and land on your head. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with you? Straight up, what's wrong with you? That's yeah. what I'm like diving out of a plane in the middle of the night and land on your head. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to fuck with me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. People, he an old guy, though. He an old guy. One day, he went out there and did a bunch of pull-ups for them young boys up in New York. He was fucking with them boys up there. And... uh they seen that shit. They were like, "God damn!" <laughs> and it, ch it challenged any of them. There's a whole room full of them. None of them would do yeah. it. I, I've done that many a times. I would go uh, pull ups. I would go push ups, and then I would go punches in the stomach. And like, <laughs> yeah. come on, bitches, let's go. You know, <laughs> let's let's go. There. Yeah. Half of them done drank so many beers. If you punch them in the stomach, they puke all over themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Beware! <laughs> you break your wrist. Yeah, yeah don't would hit, hit nothing. Good, this. <laughs> it's all beer. <laughs> yeah, I can never understand that either. I mean, a man should always uh, at least try and take care of himself, at least on a physical basis. Yeah, you know. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. That's about all I got is my health, except for when the bees attack or. Things like, you know what I mean? Well, I got, I'm pretty lucky, too. I was reborn about three years ago. I died of a fucking heart attack. And, um, yeah, bro. It, yeah, you learn, let's say, humility, right? Humility yep. through uh, yep. adversity. And, yep. um, yeah, yeah, yep. <laughs> yep. I laugh a lot more, I'll tell you that. Get pissed off a whole lot less. Yeah, that's how I do. They think you're mad, you ain't. It's like, you're like you're, we got a Canadian in the house, you know that? There's a hey, Canadian. hey, hey, hey. No, no, those are fighting words. Are you ready that's to fight? Cat. Are you ready to fight? <laughs> nope. Me neither. We, it's, it's raining out. Is it raining over questioning. there? Have you watched this video? I saw it, <laughs> yeah. And I saw Southies. Well, how does it, how do they got music over top? That was sassy? How does Sassy do it? No, that was the way it is. Well, on how did Sci-Fi Bry do it? Yes, how did Sci-Fi? Oh, these are secrets that you want to know? Yeah, because... You need an editor. Happened, how can it be live if this is a live video? Did this yeah. happen yesterday? Why did he put it up? What's going on? There's a lot of questions here. I don't understand. Because, because we come out here to try to help people. When they put that up like that, it's kind of like it's a false flag. It's a false alarm. I don't understand what's going on. And then he's just going to leave us hanging like this. So that's what it's about. We have a lot of questions, Cat Crafty. Many I questions. Know. It's weird how he has it. And it's normally when, remember what happens, a rebel 
or myself, I mean, they'll turn off your camera. Yeah, well, I call the phone and it, it goes straight to voice voice there. So it's Perfect. not on. Phone's yeah, not they on. probably turned it off. Just like I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it, but I'll say it. <laughs> uh, it sounded like he passed out in the background over there with the birds singing or something. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm what I'm yeah, I wonder if the coordination of the bird song works with the time of the video after the five bells, you know, and uh, the the coming of dawn. If those birds are even in that state and all that, yeah, I mean, you know, we could yes. really go yes. down the rabbit hole, sir. I, so I know now, you enjoy it, and I'm just giving you bait. You know what I'm now saying? Now that you mentioned it, Cat is a bird expert. So, what Ooh. kind of birds are they, Cat? She's got birds everywhere out there. We there need to know go. what kind of birds. Yeah, what kind of whistles did you hear? What kind they're, of they're, they're right now? Listen, they oh. sound like uh, warblers or something like that. Hang on. <laughs> no. blue tits. I, I like blue tits. Blue tits. I, I don't um, even know what state he's from. So, are you closer to? See, well, hold on. Give, actually give us the bird. Rabbit. Give us Wisconsin. the bird. Tell yeah. us what their uh, state would be where they would reside and then we could you know figure out oh, yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. it's the normally of the matter what state you are in right kind of like where am would i the bird be in oh, well, I'm, in ontario. I'm in ontario no I, that i know i'm saying these kind of birds right where would they be i mean if we knew a kind of bird then you would figure out where they would be unless it's like a united states wide bird and that's just another question well, she's, a, cheating. she's cheating already because I already told her what state. So oh, No, I, I actually didn't hear that because I was busy. Okay. Oh, that's good, good. But good. but PDF, you understand the whole point of the exercise. That's really, yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Information. Right. I'm still Formation. not awake yet. I'm still not awake yet, but I'm working Neither on it. Neither am I. Like, either way, we're <laughs> working on it. It's It's instincts. That and coffee, you'll be fine, son. You'll yeah. be fine. Listen, son, <laughs> it sounds like, he, okay, show me. I know where you are. Sassy, I know where he is. He just said to show me state, right? Sci fi. Exactly. It's not show me Sasquatch. What's a, what's no, a show when, me? What's a show me state? Are you in the show me state? We don't know where he's at. He's missing. He got arrested well, or he passed something. out in the bed over there snoring. I don't know what's going on. Man, Mr. Batman. Blue titted warbler. <laughs> Blue titted warbler. That's what I was looking for. I wonder. More coffee, blue. <laughs> you know, right? Like more coffee and something else. But you okay. know what? See, I don't know that's would something be else. Bigger cup. Bigger have you cup. heard? Have you heard the birds, cat? You hear? Yeah, them? but it could be a swallowtail, like a blue swallowtail. They have blue. them in Illinois and over here. You're supposed to tell us this. Oh, well, let me hear the birdies. They're and a very they're tiny bird. Yeah, but there were also bigger and different earlier. Yeah, there were bigger birds bird. out when it was earlier. Yeah, there are quite a few different birds. Right, especially in the morning, right? They're all, see, that's yeah, a little tiny bird. Absolutely, and, and, and in the video, you can hear them start at a certain time. You can four hear the bird in the call. morning. If it's 4 o'clock well, in the morning, again, that's I would, usually I would the robin. Assume an hour or two before sunrise is when they start Those are usually the robins. Robins come out and they start whistling in your neighborhood or wherever PDF is. Like, what dang bird is that? Dang bird comes back at five o'clock and does the same thing. And you'll notice. Tweet, 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 yeah, tweet, tweet. tweet, tweet. I, I used to remember to go to sleep because you hear the chicken crawling It'll, and you know it's going to be daylight soon. <laughs> right. So the, we were the same way. Like, listen, the birds are coming out. That means we're out. So Got to go to gotta sleep. Get home. Yep. Yeah, Bedtime. we got to get home. Yeah. That means it's morning, right? And it's usually Bedtime. around three thirty, four o'clock, depending on yeah, an hour where you are. Sunrise, depending on which. Yeah, is. Absolutely. it's those are robins. That's where you want to sit and go. Don't sit in my tree, because they would actually wake you up. They've done it to me. I live in the trees, right? So those robins definitely, but those little tiny birds are going for little grubs in the that are in the tree right now. All the pollen is coming out of the tree. All of the and um, ants and little grubs and stuff are in your trees. And you'll sit there and see them pecking at the tree. 
singy like they are right now. Happily. Dinner. Yeah, those are little no, tiny. No, no, no. I got benches. me breakfast. Benches or warbler. Wrens. That's PDF. Yours was a Carolina wren. PDF's bird was a Carolina wren. He didn't know what it was. So I grabbed um, my book. A lot of people are just interested in eating the bird and not knowing exactly what I don't what want they to eat the bird. Like, so. No. I'm actually, I like birds. I don't. So do I. I don't Especially want them in my turkey. house. <laughs> well done. Mm. I don't want them in my house, buddy, because, you know, I thought about that, a bird for the cats. Oh, that does it. That just means you don't like them enough. <laughs> that's no, no, no. Birds you know are messy what? animals. They are, too. I mean, that's that's another. They're Arabic absolutely fence. messy animals. Yep. We, we had one. My grandma caught a budgie in the backyard. What are you saying, so, crow friends? I mean, but it was cool. They'd come and visit, and you, yeah. yeah, go shit up your own trees, guys. <laughs> I yeah. get them all the time. I get a blue jay here all the time. Yep. In fact, I have you to go them, and get them come. peanuts. Yeah, peanuts. Like cats, you feed them, they come. Mm -mm, I got the cats. I got a guinea pig too. So you f and you feed them, they keep on coming. Yep. The guinea pig loves it. They just roam roam free, like he doesn't go in in his cage he doesn't get locked up he roams free he goes outside he does whatever he wants to do he does guinea pig things that's what they do in uh, peru actually he likes they to sleep eat. in the house at night and then yeah they go do their guinea pig things he's right here see he's eating his cucumber we have fresh cucumbers fresh lettuce for him Outcast, he's my little terrorist. And then he'll come in here and eat all the herbs. So, yeah, that's what he likes to do. Yeah, I've always uh, I mean, had this theory of uh, feeding herbs and white wine to a rabbit and seeing if it tasted better in the oven. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, don't do that. I had a rabbit. What's wrong with these people? <laughs> Oh my God! Good. You would have just it looked at my rabbit all the time and said that's yeah, gonna look yeah. good in a pot. I've known people with rabbits. Any animal, I'm like, mm, I wonder. No, mine was a Dutch like. animal. Mine was a Dutch white, and I know you would have probably eaten him. I mean, you know, or her. I'm sorry for her. a reason. But I don't know if I had a pet rabbit, <laughs> I wouldn't have a pet rabbit. I, I, you know what? That was before I was born, so it was my pet rabbit. Well, his phone still goes to voicemail, and I left him a couple texts. Tell him uh, we're looking for you, man. What up? Yeah, what up? All our exes live in Texas. <laughs> I, the, the one thing I do wonder, if you could get, like, a, um output signature on the video, so it would have to be, like, uh, where the source would be, it would either be um something related to an OBS or... Well, it says through StreamYards and StreamYards, and it's st again, you don't know even if it's edited like that with past footage. This is the interesting uh. thing. Now, where StreamYards getting the feed from? The, man, I, I'm like so deep down the rabbit hole without doing anything. It's like, forget it. Yeah, that's why I say I. when Steve said this this morning, we're, no matter what, hey, no justice, this is all Steve's fault. Ohio Steve, he the one. Yeah, Ohio, yeah, Ohio Steve, Steve did it. He did it all. No matter what, this is Ohio oh. Steve. Is he did this? Yes. Why are you blaming him? Well, we Why were going to blame. I don't want the blame. Yeah, PDF can't have the blame. AJ, AJ, AJ Martin don't blame. want the blame. We You're just going to blame, blame AJM. Yeah, Ohio. Yeah, blame AJM. Fuck. Come on. He's from no, no, he, he was number three. He was number three. Yeah. Uh, he threw, he, it, it went down he's the, the chain. One that of, threw, hey, he's the one that threw he Steve under the bus. Steve under the bus. Yes, sir. AJM, <laughs> yes, what are you doing? <laughs> yes, sir. What are you doing? Why is it AJM, I'm going to put the lorry over your... Oh, out. no, you're not. You're going to be nice. You're going to be nice. Don't you know nice. what Everybody a lorry is? Everybody got to share the blame. No, no, no. A lorry, I'm just going for AJM. A lorry would be a truck, wouldn't it be? A lorry, a lorry is a truck. truck. Damn right. Yeah, and thank you. Know our, where is Country Boy? He's when we need him. Mm -hmm. hey, I, I have vernacular. 
Hey, check it out. I took the blame on voluntarily from the start because I, I knew I could just give it away real quick. That's why. Yeah, so. and I accepted it with honor after PDF because yeah. PDF yeah. had it. Shit, I want some too. <laughs> now HAM's here to prove it. Right there he is. Look. There you go. HAM, I'm going to get you with a double decker bus. How you like me now? Cat. He shared the facts, though, the cat. He shared the facts. See, um, I had to scroll. I had to scroll above AJM's name, and then there was Steve saying he was waiting for me. So I'm thinking Steve set me up, and then he went to bed. Sure. <laughs> no, He's like, okay, hey, okay. I got some Everybody, we have fishing. We have conspiracy. Yeah. Well, we worked our way through it the chat. It is a conspiracy <laughs> to start with. Just look at the video. You know, yes, we, I say it was started. the Harvey Oswald. God damn it! Yeah. <laughs> this is one of them. Who shot Kennedy deals here going on? We're trying to figure Absolutely. it out. Who, shot? Who disappeared the sci-fi? Yeah. Who disappeared the sci-fi, we'll call it. Well, These could be woman? Martians. Hey, they might be Martians. <laughs> Maybe he's on Ocean Date. <laughs> All you need is the opening to, um, you know, like um, Twilight Zone. Dun 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 dun. dun, 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 dun it was sci-fi. Yeah, yeah. That. That'd be he was out real. auditing on the street. <laughs> dreams are made. And people are broken. Hey, sci-fi disappears with the 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 that that what she said in the beginning. The ocean gate. <laughs> He's on the ocean gate. <laughs> do, 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 do. Is sci-fi <laughs> really on a submarine or isn't he? <laughs> I don't know, and I really think that's a weird thing to actually. You know what? They heard some sounds. PDF, apparently. Hey, well, the end of the video might be the birds playing and him laying there sawing Z's. Snoring. Well, this is what it kind of sounded like about three or four hours in. You could hear somebody, <laughs> oh, oh, and then the birds start. <laughs> it's, it's, dude. The audio on this is like million dollar stuff. I'm telling you, they're going to use it in a movie one day. One day. <laughs> Cause it's perfect. It could be a good ASMR if nothing else. I guess this is this is another thing. Yeah, put it in another category. I'll do a short. Yeah, bird song. You know, it was them aliens that you were talking about like two weeks ago that landed in Las Vegas. Well, they came <laughs> to, to visit they, sci-fi. Yeah, they heard about him on the internet. That's what happened. True that. True that. And you know, they went for got a self-portrait. Can you do our self-portrait? Let them know that we were here. <laughs> we're trying to investigate this, um, Kadu. We're really not sure if he's been arrested or not, to be honest. I think the Martians got him. Them aliens this got might him. Be, this it's might either be or he's in the ocean gate. One or the other. <laughs> and he knew he knew they was Martians because that's why I say he didn't care what they badge numbers <laughs> was. Sci-fi's last yeah. message to humanity. <laughs> I don't care what your badge number is or your name. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be disappeared in 10 minutes, sucker. I'm, I know you from the other planet. They came to get him. The sci-fi dudes came to get him. They took him on that ship. <laughs> the sci-fi okay. disappeared, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. That was a good yeah. one. Because I all we got down. left. Hold on. I got to write that down, man. <laughs> Yeah, but his phone's still laying there beside the bicycle. Hey, they can't, they only the transport DNA. Technology is left behind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like Kirk beaming down. Oh, my God. No tricorder, oh, no phaser. <laughs> Somebody going to find his clothes and put an APB out. Look out for a naked sci-fi running around <laughs> up here in Wisconsin somewhere. Yeah, but he's going to show up in like 30 years <laughs> in Los yeah. Angeles. Standing in the same place, <laughs> butt-ass naked, looking around but like, what the hell? My knees are me. Always a good time with you, PDF. Always a good time. Oh, man. He's in a good mood today. I'll be worried about the poor guy because, uh, like I said, he didn't give us no, uh, he didn't leave us no bread, no breadcrumbs to follow. Yeah, and no heads up if it was going to be, you know, a uh, a snipe hunt, you know? Yes, 
we don't know. We, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards the, the, the outer space guys. That's what I'm thinking. That's the, the only... <laughs> it seems more rational with the video edits and all. The Canadians that came and took them. Hmm? Huh? He <laughs> didn't Imagine specify the which aliens, so it exactly. could be Canadians. They could all, be. All so, options are open. All if options it was a Canadian, hey, if it was the Canadian, they'd have stole his telephone. It wouldn't be laying there in the bushes. <laughs> No, no, we don't need the phone. We got it. all the phones here and phone booths. Come on. Hey, we recycle Come the on. platinum, eh? Hey. It's you know all what? about the recycling. Yes. Don't y'all don't, don't, y'all don't litter. We got y'all don't litter, a right? new tune yesterday. We got a new tune. Yes, we did. I popped into our coin collection where it's being now circulated. It's the indigenous coin. You can buy it too if you wanted. The whole roll of silver. Now check this out. I got a whole nother problem that an issue that we didn't even get to is the very beginning of the video. He's showing a gold coin. He's he's singing. It's like an introduction. A little bit of gold dust, and all of a sudden it turns into it. Just look at the cut. Look at the cuts. This is all I'm saying. It's not like he picks up a camera and he moves it again, and then it goes to the two guys playing, and all of a sudden. You got music that isn't the two guys plan because it's actually good, and um, you got a live broadcast. Mm-hmm. You know, back all the way up, riding his bike, different camera. Look at the what's written on the side of it. I mean, the clues are there, Inspector. The clues are there. Now this is the very beginning. Yep. Of this video, this. This is Sci-Fi Bride's video, right? Yeah. Yep. yep. So hey, check he... out who check out who was in there. Do you see that? No, I don't. Watch, we'll let this thing play, man. Is it playing? Yeah, it's playing. Oh, okay. Well look who's here. Watch this. Boop. Well, maybe I should screenshot. Let me look. Wait a minute. Who is he doing? He's going rogue. You see this shit? Just Good. watch it. Like this is live in color. Yeah, I have a producer on this channel. <laughs> they call me a rogue mod. Well, that's why they call you rogue mod. Now, who was that that you just did that to? Dare we even say? At least this one's lucky. He's he's a wrench because if he ain't, I'd have blocked his ass too just for something to do. I don't know. I saw a lot of people with wrenches that on that channel that don't deserve it. Nobody posted any information. No nothing. No. Oh slip. no! What's PF? Know. He's like uh, anybody else here that who I don't else, like. Who else don't I like up in this? <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> me. <laughs> Give it to me. Suck it to me, PDF. Hey, I ought to I ought to block Ohio Steve's ass for getting us involved in this. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 this is the oh, moment in time, we're actually watching PDF, mine. you're actually watching PDF go rogue, what the fuck, hey. what's wrong with that, <laughs> you didn't know wait, it so already, wait till he gets it in your room, wow, no, I, th- listen, he's just at like number two of my expectations for PDF, like I don't understand why you're getting all wound up, I'm yeah, not like up. I'm saying everybody's watching him go rogue right now. The, okay, so when Sci Fi hey. Bright gets out and asks PDF, oh, I don't know what happened to this person. PDF's going to say, My I fault. Don't know. I don't it's know. My fault. It's I don't my know. fault. Mine. No, he's going to say mine, it's mine, 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 Ohio mine. Steve's fault. That's who he's going to say. He's going to blame yeah. it on Ohio hey. Steve. You watch. Yeah, we'll blame Steve. Don't worry. I know you will. All right, we got gotcha. you. <laughs> But see, here's the sound. Here's the. Um, <laughs> this is the beginning of this video, or am I on a different one? No, see, no. Now there's Thank some you. words on it. He, he is on the internet, right? Right now, he has to be on the internet in his Streamyards account, mm-hmm. producing the video. He dropped the video, you know, upload video and play video and full screen video, and that's where we are. If you well, look carefully, this is a motorcycle ride. I don't even know what I can't see the date. I'm sure there's a date code and a bunch of what it dates says, on that video. It says five twenty seven twenty three. May there twelve you go. Okay, so twelve fifty two forty eight AM. GPS speed sixteen mile an hour. Um then it says some more words on it, which it says something about um 
it has an address, 2007 Colmalt Drive, Shannon fucking door or whoever knows shenanigans shenanigans Sheboygan Wisconsin or something Shenan like that Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Shenan I think it said, it might say Dilla. shenanigans but we don't know <laughs> how much further this shenanigan went on after this time <laughs> I come back in here and block every motherfucker up in the tail again <laughs> <laughs> you are funny I can just imagine you up north shenanigan road shenanigan road shenanigan road I can't say these road. words crafty cat I can't this say is- these words <laughs> I'm starting to think there's aliens going to land in this video here in a minute. See, no, the they're going to be Indians is, at the I end of the remember, line. I do remember that he made a post that he had to sell his motorcycle a while ago. So he still <laughs> yeah. has a motorcycle and he's riding it. No, this so, is an electric bike that he put oh, this big yeah. 750 amp battery on or some shit. Uh, I get that. Day. It's got some I super battery on this thing. This thing will jump off the ground almost. But he's got another yeah, yeah. page, Sci-Fi's bike page, you know, and um, I thought he was doing good. I don't know if this is the same night that this video, because I don't know. It's not making sense anymore. Wait a yeah. minute, this ain't even the right video. This not is the right video. Guy. Yeah, same. But now we got the, the um, what's the call it? Shenanigan, Wisconsin, where he's from. Shenandoah. Shenandoah. Huh? I think it's Sheboygan. Uh, Sheboygan. It? I'm thinking oh, it's Shenandoah. Where's my history at? Uh, I'll or drop you he... the link. You want the link? Here's the link. Hold on. No, I got the history right here. I'm, I'm on it, but I don't need to go down. Here, private chat. Okay. I got the link for the video. There you go. Boom. It's gone. It's, in the back it's, gone. it's still there. It's still live. Should be. This thing's still not going. It's still running. It's not in my history. Here, I and dropped the link in the private chat. His, his stream is still going after he's been arrested. Five hours, 53 minutes it lasted. It's It's done now. Oh, okay. Yep, it's done now. Yep, and yeah, was... I think that was the right video because, again, he's riding the bike. Mm-hmm. That was May 27. The... Have, have we been spoofed? Have we been hoaxed? I don't know. I'm starting to wonder what is he doing over there, Sci-Fi. True that. Here, I think the aliens, the Martians, up. got him. Hey, as soon as we start talking about the Martians, he disappeared, didn't he? Disappeared, dead, uh, suspicious at the least. Uh-huh. Is, are they Martians or Marshals? <laughs> and we just never know. Martians. Aliens. Marshals. Exactly. We I'm like, I wouldn't talk to you either, not with all this shit going on. You might be taking me to Ocean Gate. You might be taking me on an aircraft someplace. Mm-hmm. Look, the last video he has up shows the Martians. Oh, right there on it. Look right there. You see that? Alec, now Alec we so know. Nine says the arrest was from 11 9 2020. The original footage is still available. So, what was he doing with a live that pretended to be alive and very and why strange? Did Steve, why did Ohio Steve set me up? Why that, did, oh, yeah, Ohio Steve. Ooh. That motherfucker set me up. Rut row. Steve, hey, I'm go back and block morning, y'all. Morning, morning. Blue. Okay, Alex has dropped. It. Alex has broke the case. If you look in the chat, yep, we did. We got it. Oh, okay. I was coming up, so I missed that. You know, I pride myself in the one thing that I learned in school was how to read. <laughs> <laughs> the one and only thing that has served me well is learning how to read. Everybody should learn how to read. No, yes. in modern education right. today, in modern education today, they only teach you how to disseminate what a meme is and what it means. That's all that's important. <laughs> they all copy paste as the new talent. <laughs> I don't know. That that's the one thing you can do right there. Watch, bam. So now. so in other words, everybody who was in the chat 
right, believed that he got arrested. And you look at the uproar in the chat, it's, it's you know what? They should be ashamed <laughs> of themselves. They should have known better. Because having a, you should have known that that arrest was from 2020. Yeah. You weren't paying attention. We're just blaming Steve. That's all it matters yeah, to us. Steve, so how how did you thought? not know? Well, yes. I don't know if Steve has a wrench there. But again, still. I, 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 the basement. I, w I had to use the restroom in the basement, and I seen it on the wall. It's all Ohio Steve's fault. <laughs> hey, hey, Peter, welcome to the club, Blue. <laughs> hey, Peter. Yeah, Peter. yeah no good. Yes. Did you leave hey. toilet paper in the bathroom in the basement? Go ahead, no, Justin. God damn. I hear you. Don't you remember he did that same? He he did the same thing last year. Exact same yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm starting to remember slowly, slowly. I wasn't awake this morning yeah, I mean, when I was awake. I, I knew that was coming up. I knew that was, I was, I, he's not awake. Only the second cup of coffee. <laughs> now I'm on my second pot now. <laughs> nice. Think, you know, big glass. Big now, we're, glass. We're, we're just here to blame Ohio Steve and piss everybody yeah, off. It's all Ohio Steve. Yeah. It's oh, working out perfectly. <laughs> the best part is we didn't even have to plan it. It just happened. Synchronicity is the key. Here, Sci-Fi Bry, the video guy. What the hell, guys? I fell what asleep in those videos. Say, what the hell's wrong with you, Sci-Fi? I'll even hang it like that. <laughs> See how he does us? That's, uh, there he is right there. We got the clip. Sci-Fi, you should have just stayed off. Yeah, got the, the, yeah, got the clip. No. How do we know it's really him? He could be coming back as the alien. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, right. Uh -oh. Yeah, he's getting smart. You see, sci-fi. Sci How do we know it's you, and you're not been taken over by those, uh, you know, aliens or Ocean Gate people? Where are you at, sci-fi? So and none of the mods in his room. Knew. He's gonna do the same thing he told the cop. Sorry, can't talk. Sorry, can't so talk. So none of the mods <laughs> in his room knew that sci-fi was playing old videos, and they were like, "Oh my God, they've arrested sci-fi." That's so interesting. That is a uh, very, very interesting. Hey, you did that last year too, man. Fell asleep on us. Here we go. <laughs> What up, man? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my God. Shame on so you. you Shame I on you. Sci fi, that's not funny. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, we were analyzing the bad editing and the snoring and groaning sounds. Was there snoring? <laughs> I was in the other <laughs> room. I checked the stream. I didn't hear any snoring. <laughs> when you were up, you didn't hear it. But, you know. <laughs> he was in there burping and farting all night. <laughs> it just it sounded just like sounded bird, like song, bird song, song to our uninitiated yeah. ears. Well, that's because my window's open. We can hear we that. Can hear that. Yeah. You're yeah, also nightmaring. That's hilarious. I I get up and I go to the bathroom and I like see there's a voicemail and it's a voicemail from PDF. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, you dumb hillbilly. You're making too much noise. And I'm like, oh, shit, that's right. I was streaming. Um, I must have fell asleep. And then <laughs> I look and show me Sasquatch made a video. And like has my arrest video up. He put, he put the video up on his channel, dude. And pure I'm evil. Like, pure <laughs> evil. Hey, well, I'll admit, so did I. I put one on my page. Too. Come on, PDF. You know about that arrest? Hey, do I have to? That's do I have my to claim page, that? That was my uh, white Bronco. Are you kidding me? Am I supposed to admit to this? Yeah. No. <laughs> Denial, Denial, dude. Denial. Denial. <laughs> Who's that? I don't going? answer questions. It's Sci Fi, bro. Sally, you got to echo. Oh, oh, really? I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, mute the uh, YouTube tab. <clears throat> I am uh, not I on don't your have computer at home, not in jail. I don't even have anything open. And oh, hold on a second. Audio. There you go. There you go. My stream lines. Nope, he's still there. 
No. No. Hello? What you what you running? Hello? Sound like you got let me see if I can check this. Yeah, we can hear you, uh Sapphire. You just got reverb going. It's repeating. How about now? How about now? Can you hear us, Sapphire? Yeah, I can hear you. I took your I took your uh, check out of your echo box. Echo cancellation. It works like that for um, oh, blue steel hear too. You can't. Hear has it. been experimenting on our, uh, on shit like that. I don't know what the side effects are going to be, but <laughs> <laughs> false news. I wonder how many people I should block out of his room now for doing that to us. What do you think? Me you too. He can't hear us because he don't know what we're saying. Before I shut my stream down, I was looking at the live chat and I saw I I didn't notice particular anybody else, but I saw that Gregory was in there. Yes, he ain't gonna be there no more, probably. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I, I think one of the mods went rogue in the room, kind of did some house man? cleaning and, and stuff. I was like gonna that, say, but, if you, you rewind know. this video just um, about ten no, minutes you, back, you, you know, you're gonna everything. see something in full. Nothing it's like all. a woman to give a man up. We see, gotta go back. You gotta, you gotta, be you gotta be careful, yes, fellas. She'll dry Side stick. Five. Sci-fi. Uh, Ohio Steve did this, right? It's yeah, all Ohio all Steve's it. fault, right? Oh, really? You know he this, thought, right? He thought I really yeah. got arrested. Well, right. AJM oh. was first at fault. Well, no, he was third. Um, <laughs> Batman didn't want to be second. blamed. <laughs> I took the blame from the start, and then we put it on Ohio Steve because we found him at the top of the chat. <laughs> he was yeah. first yeah. one in, and he should have known better. You know, I, you see, I just did. We got a plan to do this more often, man. That's you see, how I did this. better not. We got to expose the case. Okay. Yes, we exposed it. We we figured the Martians had you at the end. That's what we were. Yeah, we had, absolutely. We were, about, we were going to come from Canada, so but we don't know. I know. Wait, wait, I wait, saw wait. you. PDF was like reviewing my avatar. He's like, look, they got them right there. There's aliens. Right. Yes, we knew they were. And when What's did it? they bring you back? This morning with the birds. Oh, shit. So when this the birds happened how chirping. long ago? And you finally you came back. Naked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't need that long. They just need to experiment our bodies and then you they'll put you right back in the field. I streamed <laughs> that video on, you know what I mean? Like replayed it. Yeah. Right. Wanda was on it, doggone it. She was pursuing it hard, but. Alex yeah. broke it. Well, it no, on the serious world. side, though, on the serious side, a lot of people thought that just happened last night. Yeah, yeah. including like, including ninety percent of the mods that were in the room. That so we already to pray we, we for you. Called, we already You're, flood called Shibogan, Wisconsin Police Department. On yeah, your yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I wouldn't they, go out cup watching tonight because they'll yeah, probably they, uh, harass you. <laughs> They got Fucking a bolo blue. out on your ass. <laughs> Dude, that's so crazy, That was a good guys. one, Blue. <laughs> like, nobody... I guess when you're live streaming and you just playing a video, there's no way of seeing, like, the date or anything on it unless you research my channel. Uh, yeah, good one, good one, Blue. I really <laughs> yeah. like that one. Smart ass smartass, man. That I didn't intend one. on this, you guys, but, but it's actually kind of funny. I would fire the mods after the chat. Like, yeah, you you should have known this was a video, you know. Like, if people, yeah, uh, man, ridiculous. <laughs> but again, I, I didn't. I don't know because I, I know, like, you know, I see a lot of people get arrested. And, okay, they all look pretty much alike uh, at night. You know what I mean? And so. the video. Okay, so I don't know what was playing, but I remember before I fell asleep what I was trying to do. And I was just playing what was in my, um, you know, like when you're in StreamYard, you have brands. Mm -hmm. And in there, you can save vi little video clips. This is like what I something. thought and PDF thought was going on. It's like, how did these clips come on alive kind of thing with the music overlay? And it wasn't yeah. sitting well. The whole, you know, graphic <laughs> issue that there was there. Yes, yeah, And we said that right music. from the very beginning. We Absolutely. said right from the beginning, we knew this was a chopped up, cut up clip. But Ohio Steve was generally concerned. <laughs> oh, okay. 
<laughs> he's the one that he's the fault of this. He, he alerted was the me. First one. Yes. He, mm-hmm. he was the first one that we saw in the chat that was genuinely concerned. Yes, yes. He but everybody that. was yes. concerned. I will say that from reading the chat. We'll you go over that so sci-fi, much. you'll be pissing your pants. But I uh, watched it with one eye open, and I ain't even had my coffee done yet. And I was about a big giant question mark on the other eyelid, and I hadn't even yep. opened it up yet. So I was like, "Wait a minute, this is fucking a spoof," you know. So, but hey, like I said, there was people genuinely concerned, trying to, I mean, figure out where you were at and all this shit. So, you know, that they're all going to be pissed at you. And everybody else is going to be like, ah, we're a bunch of dumbasses. We didn't even look at your page or we could look at it like we all knew something was wrong. There's no way you can have a live feed with music playing over top of it right from the start and then stop yep. the music and the cops start talking. <laughs> There's no <laughs> possible way that could be live. You see what I'm saying? So that, that was more- rapid. We That's even started. Music. We even started uh, investigating the back noises that we were hearing. We identified yeah. the blue, the birds as blue titted warblers. <laughs> <laughs> and cat's to blame for that because she's the bird specialist here. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, yeah. There's, there's. Uh, I don't know what kind of bird that is specifically, but there. I know there. There. It could be peckers. made up because I got a thing for blue tits. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. I might be responsible for that. Yes. Yes. Nowadays, that's a, a whole new class. You have to check in that box down there. Yeah. A silicone or non-silicone warbler, sir? Yes. He says, as long as they're blue, he don't care because he's going yep. to Martians. Sci-fi, <laughs> Martians, he's going to fit right in. <laughs> but I wouldn't go out there cop watching anytime soon because, like, yes. like PDF said, there's a bolo on you. Yeah, yeah phone we, calls we, have been made, man. Phone we, calls we called, have been made. Hey, we called the mayor of Shenanigan, uh, Wisconsin. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I know it's not going to help. It's shenanigans. It's okay. It's shenanigan. We called shenanigan. <laughs> shenanigan. <laughs> hey, Terry, Terry Goldstein, Hatchie Productions, the Swanee River Company. Okay, uh, a subsidiary. Anyway, um, <laughs> there, there is a John Candy clip. Oh. It's, he says Sheboygan, Wisconsin, in the back of the U-Haul van, and yeah. we need that and sci-fi together. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little small request. Well, they're going to find you because them, them aliens that landed down in Vegas, are. we seen them up there in Wisconsin live last night, so that's what they're looking for you for. So be careful. Yeah. You know, on your go, video. You're, on hop, you're on a hopped-up bicycle that's got some kind of superpower. So you go really fast. They're going to have a hard time finding you. But they're on the lookout for you, blood. Just letting you know. You might want to wear your mask tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'd wear the Martian mask. That's what I would wear. You'll be safe that way. Oh, the yeah. woo-woo mask. PDF, I have my phone volume all the way up, and I can still barely hear you. Is there any way that you can put some volume on your stream? I don't know. Oh, you want mean you want him to blast your ears? Well, I'm I'm not wearing headphones or nothing. I have my phone all the way up, and I can barely hear you guys. Mm. That's your phone. You must go to settings. Go to setting. Go to. Oh wait. Go to. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Hello, hello. Yeah, I I went into my settings and I could do it, but when I just did the volume buttons, it wouldn't turn the stream up. Yeah. But yeah, this is actually, I think this is so funny, dude, you guys. You know, I always well, thought about this. Like, for, for a lot of people, it ain't. Oh, I but know. I, and I'm so sorry about that. It was not my intention. You know that, PDF. I would never. Yeah, no. Oh, like I want said. a three to five page apology letter posted <laughs> on the YouTube. I am thing. not. I am not a <laughs> sleep stream. Clicks and views, guy. I fell asleep. I fell asleep, and I was actually I got up and went into the bedroom, and I was in my bed sleeping. So it's really weird. Like I just we heard when you got up. We heard the groan, and now I understand because I make some of those kind of same noises when I got to get up and move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, But I will say this. I will say this. uh, Sci-fi. Um, having been present and a couple of different critical moments of your life kind of thing if you remember way back when 
Um, yeah. I don't underestimate, overestimate, or anything. And right. um, yeah, I mean, bells were right. ringing that something was wrong with the video, but still, uh, thoughts of wellness and hopefully, you know, everybody's that, just buddy. like blowing smoke, bro. You know? Yep. No, I appreciate that. And like I said, it wasn't my intention, but uh... I get it. It's funny as fuck, though. Phil is going to love this was, shit. Phil is going to love this. A lot of okay, genuine well, concern. A lot of genuine concern. Just to let right. you know. The Hebrew Hammer has uh, drafted uh, an order of reparations for you to make. Reparations. <laughs> reparations, yes. Oh, man, crimes I... against humanity. Yes. Hey, we was on a we was on a on a, a hunt, but there was nothing we was hunting for. We didn't know, so probably. Told you, hey, I told know. you, PDF, the snipe might be in the air. You yeah, know what I'm saying? It was a snipe hunt. Yes, you said that right from the beginning for yep. sure. For everybody who is here that doesn't know about the the arrest and the case, so you you kind of saw what happened, right? I was on the sidewalk. I didn't say anything to anybody, and I was arrested. Um. It was a year later, and they took me all the way through pre-trial and everything, you guys. And they yeah, just I'm sure they, they did. They dismissed my case after the new DA watched the video footage. Okay, so what I'm trying to what my point is, you know, don't ever give up. Just fight that shit. Okay, you know, so then. Hey, let's go to the other side of the scale, right? You can't give up when they arrest you like that. But was there a, a point in time where you could have avoided that arrest? Yes. Um, yes. Oh, definitely. Okay, so then, all right, so then. Now, what did you gain out of this? Has oh, there been any? Oh, yes. I definitely learned a lot from that. And, you know, and what, one thing I learned – in between, you know, that arrest and now, too, is that, um, and, and shit, it might even, you know, a lot of it actually comes from you, PDF, because we've talked about it lots of times, right? Getting arrested doesn't do anything. It's not going to help anybody. It's not going to help you. It's not going to help the movement. It's not going to help what you're out there for. Um, so the movement should, is irrelevant. Try... It doesn't exist. It's well, about I you. Mean, you should try you know to avoid. You should yep. try to avoid arrest at all costs. Yep. Because literally, point. all costs. Yep. Literally. Be yep. Because they will put you through the system. Once you're in the system, they they want you to cop a plea. They, I have they... a question for you. How would you would have felt if um, they didn't change the DA or whoever was the prosecuting uh, person? And they actually went through, and you were found convicted. Because you know that's a that's the the greatest possibility for you for it to happen. Yeah. You know? And then they even know that you'll appeal it and win on appeal. They'll even know that, and they won't care. Yep. They'll still they know you're going to convict convict you in grandma's court. You know what I mean? But when you get to the big courts, you know where there's real courts, not these little little backwood hick towns like we live in that they do this to us in, you know, or but the big these are cities. all the, the corporate courts of the municipalities that aren't even a uh, lawful entity. They're legal. They're not lawful. And this is the big issue. Technically, if you're a citizen and a citizen is considered as chattel, well, then you're under obligation to them. If you're thinking of, of yourself as a free man and one of the people you would be a national, and that would be a different category. They have no say in what goes, because you are only responsible for crimes against humans and property. You get it? So, again, it's very, very different. And much like the driving, when everybody's doing commerce in their car, and they don't understand that, no, I can travel in my vehicle. This is a big issue. Yeah. And there's not enough people to stand on either side yep. for our sides. For their side, they have a lot of people, like I said. And what do you can do about this? So now you weren't charged. How do you uh, suffer damages? This is the next question I had for sci-fi is like, what is your next step forward? Is your lawyer willing to uh, go at a federal level 
and get them on uh, well, malicious prosecution happened, and all this stuff. What happened with, if you remember, um, Zynga, that after they um, dismissed the case, then, you know, I was, I had a, um, a good case for um, a 1983. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. And my lawyer, I had my lawyer that I found was through the guy Catch You Later. You remember him? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the perv him. guy that, so that um, once we, we once exposed. He got, once he got called out, which was my case was still open with my lawyer. We were still pursuing the 1983 and everything. Once Catch You Later and I had the, the falling out or whatever, you know, yeah. then my, all of a sudden he must have got to my lawyer. My lawyer dropped me right before it was too late to pursue it civilly. So I couldn't do anything with the case anymore. They kind of fucked me. Okay, and I, I would use this as a uh, a story and a realization to anybody who thinks that, you know, oh, just sue them. And those fucking comments that idiots drop all the time, oh, just sue them. Like, if you're going to be doing this, then you're going to be, you know, messing with your freedom and your physical and mental well-being, you better have a mouthpiece in your pocket before you do anything. Because mm -hmm. the pigs unpredict well they're very predictable they're gonna lock you up and they're gonna brutalize you yep. and then look at this a dude that was running around with a camera hanging out down here in florida with all the big dogs that he could get to uh standing shoulder to shoulder and nobody knew he had charges of molesting a child Wow. And he's the one, he's the one, the guy catch you later, that we had on my panel that day and had him tell us his story and he lied like a fucking rug. But he was the one who was buddying up to everybody out here and helping everybody he could, right? And then as soon as they find out he's a fucking perv, a, a, a sex offender for children, he calls sci-fi to leave his lawyer somehow, allegedly. We yeah, don't know, because but. because he he was friends with this guy, okay, and I befriended Catch You Later, and then he says, "Hey, I got this guy. I, he's going to take your case for you." You know what I mean? He hooked me up, but then after that shit came out, and then I basically told him I was done with him because of what came out. Next thing I know, I get a letter saying that uh, my lawyer. Uh, is dropping my case. He said because something about um, it was unclear who who did the violating and all this bullshit, and there the people involved because there's three different agencies. We had the Sheboygan Police, the Kohler Police, and the um, uh, Sheboygan, Sheboygan County Sheriff's Department. Actually, the Kohler and the Sheboygan Police are the kind of the same. They just have like you know, different cities and different market cars, but they all, they both go through Sheboygan. Uh, and so, you know, with him getting, you know, called, you know, getting caught or, or everybody, you know, what was it PDF? He got arrested or something, right? He got arrested. Hold on. First of all, first of all, when we first met, that's later. He had been accosted by the police. In Williston, Florida. That's where the police kicked him in the ass. Yeah. Yeah, he's from Florida, yep. And then and then later on he was down there uh, in Puna Gorda and got fucked up and we found out he was a killer. Yeah, yeah, because he, stick, he, he told us the story after that, did he guys? <laughs> he's still out there. <laughs> I seen, I seen that the other day. And what was so messed up about the whole thing? I didn't even know that this guy, you know, that people found out he was a pedophile or whatever, right? So I'm just on the internet, and I see AFA drilling him. Okay, and I thought, well, you know, because AFA, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not, a, I'm not him, and I, I'm not gonna say anything bad about him, but we just aren't. Yeah, I like Josh. He's, I like Josh. We don't, we're not cool. Hey, his wife kicked me out of her page the other day. I got kicked out of her page. Can you imagine her kicking me out? Why would she do me like that? 
but he, nice, nice. he, he can kind of. He told me I had to come back when I was nicer. <laughs> Dude, you're more than welcome to show up with me anytime like and be as unnice hey, as you possibly hold want hold to be. I'm sorry. I, I thought he was kind of trying hey, hold on to just do that a little bit, you know. Um, and I thought he was just messing with catch you later and so i was in there defending catch you later not even knowing what it was about <laughs> hey y'all hold on for a second i want to say something mute yeah. your shit uh sci-fi you got a lot of blowback i'm sorry hey <laughs> what, what pdf was talking about yeah was this hippie went down there with afa to do a audit <laughs> And Anna Banana was alive. <laughs> and you should have seen Hippie's face when he read Anna Banana's chat. <laughs> yeah, so I got, got kicked out. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't watch hey, him. I don't now here's know what happened, though. About him. I'm not gonna, I can't say anything about Josh because I really – people used to say Josh, Josh, Josh when I used to hang out. Well, hey, office. check this out. I don't know that him. dude. That dude. I think you echo it, Blue. Mute your mic once, Blue. Hello, hello. I can't see it. Oh yeah, he's blue. I mean, he's muted. I don't know. Somebody's echoing. Might be you, Sapphire. Yep, it's you. You got YouTube playing in the background or something. But check it out. This is the way it was. I had that boy on my channel. First, Frog put him up. UK, the frog guy, the frog. If you go to the frog's channel, you can see he was the one who got the records on his channel first. But now Keebler over here, she had his records instantly. As soon as we were listening to the court proceedings, Keebler found him. And she gave us all the records. Well, we weren't going to say anything. We were going to try to get him up on the panel and then break out the records on him. But it was too late because um, Frog already had all his information out there. So the next best thing we could do was to get um, our friend Dr. Sean and Geo to go live and get him on the panel. And then I have the video up of that somewhere, probably maybe. I'm pretty sure it is. It's still, you know. It's but that would be your MO. PDF. I mean, yeah, that's, get him up that's on the panel. Fucking, here you go. Have some rope. Oh, you need some more. Here you go. Yeah. You don't know how to tie a knot. I'll teach you. <laughs> so he told us his whole story. He told us something about some other guy was there, and he had some fabricated story. But we already had all the records, and the mother had walked in on in the room with her little child, little girl, and caught him doing something, um, hand down the kid's pants or something to that effect. So. Um, we already knew this, but he come and told us about some other guy that, you know, and then Josh a day or two later got him on his panel and got yeah. him to tell his story. Right. And that's when he told two different, total different stories. We still had all the records. If you don't believe me, go to the frog, the frog it's still on his page. Probably. It's actually one of the worst ones that we've had out here. Well, not really. I mean, one look of, at um, Rock City words. Audit. He's definitely, you know, out of the people that I personally know. ROC, that, Rock City Audits. Five, right. oh, seven, yeah, yeah. nine-year-old oh, yeah. little girls. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah, now, he's he number was, one. That's why yeah, I but he was, he's one of the worst. <laughs> yeah, well, but he was clean cut. He spoke well. I mean, you echoing bad, Sapphire. But check it out. He was like all-around American kid-looking guy. And then we find out about him. To come back. You know what I mean? You don't know anymore who to even, what to believe. I mean, and you have to, to be frog honest, next that, that, that's you know? been a problem. You, you see all these, uh, you know, recommended uh, shows and yeah, here, you know, give this guy your view time and, and stuff like that. Yep. And you watch. And the underlying thought that you have is, who the fuck is this guy? Why does he move the way he does? And what the fuck is he hiding? 
and back in back in the day remember the trolls kind of vetted everybody they oh, would find dude. out about all the new people people yeah. always complain about trolls and call yeah. people trolls and they don't know what a troll is number one you don't feed the troll but two trolls are very useful they yeah. are the net that um the internet should be going through you yeah. know they're not the and, asshole that posts oh uh this and this and uh, name calling or little dick or whatever in the chat just to get people juice that is not a troll no. you know that that definitely troll ne necessary thing very necessary thing and i've had i've had them send me information you know uh, about these people and say hey here's this guy's records and i would look them up and find out they were factual they weren't some bullshit they made up because they would come in the room and just start calling people names but they never told anybody yeah and i was like well give me their name i'll do videos on these piece of craps so i don't care if i got a camera yeah. in their hand or their badge on their chest it don't matter if you're a piece of yeah. crap i'll do a story and i started doing that how long ago and everybody told me, you know, you're making other auditors look bad. I said, no, you guys are because you're standing you beside. Look bad, period. And I'm calling you out on it. And that's the mm -hmm. job of a uh, of a people. It's mm -hmm. like not only to uh, correct his his corrupt and wrong government. You know, it's exactly. yeah. Call him like you see him, man. I'm the umpire. Hammer, Hebrew Hammer says it's the best. He said that the cops and the government are a, re a reflection on how the people on the, the citizenry people, how, how absolutely we much as a woman is a reflection of the man that she's with mm -hmm. you know you talk to the woman you find out that she has no respect for him well i wouldn't respect that dude either mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, on, on a different basis but you can tell you can yep. absolutely you know what tell me who your friends are i'll tell you who you are just like you tell your kids all the time everybody yep. is a reflection on everybody i get yep. a reflection of junior he does good i'm a good pop so he does bad what a piece <laughs> of shit yeah. you know nothing better than personal experience you know what i'm saying exactly and that's why but you have a lot of kids because you got to get it right sometime dude <laughs> <laughs> oh no everybody needs a ball team right true that true that absolutely <laughs> and and i reflect on that uh when you you know you get the double double stories and you're calling people out it's you give me some good information about uh the uh, georgia dude and uh, i looked into the georgia dude some more and it yep. turns out that a couple months before that he got 20k from a 1983 and that's what afforded him to to do what he did after that and yeah. like okay now i get it you know but he's got a now bunch of charges it. that's another one yep and they, he's got it, like a bunch of people following career killer audits yeah up in South I, I made the mistake i looked into i started looking into everybody i'm like fuck this yeah. guy no well, this one's in happen. carolinas hey one south carolina i've right? always learned is uh, they say don't cheat don't steal don't lie and never uh, support anybody who does don't you know and what have you done for the past how long are you making improvements or are you just going backwards or staying the same yeah because you gotta step people, forward you gotta keep going forward i mean you have to have saying well you care you can't come out and act like you care and hold another man accountable if you're not holding yourself well, accountable and the people well, around you this is a big problem because not many people have a a rapier that's a very short uh, the very sharp sword rapier eyesight and have the necessary wisdom of years of experience like you and i and a couple of other people in here do you know that kid that see through the bullshit, the bullshit and ask and the ask hard the questions hard question. and what are you hiding something ain't right about you yeah. much like the video that the critical eye is is a lost thing Critical thinking, I call it. It oh, seems like they don't existence. have that's not existence. Well, I never really how shady is it to just you know, knowing someone's innocent and then helping them, right? And then you get called out, you get busted because of your past, and then you because of out of retaliation you you have it so that 
you fuck my case up. I mean, what? You know what I mean? Like that's fucked up. But you are dealing with an asshole and a piece of shit in the first place. What would you expect? Why were you even surprised? Even surprised. Now I now I know that. Well, this is why we live another year. You know. So, you know, I it's it just disappointing because, like I said, for a year with the courts and the police and everybody, and and I had a good case, man. But like um, I say, just think that they could they would have convicted you. I know a person got convicted of that and a couple of other things, and they didn't do anything wrong, absolutely no wrong, but the judge didn't want to hear it. They didn't give him a lawyer. They didn't give him any... Uh, any of the evidence that that was against him, which was actually exculpatory evidence and would have set him free if anybody he went through three judges got four telephones taken away absolute insanity and no lawyer the culprit is here <laughs> dun, 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 dun. i wish i had my audio clips organized i'd, I'd hit you up with a couple of those yeah. it's all steve's fault y'all he did yeah. this Ohio Steve. No, the culprit is sitting on the panel right now. Yes. Right <laughs> underneath you. Because he thinks it's funny that he I'm can go so up sorry. and play a playlist and fall asleep. I didn't do it. Which you don't do well. because next time when you're really out there and you get hurt and you I need didn't. help, yep, you yep. get arrested, no one's going to be there. No one's going to come true. running. Not true. I'll be there. Don't worry yeah, about it. I you fall for it every time. I'm an, I'm an idiot, I'm man. A Nobody ass. knows yeah. your name. Nobody I knows I love you it. too, PDF. And you know what? I love you, man. I'm not laughing at it, but it's over. and We can laugh at it. I mean, you know what I mean? It was a mistake, and I'm up here talking about it, so I, I apologized about it. And, and you're right, though. You can't cry wolf like that. And, uh, no, but you also have to look at to the evidence, and the yeah. evidence said that something was fishy with this, and all the people were just talking shit behind the scenes, and there was no evidence. Uh, I, I must state this. I will take this to the judge. You know, There was no evidence that anything was up because the edits told the story. Snipe yeah. hunt. Hashtag <laughs> snipe hunt. You have to go looking to see it, though. I woke up, and all I saw was a text message and came in in the you middle. You always so have I to had look to, go to see. Look. You open your eyes, and you start reading, and you look at the video, and you're like, hmm, too many questions here, goddammit. Yeah, I don't think that long. Because that's what I do. I investigate before I do say anything. So I blame uh, all the mods a lot in the of room people, for supporting a the A lot hype. of That's people doesn't <laughs> investigate, and they don't look into it. They just automatically, oh, he's arrested. <laughs> we need to find him. Steve did it. What happened? Steve did it. <laughs> PDF. <Or> PDF. <laughs> I'm a well, I can't blame him. Uh, oh, hashtag Steve did it. That's a new, that's <laughs> hey, that is Keebler talking. Trending right? on... Trending on YouTube. Hashtag Steve did it. No, I'm not blaming PDF because PDF does what he he normally does. He got I, on, he saw an arrest, and he tried to help. Yeah, and I was, that's what I was going to say again. I'm sorry for, you know, maybe I you might think that I'm laughing a little too much about it and I apologize no no it's that. okay uh, the I just woke you. up and I just am realizing what happened you guys and I do agree with you Keebler that it is fucked up that people thought that was real you know I it wasn't my intention oh. I fell asleep just imagine PDF <laughs> got woken up and watched that and was like what the fuck yeah. <laughs> that in itself is funny yeah, and, and you know what, though? It really, dude, I appreciate all you guys, man. You know, and and this is what can happen when people come together, you know, and, and, and are nice and want to help each other. Um, there are good people out here, and um, PDF has definitely been a good friend of mine out here. I don't care what anybody says. What's that about, Steve? So the video was old. 
Yeah, it was an old no, video. You can play old arrest, but you got to stay <laughs> awake. <laughs> Steve. Listen, well, I you, blame you, Steve. You, that was the very last thing you played. I'm so sorry. It <laughs> usually... <laughs> The, the reason, birds gave okay. you away, dude. We know Usually, there's like, like no if it would have been, if it would have been the video that's in my, you know, playlist or in my channel, it would have just continued to another video. But because I just started the stream and I, <laughs> I have in the brands it's called or whatever, where you have can put little videos. <laughs> Hold on, I got to shut the way my you window. Do it, PDF. Hold. I See, shut my it's window. In brands in his studio, and you so you can put, put little clips, videos. It auto plays them, and away you go. Yes, I understand all that, and yeah. people do actually go live with Streamyards, and they have the intros in the beginning. Yep. So it, like I said, That's all that that, the videos, the video at the beginning doesn't really say whether it was live or not up or up. you understand what i'm saying because people yep. do do that uh prism you yep. can you you can put an intro on your live when you're actually live oh wow so you can't go by oh it's got intro in the player so it's a, it's yeah. an old video it doesn't yeah. go that way well i figured pdf had uh, a way to text sci-fi I know I didn't, and I figured a PDF did, and I figured he or, or he somebody in the chat and he and he called them, but yeah, the he did call me. Was, I woke uh, up. There was a voicemail not and not functional. I mean, well, I had his <laughs> call. Remember, I couldn't remember. I remember I said, "Oh shit, I got his phone number. I could call it." Remember? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I, you know, it's yeah, but nobody's I'm saying, no. fault. Even I, I seen it. Clip. I got the clip. I he said it. Apologize, my bad, you guys. Okay. I didn't have nothing else to do today, and I may Thank or may you not so have got. Thank you so much for the support. I really. But it's it. Steve's fault, dude. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> blame Steve. I buy yeah. you. Yeah. Know, Steve. I, the only other person was live was Chuck, so I went over to Chuck's and I, and I brought them all. Everybody, everybody in his chat came over right away, instantly, and somebody said, "Like, is that an old video?" I go. I said, oh. I don't think so. It sure didn't seem like it to me. I said, it, it ended right there. And then I'm like, I hear him cough. I hear him coughing every now and then. <laughs> I'm so I was like, sorry. cough twice. It's so fucked up. <laughs> oh, no, and how so many fun. times? I can't you know, wait for his 500 word essay of apology. I swear to God, I want to read that on the air, man. 500 Steve word apology he he by this rest. Friday, young man. Well, thank you, Steve. Thank no, you. Okay? Steve, and I'm sorry. Steve saw the rest and he spread the word. Yep. Right. Yep. And then I'm oh, Steve, I'd move, man. I'd move. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said, well, well someone, somebody, I, I, and then somebody, I thought, confirmed it because they was like, I said, I think it's um, Hoboken or Showboken or something like that. And then. Somebody knew what it was right away, and they put the number in there. So I figured someone had called and confirmed. I mean, then when PDF got up, I told him. I figured, yeah, I knew he was able to get contact you somehow. So I knew he would yeah, do I what he does. You. And then I, I believed you until I got my first cup of coffee in and sat down and went on the stream yard and started watching it again with one eye all the way open. And I'm like, wait a minute. There's something wrong here. What the hell? It took two coffees and a rain in the eye to wake poor dirt farmer up today, man. Hey, I was recording. I recorded the video. Yep. It was recording while I was making the coffee. I didn't even watch it. I just recorded it and uploaded it. You know what I mean? I, I didn't get take it now. I get minutes. it now. I get I it. Never this watched is the it. missing part of the the equation yeah. because I remember we were talking. And I'm like, I could get it if you got a problem, man. You know? Yeah. I got I it. That. I'm recording. Okay. Went to the coffee. Didn't even see what happened. Yeah. Or the, I didn't yeah, even I get watch you. it. That's a good yeah. one, man. That's a good. Yeah. <laughs> so then, learn from that, sir. <laughs> so the people came together. <laughs> Once I watched it, I knew. I was like, this didn't happen last night. What the hell? I, mean, I don't even edit. And I can tell you, this is some fake shit right here. You know what I mean? <laughs> what? Oh, shit, I that's mean, funny. Damn I mean, funny as fuck. He, he, I knew even today I was going to be a good day, bro. I knew today was going to be a good day. Even oh, I know man. a hack job when I see a hack job. I can tell. <laughs> I know. 
As the head of the copy <laughs> production company, I will say that our editing suite was not even touched. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, man. Was, it, was, oh, the police man. Station, was people calling the police station? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, they we did. Everybody all called all the, the police station. Was. Sapphire had to stay home like, for a week. The they probably know. would think that hey. I did do this on purpose just to fuck it. You know what I mean? They, they're probably oh, no. pissed off. Anymore. No, I told everybody to call Shenanigan, Wisconsin. It's shenanigan, Wisconsin. Shenanigan. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh. I first said Hoboken is what I said. <laughs> Why I got so I got the again. name. I thought there was a ca county in, uh, of a Hoboken. Somebody wrote that in. Copy paste. All right. Yeah. Sure. How would you even know where where he was? Because you didn't see a car. You didn't see a name. He might have been at the next town over. I mean, that's the way they go. I know. Hey. Wi-Fi moves around. You know, he has wheels. Somebody said the phone. Know? Someone turned the phone, and I said someone had headphones, and they turned it up, and they go. I think the phone is in a bag. <laughs> it sounded like it was in a bag, and you hear like zzzz for a long time, like by some electrical, mechanical kind of thing. Yeah, and all of a sudden, you hear somebody open. coughing, groaning, and birds. Yeah. The birds were cool, though. The birds I were heard cool, the birds, though. too. I'm like, what, what the fuck is a bird with you here? And yeah. you know the explanation that they could come up with that, the coughing and the groaning? The bag, the phone was in the bag in the evidence room, and the cop was coughing and groaning. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I would have thought the the phone was in the bag, and they were trying to stuff it in sci-fi, and sci-fi was groaning. <laughs> yeah, that I did. I, I'll I was show like, you what I do with the camera, sci-fi. Here, the whole I got your camera. Is, I got your not, camera right here. The whole no, point I'm, is, when people see arrests, a lot of people, like I said, like Steve, he's the type. Nope. When he sees an arrest, he's going to put the word out, and it can blow up and cause a lot yeah. of issues. Yeah. Now, so somebody did good say, people say. like Steve, like PDF, like Blue Steel, people in the chat, there's good people when they see an arrest, yep. they want to help. Well, I also yeah, I do my part. At least. Uh, do before I shut it down, I didn't. I was looking through the live chat, and I seen all kinds of people like American Amy in there and shit. And I know you guys. I feel really bad. It. it wasn't they all bad. wanted us to pray for yeah. you, so I prayed, and then God came to me and he told me, <laughs> "Fuck off, Junior. I'm in the Caribbean. Don't mess with me." <laughs> hey, but you, you think you got problems? <laughs> oh man, I should tell you. This is. I'm telling you, we had a conversation. He's like, "You kidding?" me right <laughs> bothering me for this <clears throat> lightning be upon poor dude from her here watch i'm gonna rain <laughs> on him for three days and three nights to symbolize that i exist <laughs> well, pray I, to I, me I, that's I, the worst that you know you gotta like review your mods son they should have known that that was old footage you know what i'm saying yeah, you know I, what i'm saying I, yeah but check this out, though, too. Just because you watch a video, video, you should look at it a little bit more careful, and then you might be able to see it was a chop job. The, the quote yeah. is, if it didn't happen, you don't have video of it, so therefore implying that anything on video is real, much like the aliens that we watched last week and I showed you yeah. where the originator of the alien was from. Yeah. <laughs> it's well, like, oh, come on, man, two minutes, you clickety-clickety-click, that's all it takes, you know, here, all your answers. That, right? that video was not edited. I mean, it was cut. Well, no, you, you know, put an overlay. Like Dude, you had music oh, playing were, before music the cops and, yeah, yeah, started yeah, talking. Music, that, yeah, was that's the, what I was say. that was the dead giveaway to me that oh. it was a cop job. Not counting the gold coin and the dude in the front. I mean, how you go put all that shit on your video and then go live and have a cop talking? No, it's a it's a it's a, it didn't happen. It wasn't live last night. I said it as soon as oh, I watched yeah, the video. Yeah. I said this is a cop job. This I'm like I said, I don't even know how to edit, and I can tell this was a fake. You know I, I mean, can, I, I like, can no, hear poor dirt farmer in my head being like Yoda and having that Yoda moment saying, mm. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I had I, much of the same when it was going on. I'm like, hmm. It was not, may it be or not. Very humbled by the love. But it wasn't till after you 
you, was after you went back and watched it, PDF. You had done text everybody. Oh, it was after I went live on StreamYard. Okay, I didn't even realize it till after I went live that's on StreamYard. Why getting, that's what I'm yeah, getting at. Was, you did yeah. what you do. And because it's Steve. It's Steve's fault, Steve. It's did. all Steve. Oh, Steve. <laughs> Steve. I don't know here. how many times yes. we could say it. Steve, man. Hashtag Steve Steve's it. fault. Yeah. Steve's did it. Yep, yep. Hey, I'll, I'll take Stop. the blame. All right, you take the blame. We got you then. All right, wow, now blue. you're gonna wow. you're gonna have to pay reparations. What what Hammer said he has I'll to take pay it like a man. Reparations to humanity. Yes, reparations yeah, yeah. to humanity. Yes, you have to Unquote, pay now. The one and only repercussions. Yeah, repercussions. You have to pay these, Steve. I don't know what they are, but I'm sure they're gonna send you a bill in the mail. Well, I'm gonna have to go live in a little bit. You know, you think sci fi? You think? You think? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we want to see donuts, man. We want to see donuts. <laughs> you have to send pizza to everybody that believed that you were in jail. Yeah, I don't know how you're going to send pizza here because Nagin tried and they don't even deliver this far. <laughs> I should post. I have the dash cam of like when I arrived at the, uh, you know, the the port where they drive in and they take you out and they run you, they search you and everything. I have all that. Yeah. I should post that. <laughs> well, see, I would think you should um, tell the story like that pretty would much be like funny, you told actually. us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, what I mean? play the clip and then explain. That would be the that would be something good. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Did everybody. you give me I'm dono? Now. Dot dono dot dono dot net. Yes, yeah, sci fi. <laughs> People would be like, well, how the hell did he get the dash cam footage so quick? <laughs> They're efficient. They're efficient. You ask, hey, you got bro. it. No money. Yeah, but for people that think getting arrested is the way to go, this could be, you know, like a you know, a learning thing. You know, yeah. I mean, because you watch a video and you, like I said, once I made my coffee, sat down, I was said, well, I'll go on stream yards. What the hell? You know I mean? I'll, I'll go out and play around on this because it was pouring down rain and there wasn't a way I was going outside or do anything. So um, then once I started watching the video, I'm like, wait a minute, something's wrong here. I was like, let me back up to the beginning again, you know? And um, that's when I see the gold coin and all that stuff that's going on. I'm like, how in the hell can you put that over a live video and then have music playing for an introduction? So your introduction overlaid the video. I said, this isn't happening last night, but hey, let's go with it. We here now. And then even Batman says, there's something wrong here. They said, this isn't yeah. real. Yeah. But we all knew it right pretty much from the beginning. Once I sat down and actually watched See, that was it, the know? error. That the point I thing asleep. would have been if you yep. didn't sit down. If you did sit down and watch it, instead of making your coffee, would we yep. have be having this wonderful conversation that we've been having yeah. yes, these exactly. past three hours? See, yes. so thank you, Sci-Fi. Like, well, you brought me so, out, man. I generally I re- sit and I look. Remember, and, I remember who was in my live on the original video when that happened. And I thought you yeah. might have been there, uh, Mazinga. I, I was probably Eric, looking, man. I, I, I know pay attention. Eric Grant was there. I know um, people like... Um, uh, I keep NC, an eye on you, Sci-Fi. You know that. Freaking Media, NC Tyrant Hunter. You know, there. I got a little bit of some eyes on that. Yeah. Well, like I said, it's Steve's fault. No matter what, we yep. get to blame Steve. Yes, yep. <laughs> reparations. I'm and never going to believe it. Anybody that gets arrested again, I'm never going to believe it. Hey. <laughs> hey. Yeah, let's hey. get the real name in court docket. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Bill receipt. I gotta see that. And I'm sorry that happened. I that's that was not intended at all. Steve, now when he's going to see a really small channel get arrested, he's not going to believe it. He's not going to spread the word. Uh, he well, gets we, like 6,000 hey, subs I'll be right this. back. This I'm going to check hilarious. my sub count. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, right on. <laughs> right on. That's what I said. He's probably got donos and all kinds of shit. <laughs> went, up, went up two or three hundred oh, people. Oh, yeah, you already got bomb money, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy I got money on my bucks. Oh man, that man, just ain't right. Be, that ain't uh, right. Or, uh, what do they call them? Ghetto burritos? Or I just ran out of the mailbox to get my donation money for Bond. <laughs> you got your scuba <laughs> suit on. <laughs> You're going diving now. There was only it three like people in there. When I, I went over to Chuck's and brought everybody over. Next thing you know, there's like oh, 30 people in there and 
And then someone said, okay, let's go back to Chuck's. <laughs> it, uh, it was up yeah. for five hours and 53 minutes. Yeah. And it's got 156 yeah. views. Wow. And that's see. that. I mean, I more expectations on the spoof. Yeah. There was nobody else live but Chuck. That was, he was the only one. I went straight over there and said, hey, man, I think uh, I said, it uh, looks like Sci Fi just got busted, got arrested. Mm. And Chuck went over. He rewound it and watched it, and and uh, yeah, he bought it. <laughs> Damn. And then I couldn't wait for PDF to get up because I knew he had a way to contact Sci-Fi. So I figured once he 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 was on it, I'm like I fell asleep. I figured PDF got it from here. I gained yeah. nine subscribers. <laughs> Not bad. Gonna, Not bad. Gonna leave no you. work. Yeah, they're all going <laughs> to troll you forever now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I will. I know I will. <laughs> the hell yeah. That's an old man's privilege, it. sir. That's hey, an old man's privilege. Sci-fi, whatever Crafty Cat tells you, she's not telling the truth. She's lying about me. <laughs> I witnessed it all. <laughs> yeah, I, tried, I was hoping she was up. I'm on no, There was literally nobody else. Damn, I got 1,200 views on my I Don't Talk to Clowns video. All because yeah. of that. Sadly... Thing. Sadly, the bad thing is Sci-Fi really won't get any hate from this. PDF will get the hate. Oh, I don't oh, care. Send it all my it way. I'm good. Because I'm good. The, his haters are going to his like, haters yeah. are going to clip it and say he's out here scra scamming for views and donos for Sci-Fi. No, right? I would say that the mods in Sci-Fi's room are scamming for God and they do the work of the devil by demanding <laughs> I us think it pray. shows how he's out here helping people. I understand that. We understand that, but yeah. the haters I are going to twist it. Fuck you, the haters. Oh, I know you don't you care. You know I don't care. Fuck the haters. Really. He's yeah. already got a couple hundred of them anyway, so... But I'm already so seeing, so more power I can to already them. I can already <laughs> see the view the videos popping up. Good, good. They can give me some hate mail. Yeah, keep you busy. <laughs> Make sure they forget hit the about the rain button. and the water, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. At least you'd be dealing with some other stuff. Some I'm sure I'm with two two L's. Yeah, two All L's. I can say is, like Doc. Pat, <laughs> make sure you hit the subscribe button and Send out, get the right information, and you better stop with the friggin' honest A because that's fixed to be exposed to. Oh, yeah, that one's funny. That guy there, he's a joke. Oh, hey, I, said, I don't care. I don't care. The, the, there's more than one, maybe, but there might not be. Well, there probably is, but. Yeah, you know, they get all kinds of exposure when they chum and try to put people down for no reason. So then we research what we do. Did you, you know, ever research what a dick fuck is? <laughs> no, I never could figure that out. <laughs> Listen to your dick you fuck. You have to ask Toothless. Can you Toothless even do will that? will know what that is. Uh, we used to go around <laughs> saying, hey, you got a dick fur on your back. And people would be like, what's a dick fur? And then, and then we'd say, you don't know what a dick's fur? <laughs> when we were kids, you got a dick fur on your back. Man, Max had that guy triggered, man, bad. That was, oh, that was good. That was funny. Oh my god! I got all my old school friend Pugface Media shared my shit. He was oh, all nice and calm. He was like, he was like, he was setting standards on, on how calm to be. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, he just went, "Listen here, dick fuck." <laughs> <laughs> he said, "He's going to expose us." That was the part. I was like, "I'll expose <laughs> you guys." I was like, "Oh, you will, will you?" <laughs> <laughs> You're a little late to the party, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Last one on the train, you know. Okay, <laughs> we got room for one more. Yep, yep, yep. I, I no, you rode, won't last. He rode the little short bus to school, I'm thinking, you know. <laughs> oh, the one with the pink helmets. Yes. <laughs> they had padded helmets when they got on the bus. They bumped their heads. Well, well you know, just trolling? makes them visible, you know, so you know. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> yeah. in here, dick fuck. <laughs> I ain't never heard anybody call that before. That was a new one. That's good for me. I don't think so I'll did, ever use it. <laughs> did, did he put you guys on blast? Have you been blasted? Um, I don't know. Um, I haven't been. 
I haven't felt the shake. It thundered last night a bit, but I'm sure that wasn't him. <laughs> there was a good one today morning. Got you in the house quick. Yeah. Hey, I woke up finally. <laughs> Took you long enough. Three hours later. <laughs> a three-hour tour. I went on one of them yesterday. Now, I don't remember. Somebody even typed in. It was Beth. Beth typed in. Three-hour tour. <laughs> I, was like, yeah, no, I, heard a, I heard a submarine tried to do that, and they still haven't found them. Yeah, it's yeah. a shame. I knew this. Even the ones, um, the one guy that was like a specialist come on, and Blue was even me, we talked about him. I mean, there's underwater currents, and if they lost complete power, who knows which directions they ended up going in, floating off. Well, I, you know what? The way I saw that that was built, losing power would not be an issue so much as that thing like caving in at some point, because yeah. you, you must be kidding me. Like Seriously, hashtag you must be kidding me. A rich well, man's folly about in itself. The, the control was a, some kind of game joystick or something like that. Well, that, that could be all okay, but I'm just saying that, you know, you're using off-the-shelf solutions for a high-tech problem. Uh, sorry, you know, physics is necessary. Yeah, so, and one item failed. It could collapse the whole system, you know, something all of a sudden just collapse they don't know what all them things do down that deep for an extended period of time so oh, yeah an hour tour. now i hear that echoing my head anytime you say time i'm like and a three hour tour <laughs> <laughs> how many men was on that uh so well oh, gilligan was one of them and he pulled the plug <laughs> and it's gone <laughs> yeah, yeah the billionaire Mr. kid Howell was the backer <laughs> you know yeah Five people, from what I understood. Yeah, five people, huh? Yeah, and they were and all then, filthy rich, and it cost yeah. them a quarter million, something like that, for for a, a piece on the floor, with no way to get yourself out, no string to pull you up, nothing. Like we believe in the Lauda Savior, whoever it may be, the Almighty hey, Dollar no. will save us. A crafty cat said that was their escape plan. Now they're hiding off, and I think Hammer said Russia <laughs> somewhere. And they're with uh, what, what? What was that guy? Um, um, that had that island. <laughs> they're on his island right now. Yeah, yeah, they're down there on that guy's island. Yeah. Yo, Jeffrey yo. Epstein. Yeah, that they was boss. There you boss, go. Boss, there the you go. Bus, the plane bus. I'm taking donations. Go to my about page. I want to go to the <laughs> island. <laughs> Fantasy uh, Island, remember that shit? Yeah. With Toto, right? Was yeah, the, what's his name? Fantasy Island, it was called, yeah. Fantasy a tattoo. Island. Mine's going to be full the of weed plane, and a good fishing spot. <laughs> Absolutely. I, 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 yes, I second that motion, uh, PDF. Yes. All I do is sit there and fish and smoke weed all day. That's all I Our new do. nation of PDF land. We will be free to fish and smoke weed every day. That's <laughs> all you have to do if you want to. <laughs> PDF is our leader. That's what I'm going to be doing, sitting there by the dock, hanging out. That's my what life. you should be doing, you know. As long as Mary Ann is with us, we're good. <laughs> yeah, Ginger's putting on a good show. Absolutely. <laughs> Mary Ann's the main squeeze. Ginger's the pass around. Nice. That's bad. My luck, I'd get stuck with uh, Mrs. Mrs. Howell. <laughs> My luck, I get stuck with the professor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Strange. Hey, but, you know, rich people problems. I know you like that one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, strange. I remember that problems now. You know, you it, thought money was your own problem. Now try air that you can't buy anymore. You know, it's running out, sir. Stop breathing. I told you, I'm worth more than you are. <laughs> remember the final episode when they finally made it back back to mainland? It was like the worst episode. It was. They, they yeah, progressively got like badder and badder like every one that they or made. Or something like that. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. yeah, they jumped the shark and that ended it right there. It was worse than Fonzie jumping the damn shark. <laughs> yeah, Fonzie, I remember crash Fonzie, and burn Fonzie. I remember the original airing of Fonzie jumping the shark. I got to watch it 
Because with his I mother jack like eight, you know. Hey, you guys, with his mother jack and on. I was in love with Pinky Cuscadero. I'm telling you. Oh yeah. From what I understand, she wouldn't have loved you back. <laughs> and wasn't she a, a what else, was she like a, a singer in real in real life or something? Yeah, in real life, yeah. yeah, she was a musician, real life singer. Yeah. I, I'm talking about the real life person that played Pinky Tuscadero. Yeah, she didn't look a man's wife. Singing Susie nicely. Quattro ah, or something. That was good. Yeah, that was. They had the demolition derby. All right, Freedom Fighter. Was you fooled or not? What's that? What do you think? About what? Guilty or innocent, sir? Uh, I say, we have sci-fi on trial today for crimes against humanity and being <laughs> extremely funny at the end of it. And everybody's <laughs> laughing except you. What say oh, thee? Well, I say not guilty. Well, then we're going to have to blame Steve, though. Yeah, right? Steve <laughs> under the bus. Whoa! I wouldn't want to be Steve on the internet today. Yeah. <laughs> I got blamed PDF anyways. Well, see, that's what they're going to uh, say. That's the easy way. He volunteers too often. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's meaningless. I took that over, and then it went down the chain properly. Steve yes, is the current holder of the blame. Yes. It went through AJM's hands as well. Yes. Yes, it did. Yeah. He it carried did. it valiantly, I may say. But you know what I got to say about Ohio Steve? That motherfucker set me up. <laughs> I was thinking that too. Not only set you up, he woke you up, sir. Yes, he did. You know, he I woke was... me up, set me up, and then he went to bed. That's even yeah. worse. <laughs> I did too. <laughs> uh, guilty sci-fi. The done deal. That's it. <laughs> I should go on the police station. I passed the torch over to PDF. Dude, I, I wouldn't get out. close to a police station for a week, man. Like, seriously. <laughs> or else, or, like, uh uh. Shenanigan <laughs> Police Department and Shenanigan <laughs> Shenaniganville. Hello? You guys perpetuating shenanigans on sci fi tonight? Oh, not tonight. We have it planned for tomorrow at 3 o'clock in the morning. Why, sir? <laughs> I hope there's not a gullible PDF elves shows up anytime soon. That's not going to be good. For me. <laughs> that is, that will not be good. You don't want one of them clips. This is not fair. Not fair. <laughs> speaking oh, speaking, right, speaking of something real, of something it's, real, it's did you see the uh, the TYT sports? Sports are not 14 real. Fourteen hours ago, they Just have a video. What's the video? The video I, yes, so, um, can y'all hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I can, I can hear you. There's a video from five from uh, May of 2023. Uh, Snark and Sass actually shared the video last night. I saw it. That the guy got arrested for sidewalk chalk in Leon Valley. It's from really? the body body cam footage. If you go to TYT Sports, oh. and is it real? Yeah, the body cam is from May of this year. What was he's that? been arrested like three or four times for drawing on the sidewalk? What was he drawing or writing? I'm just curious. Just pictures. Yeah. Oh. And they said that yeah, they charged I've, I've him with that graffiti. guy that got arrested for drawing on the sidewalk. And where was he drawing it at? In Leon Valley. Sidewalk. Leon Valley, the one know, that... At the courthouse? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just somewhere, just on the public sidewalk, on the, somewhere in the city. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I've seen a guy get arrested like that in, in Texas. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, some of the people who uh, do cop watches in Texas uh, bought bunches of chalk and started to draw on the streets, too. <laughs> hey, yeah. content. What do you, you know? Hey, YouTube junkies. What can I say? Hey, that was back when everybody was told to use drywall. Don't buy chalk. It's a waste of money. Get your really? chunk of drywall. Drywall is cheaper. Yeah. It does a better job, too. You go to the dollar store, you can get a whole bucket of that sidewalk chalk for a dollar. 
Any, little small, any, small uh, monkey. That's that Chinese boy. wannabe Only fake. Uh, yeah, it was from water <laughs> from <laughs> China. <laughs> Sell it at a discount. You know, it costs us. It costs us eight dollars to make it, but the Americans for to to put Chinese slogans on the sidewalks, a dollar. You know, all you have to do is put some water on it, and it's gone. They're gonna start arresting little kids too now for sidewalk. Putting their little, you know, they do the hopscotch and they draw it out. Absolutely. See, this is the question. This is the question. <laughs> I've seen people go so far as not even chalk or signs. They will take a power washer and they make a template and they power wash the sidewalk with the template on it. Yeah. And their slogan or whatever is on. They didn't yeah. do anything destructive. And all of a sudden, like a month later, you see the city came along and they cleaned all the sidewalks. It, it's something else. It's something else. Yeah, I remember a couple of years ago, there was an auditor that was recording them doing that. I'm trying to remember yep. who it was. He was like running for sheriff or something like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was down here in Florida. Yeah, in Florida. Yeah, he lost, too. The other crooked sheriff, the crooked guy won. That okay. just shows you the, the society, how they think, you know. They don't want freedom. They just want to rule and boss other people, it seems like, you know. Benjamin Franklin said, you know, he who gives up his freedom for security is up Shit's Creek without a paddle, you know. And uh, people don't get, you know, it's like, are you kidding me, really? You're going to put, and what if it was you that this happened to? Nobody thinks about that. What are your chances of winding up across with an officer who doesn't know what the hell he's doing intent on making a little bit more money for his uh, city and their pocket change. So again, well, they just feel the like one... going back to the station and ending their day doing paperwork. You know what I mean? They don't, it gets it's them not... off the street. Court appearances are extra and stuff like that. They get uh, overtime. overtime and uh, yep. what it's, it's mathematical. Not only that, you got that indomitable QCIP number that you're getting on your bond, your bond. Oh man, don't even get me started on that. And, and again, now, they're making and, money off of you, and that's and the courts, their objective. Hey, check it out. A lot of the courts are getting rid of the bondsmen, and you got to pay the courts. So they're taking that money from the bondsman, which was like a private cop, actually, but still it was a private that comes business. under corporate fraud and RICO Act. I, I mean, you understand, like, where, we're li where people are living and trusting that specific uh, injustice system for thinking about their rights and their in, in giving a commercial entity rule in their lives. Oh, yeah, I'm a citizen. Oh, boy, man, I would never say that word coming out of my mouth. That's the last thing you want to be. And then that's that what I get, man. You hear people say, oh, get a get get $1,000 a minute in a cop car. That's bullshit. I hate when people come out. And these are some of the bigger channels will come out and tell people that. So, you know, we believe what we see in a lot of cases just because, well, we ain't had our coffee yet, maybe. But, you know, I mean, once we look at something. <laughs> or or because know, Steve bitter. just woke us up. Yeah, I got yeah, you, man. Yeah. I got he you, woke man. Me up. He woke me up and he sent me on a, on a snipe hunt. <laughs> yeah, that's what True that. But and then at least he went you to got bed. good friends that'll tell you that a snipe hunt is a snipe hunt. Let yourself decide. And, uh, yeah, we've come to the conclusion. Snipe. <laughs> I figured, what the hell? I might as well have fun with it while it's rolling on. You know what I'm saying? Now that so I'm there were snipe birds out Sci-Fi's window. That's the clue. Yes. <laughs> snipe birds. Oh yeah, they live in shenanigan, don't they? Yeah, I, I didn't even call them. Called the shenanigan police department in Wisconsin. <laughs> A couple of people said that that could have been an old video. Someone said it was. I'm like, I'm like, no, I heard it live. It was live. It, it's still it live now. Live. It, it, his phone is still, still live now. Yeah, I agree. Agreed. The edits, eh, the music, eh, the transitions. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Looking at the technical side, cause I got used to. Uh, not really believing what I see, only believing yeah, half the chat that I read, and I will come to conclusions by my keyboard. Yeah, I thought maybe they had birds at the jail. Well, I <laughs> wonder nice. if I should make like a, a, a apology video or something, or come out and say something. <laughs> I gotta. I, gotta... I would push it. 
uh, being a troll, I would push this to the next level, <laughs> and I would thank everybody for their donations. Show the rest of the clip, put it in full story, open up a uh, chat board, and say, I'm sorry I was sleeping, and I'll try not to ever do that again, but you guys should have known better. Next yeah. time, ask Mazanga or check PDF if he's up. You and know? the moral of the story is, don't get arrested because at the end, some pedophile True. pervert piece of crap will, will get your lawyer to quit. Get you, what there kind of you hell, go. Yeah. There you go. There you, a lesson was learned. And that's and one thing that we, I told you, PDF. I told you, I hope at least he learned the lesson from this. You know what I'm saying? He learned four or five lessons from this. So we was going to let it run all day till your ass woke up. Yep. <laughs> and like I said, they were, they didn't just, you know, he didn't just quit me. He waited until they knew that I wasn't going to This is the lawyery to... thing, sci-fi. Again, when yep. they're pushing papers through the court, you're get it, going to get it on the last day. When your lawyer gives it in, it's going to yep. be on the last day. Everything is the last fucking moment I had, that they can. I think it was 30 days then I was able to try to file something civilly, or I can't remember. Maybe it wasn't it's, even that. The time much. span for federal cases is two years. Yep. So if you're still within two years, that's one nope. thing. Other than that, next time. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. It, personally, <laughs> you could file papers by yourself. You don't necessarily need a lawyer. You could file the papers and then go get the lawyer. This is another way to do it. Yeah. But you gotta have scratch. That's one thing. That's a yeah. must. You're playing with the pigs. You gotta have pockets. Yeah. Either that or people who are willing to back you. Yeah. In the virtual world, you know. I, I mean, I've seen it done by select few people. But then again, well, you have to be more of a businessman, and it's it's very it's a very different feel to uh, you know the, what the way after it happens. Then? I had a public pretender and you're lucky she, you had one. She didn't like the police. So I was lucky that she was really on my side. You know what I mean? And, uh, she, I didn't know there was a new DA. I had no idea, but when they came around time for trial and everything, and they were really ready to go through with it, this new DA, you know, she made him re watch the video. Mm -hmm. I says make him. I says they didn't see the video or whatever, and she must have, you know. No, out they they they're something. not interested in the video. And even if the video but, shows something, they're not going to see it for the truth that it is. I mean, I've seen it happen. Literally, I've seen it happen. Uh, I've been through the whole court. It's amazing yep. the denial. So worst case scenario, you know, go go sue them afterwards, and it's more money, more time. They're not in office anymore. No consequences. It's absolutely ridiculous the the shit but that they put. In my in my case, you know, they did watch the video and they mm -hmm. did dismiss the charges. So the question yeah. is, do you think a paid for lawyer for the charge. would have had that with the uh, prosecuting side? I doubt that because it's more money to to be in court. So she, as a public defender, must have known the prosecuting side on a certain level, either a <laughs> school level, a legal level, sure. appeared yep. before or Absolutely. something, and she yep. took advantage of that or just plainly because she was a woman, they're capable of doing those things, much unlike men, to gain his ear to actually uh, commit the change. And yeah. that's say well, that you got what? very lucky, son. You got very lucky. And that, that is one of their games, though, they play. They let it ride all the way till the day before the court, and then Last they drop day. the charge. Yep. So that's yep. just yep. another one of their, their stacked deck. You know what I mean? That's another card they can use. And there's nothing you could do. Well, yeah, the guy might have stayed out. in office. Hey, the guy that, that quit or got out of office and a new guy came in, the guy that got taken out of office, he would probably wait until the last day and then going to drop the charge because you know he watched the video. See what I mean? Would be soon. I would be surprised if he actually watched the video. They really don't care. I've seen them watch videos, walk with, like put the video on, walk away, and not yep. even give a crap. And yep. not only the video will show exactly what happened. No, there's still charges to be met, even though that pol police interaction and arrest 
wasn't even called for. And and yep. and Supreme Court law states that yes, you could talk, you know, at a police stop when you're like what, fifteen feet away. Thirty six yep. seconds, dude. Guy was in cuffs. Thirty six seconds. That's fast, man. World record speed. Yeah. And then they start digging on you for stupid stuff, you know? Then they start watching you. You Then they start walking towards you. You start backing up. (laughs) Listen, the worst thing you could do is actually open up your mouth until referred to. And then they refer to you. Acknowledge them with no vocal or anything. You pick a hand up. You're like, yo. And uh, you keep on doing your shit. And again, people don't understand that the whole thing is, one, get the shot, you idiot. Like, you're there to get the shot. You're not there to interact. You're not there to teach. You're not there to... You're there to get the shot. It's all self-preservation. The more Money words shot. that you have, the worse it could go for you because they will do what shouldn't they want to do. Shouldn't we act like the news guy more if that's what we're trying to do? You have to act like the news guy more. And it's like a lot of people are acting like instigators at the scene. See what I mean? They're Looking instigators. Like you, you're right, though, but looking at from the um, predator side of the police, okay, yes, you are instigating. You have no business being where you are. So I would recommend, you know, um, blending into the background, you know. Yeah, and because not when making, they attack, yeah. they, they're going to attack just like they did sci-fi that day. You know what I mean? They're just going to yep. all of a sudden come oh, walking but, towards but well, that's just what, the other day. That's what I the was... predators do. I was on my bike and I saw a cop looking at this truck and trailer parked in the parking lot. You know, it was a camper and uh, he saw me filming. So he approached me and asked me if I was the person he was looking for in that camper. So, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, I know what you're saying, like try to stay in the, in the foreground or in the background or. But there was I, said, really I don't know who you're looking for. Shouldn't you know who you're looking for first? <laughs> right. And I didn't say anything to him, and I probably should have. But I, you know, it it's a hard thing to, to, you know, like who's right and who's wrong. What's the right and what's the wrong thing? There is no. I right will tell wrong. you one right thing that you always have to do is to acknowledge the predator. And you don't do it with your mouth. You would raise a hand and wave hi and I'm okay or something physical like that to, um, again, it, it, it's it's a, it's a sharp cut. Uh, yeah. I look at it much like editing a video. You have to put everything in a certain frame and keep it continuous. So if attention is being asked for, much like a child, well, what attention are you going to return? Being silent, are you going to understand that silence is compliance? Or as many of the police, I forget the word in English, uh, they call it, uh, the, you know, you're, you're just being nasty, you know, by being quiet. Or again, because they're looking for prey and you are the weak thing and you are the victim because that's the way they see it. Yep. And what if they're looking for some really bad person? Do we ever give them respect? Or is it just done? They don't get no respect at all ever again. Because that's how I feel. Fuck them. I don't give them no respect. And then I sit there and look at the other side of the scale saying, wait a minute. What if he's looking for Rock City audits? But acknowledgement audits? isn't a form of respect. It's a form of pacification. Much as you give a baby a, 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 a nipple or, a, you know, those uh, pacifiers, you must pacify the fucking animal. Dude, yeah. you have somebody here who could take your life and fucking get away with it. Yep. Exactly. The, the, you know, prophets in the Bible are judged by the wrong prophecy that they make. So if you're wrong once, you ain't a fucking prophet. These are killers. These are predators. They get away with murder. You know? Yep. You have to understand these things. Are you doing this for self-preservation? You better be. Yep. You, you gotta not... Listen, people don't dance in fucking minefields. Uh, whoever you know, does, I, they're probably cows. Video, they... I didn't talk to anybody the whole time until the end. And then I talked to them and told them what I'm doing, what I was doing and it still didn't matter. It still but you shouldn't matter. have. But you shouldn't right. have. Never right. tell. You know, if you don't talk, that's... Again, hand signal, gesture, acknowledgement must be made. 
it pacifies again you're you're breaking the tension just think of it as like dramatic music right and the longer it goes on the more that music you know the horror music that always is with the scene that should be always rolling in your head when you're having contact with these animals exactly well you hope so you know <laughs> yeah hey look at what i got in my pocket you know so you People have to be very careful. They take it for, oh, my freedom, my rights. You know, Freeman, oh, he's my rights, my rights. It's a joke. That's you why. have no rights. You have no are rights. Are you going to arrest me if I don't give you my ID? Because Absolutely. if you are, I will give yep. it to you freely. Yep, yep, yep. Tell you where I live, everything but the Social Security. No, no we're going to want that. Okay, I'll give you that too. Rights, when you're standing up for rights, be aware there's lefts coming. <laughs> I heard that one yesterday too. That was well put. <laughs> well put. All right, guys. Hey, like hey, man, I'm gonna get going. Um, but everybody who's watching this, you know, what I'm saying it wasn't my intention of what happened uh, to do this. Um, it was good before. rehearsal, and we all I, made donations. And I appreciate all the support, man. Um, yeah, thirty percent to uh, poor dirt farmer. <laughs> well, hey, if he was expecting money, he hanging out with the wrong group. That's all I can tell him. Yeah, That's but the this money is oh. to be used for weed PDF, not cat yes, food, okay? Weed. And not the cheap one, at least. You know what oh, I'm saying? Okay, yeah. They don't like that. <laughs> shit. No they, they don't like that shit. I know. <laughs> if you would have asked, I would have told you, man. They're like, uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh. uh. But <laughs> it's not what we're used to. Yeah. You got a sin PF ninety percent of all donations you received. Okay. <laughs> yep. All right. His, his cuts ninety percent. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll check get about. my PayPal, but I didn't. Totally no, that, that's that only if you get famous getting arrested or sprayed in the face at a pizza parlor <laughs> with yellow spray paint and yep. found the not guilty at court. That's only if that happens. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. No, Man, team, I, I remember that live. I was fucking not... stunned, dude. I, I'm still stunned. Every time I see that icon, I'm like, damn, that was so fucked up. <laughs> PDF, PDF's team has not been paid in months, and they're getting a bit a bit testy. So you better hurry up and send it so he can pay his team. <laughs> yes, they, they want their they want their cut. I keep well, I do know that that my Sunday mail. live. I do know that my Sunday live has been uh, sponsored by the Illuminati. Sometimes, I mean, we're still waiting <laughs> on a check, but bro, uh, you know, half these like always. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, right. hey, uh, PDF and Steve, thank you so much for sharing the stream and getting it out there. <laughs> yes, Steve. And Steve. <laughs> and everybody else, you guys, I'm sorry that happened, and, and <laughs> thanks. Thank you again for the support. I'm fucking humbled and have a great day hey. all right if Thanks. you strike right me i'm fight. gonna you strike this strike you know that right <laughs> <laughs> do it all right <laughs> yeah i fight all strikes <laughs> you should on the principle i mean i i also get like a lot of copyright and they're like oh we don't want to show it in russia and i write a big long letter however many characters why not russians like music too like what the oh. hell I want to try and stop the war, you know. Yeah. Hey, the no, one boy we, we tried to strike me. To him. Yep. Hey, the one the one boy struck me three times the other day, and that's malicious striking because he didn't strike me correctly because I didn't do anything wrong. But he's using the other boy's channel to strike me, and they don't care. So the they one boy won't use his dog. channel. Yeah. I, well, I've learned that YouTube doesn't give to. Well, that's why they're me. on. That's why they're on other people's panels. That's why they're not on their own panels. They can't get in trouble. I don't See what show I'm up on, so on now, panels of people that I don't know. Or well, no, trust that's what they're or, doing. You know, I mean, you don't see me around, man. Every once in a while. I mean, I'll talk shit in comments sometimes, but mm -hmm. generally I be quiet. I learn from PDF. I listen. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I listen a lot, but I, yeah. I also... Like I say, once I open my eyes up and look around a little bit, I get to see it. I might not be the brightest bulb in the pack, but I ain't the dimmest neither. So true that, don't take me that. a minute and I'll see it because I've been through all the shit. I've watched it all happen a hundred well, times. This is what they say about the old school light bulbs of yesteryear. You know, they last much, much longer. Mm -hmm. 
And that's why I was, you know, people like Blue Steel, I tell them, man, please, whatever you do, don't get arrested. I mean, I'd try to drill it into the yep. people's heads that I know because yep. I know what their future is going to look like. Even if you win, even if sci-fi would have won 25, 50 grand, which he wouldn't have because there was no damages. You got to have a damage. You know, if he mm -hmm. did go to get arrested and the next day, if he would, and we've tried to tell, I mean, Miss B tries to tell everybody, you can't be no more plain than that. You have to have damages. And if you are getting arrested, it's going to psychologically fuck you up a little bit. I mean, it has oh, to. It will, but people don't stuff. go. See, they get released. The first thing that you should do instead of crawling back under the rock is to go to the hospital, go to exactly. a doctor, go to a psychologist, psychiatrist, exactly. any professional that you can, and you tell them how miserable that shit was to you. And if you thought you had a good time, boy, you got another thing coming. Yep, and that's the first thing the judge is going to say. If you won your case, the next thing he's going to look over and say, "Show me the damages, so that I can make a ruling on the prof the amount of money to give them to compensate no. them with some financial compensation." Well, that that's would be more got. so the the civil case. I understand instead of the federal case would be on different proportions. But again, there should be damages shown because again, it's all about the reparation. You know, this is the law making and how you many whole. How many? And the federal law says they can give you one dollar. The jury can. The jury yes, awards they you. The can. Federal case they can. Is they absolutely so, can. And we've watched a man get shot and killed, and the jury win <laughs> gives the family one dollar. Yep. yep. Uh, not only that, uh, there are certain clauses in the federal case. Um, I haven't gone over this in in a in a while, but I do know that the damages that you claim. That's very critical, too, because you could, in turn, if you lost the suit, be sued for that amount from the parties that so-called violated you. Yep. Not only that, to get it, it, it to, to show up in a federal court, that in itself is a trial. Yep. And then, like I say, you could get nerve damage on your wrist from them damn cuffs they put you on you. You get just nerve damage. On your hand. It, yep. Yeah, you, especially you they leave you there damage. for how long is the drive to the hospital or to the police station, you know, and they leave you in the car and they got you cuffed. That's why, why they keep you there at the scene so long. They Absolutely. know how long it takes to mess your hands up. They have Absolutely. to know. Absolutely. Absolutely. And they put them on that tight. So again, I mean, they see that nobody's resisting. Nobody is doing, I mean, again, you know, they do what they want to do. I saw a man not resisting, get the, get the daylight tased out of him with the officer yelling, get out of the car, put you, get down on the floor. As he's being uh, juiced to the max. And it's like, yep. they are psychotic. They are predators. They will take your life with no repercussions. None. Nope. People don't get that. No, and that's, again, like I say, when people say, oh, get arrested and you can sue them. You can't. You could try. <laughs> you could try, but you just can't. You know? See, <laughs> if it's connected, sue anything i automatically don't see that comment because that's not even a reality that you should be engaging in yes you know <laughs> you, you need big pockets to get a lawyer to represent you for any of this stuff and they cost a lot of money when they will represent you for this stuff okay so so i see a lot of people they're roadside lawyers and they try and take that shit into the courtroom to defend yourself with which is like, eh, wrong answer. You, we've all seen all the examples. It don't work. And then we've seen the civil rights lawyer who's fought, a, you know, he don't take a case unless he knows it's solid, right? Because it's his investment. You know, his uh, lawyer's time and effort is his stock and trade. That's the lawyer. Anyway, um, so when we look at the civil rights lawyer who's uh, had surefire cases, and then, like PDF was saying, the goddamn jury, you know, split, you know, and didn't find any cause, yeah. you know. I mean, you just can't control all the variables. And choosing a lawyer, you might choose a lawyer to send collusion with, with the uh, with the uh, rest of the members, you know, of the court. No, your, you know? your, your, lawyer, your lawyer is in full collusion, okay? Just check this out. With the court and the prosecution all three if you are found guilty receive funds from your bond issues and the monies thereof 
that the court demands you pay either with your time or your money. It is it, it is well known that, that that a court in Black's Law definitions is a bank. A prosecutor, a judge, and a lawyer are considered as actors. Not only that, the post office is a legal actor. So this means all of these bodies are responsible for the contract law that is going down, which is not real law. It's legal. It's not necessarily lawful, but this is the way contracts work. It's, it's very simple. They're all against you. They're trying to get money out of you. All this thing is a big sham and an extortion of your bond and your trust. And it's like it's the lawyer absolutely works. It's simple. I, I this talk is why to you boss. don't want a lawyer. Sorry, uh, PDF. This is why you don't want a lawyer and you don't want a, uh, a, a lawyer or an attorney. You want an advocate or a legal source that is not obligated to the court because you didn't sign papers saying that you're incompetent to deal with your uh, court case and this man represents you. You still represent yourself and you are getting legal, competent, legal advice from who you're consulting with in that courtroom. They can't, the lawyer can't sign papers in your name. They can't sign agreements in your name. They can't make promises in your name because he doesn't have that paper that you stated that you're incompetent to deal with your own court matters. And this is a very different technique to what everybody is sold nowadays because the lawyer, if the judge tells the lawyer to do something, he is obliged to do it. If the judge tells the prosecutor to do something, he is obliged to do it. If the judge tells you to do something, you are not obliged to do that. You owe no oath to the to the judge. You are not a member of a bar. You are a free man, so-called free man, one of the people. And it's very, very different. You, your the, lawyer the can't attorney. sign a deal that you're against because the judge told him to. And I've seen that happen, too. But your attorney works for the bar association, not for and you. And the lawyer, exactly. They're all, they're all yep. bound. All three of them are actors bound in a bank that is trying to take your trust money. Exactly. It goes way deeper than that. I'm giving you, like, to put a stake here. That was a stake here. It is a yeah. lamb bone. And it's like, again, there's people have to know what they're dealing with when they contract. And it's yeah. basically contract. And the post office, the post office, not the postal service, the commercial post, postal service, the civil post office is also an actor. So there are ways of refusing contract with the government. Well, you learned. could uh, sign up for my course. It's uh, twenty nine ninety nine. We'll be going through this uh, three Saturdays in a row in July, and we'll all meet in the Sheraton at uh, Beverly Hills. Sandwiches are free. Yes, I'm there. Food, I'm Thank there. You, Phil. That, that shout out to News Now California for that one. Yes. <laughs> but so my, maybe... my my take on the thing is like this here. Don't get tangle footed up with any of that shit. Run yep, every get arrested. You get. Yeah, I don't know about running, just don't get arrested. <laughs> you know, if you run, you better know how to fucking keep that up for a couple of miles, you know? You see, I'll be backing up quick. That's why I say I back up fast. Yo, I'm not gonna get, hit. I'm not gonna get sorry, anything like that. It's possible, but I don't think if sci fi would have backed up, gave his ID, if he would have asked if he was going to be arrested and don't give him the lawsuit, none of the other information, none you know. of the other information whatsoever. I would have said, uh, yeah, first, uh, you know, name and vag number. And, um, yeah, if I don't give you ID, are you going to arrest me? The first question's like, shit. I mean, you're starting off at level five already. You know, you only got five more places to get to level 10. So the first initiation of the pacification is always on you. Like I said, the the, the pacification is always on you. Yep. you they're always, if because again, otherwise there is no interaction because technically they should always start the interaction. You should never start an interaction. And ever. here's another thing. If you really want to get a real clip, a real how they are, you don't want to go in there and act like you know the law. You want to act like a common, dumb-ass person, don't know nothing about your rights, and then you'll get questions, their true coverage. 
questions you see, are the key. The true color. Mm -hmm. you know? I'm are just the, the lay person. <laughs> just the okay. lay person. And then you can say, can I be arrested for this? I didn't know I could be arrested. I don't want to be arrested. And yeah, if you know, my dumb, gracious goodness, my grandmama would roll up in her grave yeah. if I got arrested and, tonight by you, officer. Yes, Absolutely. sir. Uh, How you can I pacify like, your aggression, officer? How could I make everything better, officer? You want me I to kiss the boo-boo, officer? I don't They'll kiss no boo-boos, officer. Oh, yeah, you'll hear all kind of uh, legal and lawful orders and laws that you probably never heard of before. I want you to get down on two knees, yeah, and, and open this and, and do that and some of that. And if not, I'm going to arrest you for disorderly. I'm taking you to jail. Oh, yeah, and put it back where creating. you found it or else it's going to be disorderly. Creating disorderly. Yeah, creating yeah, yeah, disorderly. yeah, yeah. I created some disorder in my pants, sweetheart. Yeah, <laughs> they're crazy. They're they're absolutely crazy, and there's a reason why cops become cops. I mean, psychology, psychiatry, you know, Freud and all that good shit. Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, yeah, you're you're messing with something dangerous. Oh, that was a good cop. <laughs> no such fucking thing. There's only bad cops. If you got a good cop, he might be a professional with a moral dilemma that he can't sleep at night and is probably going to off himself in another eight years. So, yeah, yeah, no such thing as a good cop. Don't ever. Hey, I, yeah. I filmed the same cop one time. Actually, I, three or four times I think I got this one. But And he was moving up in the ranks as I was mm. catching throughout the time. But the one time I thanked him for respecting me and my person. You know what I mean? It beat me up. I think I remember that one. That the made me laugh time, so hard, yeah. man. And then the next time I catch him, he he starts saying my real name on the on the you know you know I'm lying. Yeah, right? What are you gonna be such an asshole for? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is it's what? not like the first time we met or something, something like that. I remember. Yeah. And then the next time I see him, yeah, he back to respecting my rights because he has to now. He ain't got no choice. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah, he get yeah. the hammer. He'd yeah, get you the hammer still. from above. You can just ask me from everywhere but that post office because that's the only place I go. Why would I want to shop in any places like that? You know, true, and they're the true. Christian place. They're the religious. You know, they're the spiritual. You know, there's Seven Day Advent Christian Village up in there. You know what I mean? But who oh, would want to buy the stuff? The Luciferians. Ah, yeah, interesting. They all, yeah, they're the ungodly ones. Yeah, you mm -hmm. got to be careful with those, man. Anybody who believes in uh, anything like that is, I don't know, man. And, yeah. and acts the way they act. Yeah, I'm yep. sorry, man. You got to lead by example. And if Believe you can't do me, that. Mm -mm. If I see one of these fools standing out there by my fence, which I, I wish they would. I could make a video. But they've <laughs> never the showed thoughts. up. But I would take them water or soda or you know, a bag of chips or something to get some salt in them because they're going to be sweating. You know what I mean? They're going to be sweating bad. So they're going to need some salt and they're going to need some water. But I would even do that for them. And then the, you see the religious people, the you know, spirituals come out. And they right away attack. What are you doing here? Get off our land. We own oh, the yeah. world. Oh, yeah. You know? Well, yeah. You know, yeah. That's where the get more with honey than you do, you know, that type yeah. of thing. But, but that's again, what you, you know, people to say you get more flies with honey than, yeah, but, you know, the solid bait would be sh a pile of shit and you catch yeah. more flies than anything. So, mm -hmm. you know, you got to look. Reality speaks. Yeah. So that's why yeah. I always like to watch when people react and how they react to us oh, absolutely you're learning a lot about people like that you know absolutely. And these are the good people hey these are the good people of society <laughs> oh, i would uh, i would give a little pretext before the good people of society but okay <laughs> i approve of you it's okay i understand you sir yep they're the ones that um you make the theological respect. sense to me so far you know what i'm saying yeah yeah yeah. That's why I like to film it. I like to show it. You know I mean, I'm, nothing I can like do. observing. I, I, it's it's a fascination, you know. It's yeah. You're like I always have like one question is it's always like w the what the fuck moment. Like what yeah. the fuck made you do that or say that or like what was going on in that hollow organ that you carry on your shoulders that said oh, you know what I got a great idea and look <laughs> at what happened. Like the it's seriously like what's the train of thought that led you no that's the way i grew up oh man you know that's what your daddy you didn't teach you? what's that boo he got that's a fly you catcher flies. fly yeah. strip yeah hang out the fly that's just turn your camera sideways that's a fly strip 
<laughs> yes, yes, exactly. They're going to all jump on it. <laughs> Don't hold your phone sideways. Look what you know, it is. I think you can improve that by putting like a little disco ball on top and free bar sign. I think you would catch more flies like that too. Yeah. Little I wonder fly if I'm... disco on the ceiling. Good place to hang out. Get it. <laughs> I guess everybody should put blue line flag stickers on their uh, phones and then the cops will think you're on their side. <laughs> They're think you're a blue <laughs> if somebody sends me a blue line flag, I'll put it on my forehead the next time I go talk. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's the mark of the beast and it's upon blue's head. Well, you know, it's going to have that one strip peeled off where you'll be able to see the, um, Nazi flag underneath it, right? That'd yeah, be yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know what? I was just, uh, I think I even posted it in the uh, Sci Fi Bright Fiasco video chat that more people should use uh, brown shirt and fucking Nazi in their vocabulary when talking to police. Yeah. But a tyrant. Well, what does that even mean? A tyrant would like it, okay, uh, rules unfairly. Oh, that means you rule something. You're just a fucking Nazi. Yep. I like spelling and this is how the brown shirt started in, hey, in Parker, Europe. Parker, I don't, flash, flash, flash. Um, somebody <laughs> said that you might supposed to be in Johnny Rotten. I was? Thursday, 10 o'clock or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. What day was that? Today? I, it's in the chat right now. It's from... Um, oh, J2, aren't you supposed to be at Janie Rotten's now? Wow! No, I thought she said Friday. Yeah, I thought she said what's okay. today? What is today? It depends Thursday. where you are, but it should be Thursday. She was Thursday, in here earlier Thursday. and said tomorrow, didn't she? I don't know. I don't know. I thought she said Friday. Yeah, she said Friday. I remember because she was gonna send me a text. I gave her my phone number. Well, this would imply that we're not entertaining. Uh, yeah. <laughs> much knowledge yeah, has been think, dropped uh, in this session of uh, talk. I think it was tomorrow. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I gave they, her my phone number. They just came yeah, back. I figured Sorry, it out. That's it, tomorrow, that's my fault. bad. Oh, okay. Regardless, thank you for passing that along because sometimes we do do stuff like that. Well, I was going to blame Steve, so it don't matter. Steve's definitely yeah. getting all the blame today for everything. Yep. Ohio Steve. Yes. Yep. Ohio H I O Steve. Yep. Oh, Steve <laughs> is to blame. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> for the first time, I ain't got to take the blame this time, Keep. Yep. <laughs> and no I knew it was going to be a good day. He's got two live streams for tomorrow. so. I do. According to No Justice. Well, what's where the second one is? I I know and Joni wants to um have fun talking. She likes just to talk. She, I like Joni. I don't know if y'all go to Joni Rotten's page, but she's fun to talk to. And, uh, Public service announcement, y'all. PDF can be booked on your panel. You just have to go to my about page. <laughs> yeah. uh, Bookings dot uh, PDF dot com. Yes, yes. Blue's collecting all the money out of the deal somehow. Straight I don't know what's up. Straight up. You have to get a hold of him about that deal. I don't know what's going. On. <laughs> he said he got this. Don't worry. <laughs> and, uh, it's about page. I heard. Put your commercial back up, Blue. <laughs> I would have thought Blue would have something produced for that. Come on. Yeah, he should have a commercial collecting all yeah, donuts. Donut, 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 yeah, donut, 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 <laughs> money or weed money or weed you have to throw weed, weed across weed, the weed, fence weed. over here you know? <laughs> drive by real yeah. fast and just throw it out the window I'll find I it think, I think you should make an account at your uh, dispensary so people could donate you know, yeah. straight away for the weed and at the pet shop you got another account so yeah you, the money funnels to the appropriate places where it's needed well I almost got kicked out of the weed shop one day but two people got fired the way I hear it I don't know but now there's hey, only one that's person. That's a great accounting. Wow. 
That's the great accounting tip. We'll take it into consideration and vote on it in the board. <laughs> oh, these people at these. We won't put no money in the poor dirt farmer's hand. We'll just send it straight on to. Send it direct. Yeah, exactly. This is what I'm saying. Hey, I tell you, I hear the one guy, he went in there and called so much shit at the weed shop down there at the swamp that they gave him a whole box of candy bars and ran him out the door. What the? What was that story, Blue? That's it right there. Yeah, <laughs> all the facts. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The newspaper didn't even write it that well. <laughs> they paid him to leave with a box of candy bars. <laughs> Shit, I got to try that They tried to run a time. fuck around on me. You know, they tried to run a fuck around on me. And then, you know, they they know what I'm about, you know, because they're all um subscribers. So yeah. they just... <laughs> Gifted me and bounced me on out the door. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, you know what? I, I should I should do that with the delivery driver next time because this guy drives around with like deliveries of uh, you know like a uh, hundred grams of weed to, uh, you know in in the car and stuff like that. I say you know what I'm gonna join you today. What do you give me not to join you today? You know. Yeah. That would be a good one. Two bags a week. Well, thank you very much, delivery driver. All of a sudden, my schedule is too busy. Donations to Blue Steel. Thank you very much. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. <laughs> Pay you to leave. What a concept, bro. Yeah. Hey, we're going to try to get your this. money's no good here. <laughs> Take this. Yeah. Just fucking leave. Yeah. yeah. Pay you to go away. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe when you walk up with a damn uh, phone in our hand turned sideways, we should have a cup in the other hand that says donation, <laughs> and have no, a cop no, throw actually, us the fucking change, and we'll leave. You, right? You should do the uh, the Jeff Gray thing. You know, you come with a sign. We'll accept donations of weed. God bless you. I mean, hey, it's a blessing, right? It has something to do with God. Freedom of speech. Come on, man. <laughs> and a camera for intimidation. Oh, you know, the other weed shop gave us more. Oh, no, no, hold on, hold on. This is going on YouTube, right? Oh, yeah, by the way, you know, weed.weed.weed.com. Yes, that's us. Yeah, PDF <laughs> gets his weed here every week. You know, free candy bar included. Yeah, that was very well, funny. Hey, if we put Blue Steel's PayPal address up on the daggone bucket that we're carrying around collecting money with. <laughs> <laughs> tap, <laughs> tap this phone for easy pay, you know? Yes, we can take credit cards, too. Your mother's yeah. maiden name, sir. Your full number and the three numbers on the back. Yes, sir. All donations are probably... <laughs> Yeah, we'll get one of them swipe things to the phone. They can swipe yeah. their card right there at the bucket. No, I've <laughs> seen people do that. It's incredible. Yeah. Right, last time I went to the barber, he did that shit. He pulled this thing out of his pocket, stuck it in his phone, and swiped my credit card. I was like, God damn, you hot yep. dog, buddy. Like yep. a barber dude. I'm laughing. When I lived in huh? It ain't all CBs today, Mr. PDF. No, sir. I was wanting hey, to get me one of them. Reading, Pennsylvania, all the dope dealers all had the cube on the top of their phone, and that's where you swiped your card. Yep. What? Money's money, what? man. Money's money. And that was 2000, I want to say 13. Oh, I know I'm back in time. I think I was, um, actually, I was on, on, on ice back in 2013. So I missed that year. I no, I was on ice a longer time ago. <laughs> I'm thinking of ice time. <laughs> yeah, shit. Ice time, yeah, no, that was that was quite a while ago. <laughs> yeah, I, I that, was that, was, that was that just year. after the world burned. Do you remember that one from PDF? You remember yeah. when the world burned? Yeah. 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 And right after yeah. that, I, I was on ice. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm sure it happened that. to you, but at a different date. You know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, Same yes, experience, okay. different yeah. date. Yeah, I mean, 2013, when he was out there swiping credit cards with running around, I was all nice. Just, so I missed that year. I thought I missed yeah. the credit card swiper. <laughs> that year. Then. That's, <laughs> that year. That's why. You were fortunate, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, that year was gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no replays, no videotape, no clip. That was it. No Just internet, a, no nothing. No, no. But, but today there might be a, a digital paper somewhere somehow. If if yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, different, different, different time. Yeah. 
Well, and especially nobody asked me digitally to vote. in the United States. At least nobody asked me to vote because I wouldn't have at least. But can you see all the people that went around to the jails down here, got the people to sign up to vote, told them they were allowed, and now they got arrested for voting. Well, uh, they, I would right, think, so this, yeah. is, this is how that went, right? The Board of Elections went to the Alachua County Jail. Now, where else can you get eligible voters but a goddamn county lockup, right? I mean, there's no career felons in there. So, I mean, there's so they had an uh, escort from the Alachua County Sheriff's Department that walked them to every cell and said, their spiel, right? Now, originally, nine of them voted that weren't eligible. Mm -hmm. But let's, let's just take into consideration the jail population. Most of them are lower functioning. They're not your average human in America. And that's why they got caught, because they're not very good at it either. So they're at a double deficit. Now, do you want to get out of your cell and go vote? Yes. Here's your paper. Yep. Here's your vote registration. Come on out and vote. Guess how they voted. Uh, that's not been revealed, but guess how they voted. Well, I would now, say the way it looks to me, they voted Democrat and the Republican governor is the one who who um, had them arrested and just sent to prison for voting I'm, illegally. I'm going to bum you guys out by like shooting all this right at the basis of it by saying that this comes from you guys thinking that voting even does something. Oh no, we're just saying like how this evil process. No, just, no, bro, no. bro, just think of all this information that you had about all this stuff in your head that you could totally disregard because the game is fixed anyway and voting right. does nothing. So all this crap doesn't matter except to get more people in trouble for more bond money, for more QCIP numbers, and all that garbage that they're perpetuating. Yeah. Well, this will put the fear, the fear to even vote in you. Because they gave the rights to felons to vote in Florida back. So felons are allowed to vote. Nine, but, huh? What's nine that of 12, nine of 12 that, they, that they've charged for this action, nine of 12 have been sentenced to prison time. I'm sure. Another, That'll teach you to vote. Three got. <laughs> yeah. That'll teach you to vote. Like That's what? Super. But you know what my question would be? Like, if you claim national status, right, you don't vote in, like, the regular bullshit elections for a puppet, right? You vote for uh, uh, the Congress, if I'm not mistaken. And um, I wonder if they could, like, take away your right to do that, even if you were a felon. This is – because, again, voting, yeah, it's a privilege. Voting for Congress is not. You get what I'm saying, PDF? yeah see i never even realized that part i never that's like brand new like again your like. title is very important to what your obligations are if you want to be one of the people you can't be a citizen and citizens vote mm -hmm. the people don't well, vote so it's, it's they like elect the citizens congress vote. right yeah yeah and not only that one vote is considered four votes in in the way that they count their thing so your one vote equals four votes and nobody votes nobody understands it. it's all written in the code books you know it, it's blatant non-resident alien now if you're a non-resident alien yeah you're you're okay, the level so of a diplomat you get what i'm saying and of course so you don't need the, a license and of course parking so when you uh, come into the department of defense whenever you enter the dod and get sworn in and all that you sign different papers now i've done that several times so i know a little bit more about it than the average joe but I'm just saying like this here. I remember that their honor was like, you are a citizen. Now, I haven't seen the form in, you know, like 30 years. But I remember it saying you are a citizen. They had certain ways that, you know, caught my attention how they called us. You know what I'm saying? I haven't seen that form. But I would be interested in seeing that form, how they call you, you know, on that. Because that's official. You know what I'm saying? More so than anything else, you know, because that's an actual contract with the government. I would say the government would call you a citizen because uh, you would be in their employ. OK, and, okay. and anybody okay. who's employed by the government has. Yeah, they're citizens, sovereign citizens. That's the police. Yeah, they're sovereign in the citizenry. 
a regular citizen or whoever they call it, it can't be it doesn't work like that the police have the privilege not the regular chattel the chattel have no privilege well well like in the uk they call the royalty the sovereigns I've well, seen again, that the word the sovereign in, in Black's Law would denote somebody who rules from above, period. It doesn't mean, but again, yeah. But again, you also have the Magna Carta in England with 12, 15, if I'm not mistaken. And it tells you about traveling and, and all this stuff. So uh, you're right. You're technically, quote, unquote, rights that you really don't have. If you're a citizen, they give you rights. If you're a, considered a free man or we the people, you have inalienable rights. Like, however many you want. Technically, and if you don't do harm to person or property, the legal system, right? Not the law has nothing to do with you. And you vote for Congress, you're not even obliged to consider on paying tax to the federal government it's all written basic outline in the codes and all that kind of stuff you got to know where to look in the rule book and then you understand the game a little bit better from a different aspect and if you know how to observe and read good on you yeah that's the part that we don't, they interpret it. They don't read it. So yeah, no matter what and we again, read. It, 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 absolutely. And that's one of the key points that you just said. It's the interpretation. No, the way you read the law is you read until it doesn't apply anymore. And that's it. There's no jumping numbers. There's no jumping letters. You read it until it stops applying. I think we're there now. I think the law stopped applying to us because <laughs> I don't believe they're just or any of that. You know? Well, well, I could say that some laws have stopped applying because I have a governmental license to be a deviant and break the law. But, yeah. um, you know, hey, but I fought my battle for, for that. You know, cooler yeah. time don't come for free. You know what I'm saying, sir? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so I can say I, I know one thing that um, I don't want to get involved in their shenanigans anymore. I'm pretty mm -hmm. much done with that. I know that, again, I tell everybody, if you're playing with a stacked deck, you can't win. You can't win. You know, you're not going to win. You, the only way you can win is to stand to fight another day, and that's by not getting arrested and get caught up in a crooked system. You think no. you can win by lawsuits, and you're not going to break the bank that way. The way to break the bank is by not getting arrested. Stop giving money to their evil enterprise. Back uh, up. Uh huh. You know, that's well, nickel diamond actually, them to death. But, yeah, but if yeah. people actually knew how the money worked and how the obligations weren't to you at all and how they're all going to get paid no matter what happens, uh, this is uh, people, uh, my, my rights. You ain't got no rights. But they by do what stop they want. getting Where arrested, what well, I'm saying though, to stop getting arrested. Yeah. I mean, look how many people out here are committing crimes and running around with cameras while they're committing crimes. So I'm like, well, that's I gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> Everybody Dude, I needs catch to on stop. quick. I know who PDF is, man. I'm I'm subliminal with you, man. You well, know, you know what I mean? so for all for all the the thieves and murderers and everywhere in between. Yeah. If everybody, but that's when everybody says we can all just get along. Yeah, come on, you know, but <laughs> the criminal, when you know someone's a criminal and you're still going to go hang out with that person, you can't say you're standing up for rights. No, you know well, what I mean? You, you can say it and people well, yeah, might believe say, it. They but do say it and they pass dictate. their PayPal. Yes, yeah, I forget about the yeah. PayPal. Exactly. So that's but what I'm seeing now. Dictate something else. Yeah, you know? Absolutely. People need to see what people do and not what they say or not what somebody told them. And yeah, what are you doing? What are you hiding all of a sudden? And now I'm watching I'm watching a bunch of the alleged uh, self-proclaimed cops, cops, I call them. They're not auditors or activists or cop watchers. They're cops, cops. But now they're buddying up with all the trolls that put all the good people down 
And then the trolls, the same trolls are buddying up with the cops. Cops now, it's getting really weird because when you see a piece of crap troll that, you know, tried to get people hurt. Yeah. you know, I mean, good people. And then they buddy up with self-proclaimed cops, cops. What is their agenda? But these right. new cops, cops that are running around will buddy up with anybody. They don't care who it is. I call it kind of glomming. And they're thinking about the subs and the ad stuff that they get yep. and all the, you know, um, yep. let's bow down before ye, oh, great brave one who knows the uh, the law so well that he's a constitutional law scholar and yeah, blah, blah, blah. blah. Yeah, and, yeah, I don't well, want you. Well, like, like, just, just throwing a little example in there. But, hey, yeah, no, I, I totally tell you understand what, where I, you're coming from, man. Hey, the man's dead now, but he gave out over fifteen thousand dollars in like a month, and Chile was a major uh, acceptor remember, of that. I remember when that happened, and you There's a lot of money was, out here. It was some sand in your shorts, and I could more than understand. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, I listen, mean, that's, wrong is wrong, and wrong is wrong, and no matter what you do or what you say, yo, wrong is hey, wrong. And and I heard the man say, I heard that he said that uh, he didn't have nobody to give his money to, you know. But what if he'd lived another? One. What yeah, if he'd well, lived another five years? Yep. Well, you know, and you, think. I mean, he knew he was he was unhealthy, and we did too, because a lot of people out here are, you know, and uh, they'll be gone soon, and. You know, people don't care because all they're giving a shit about is that that nickel and that dime. That's all it's about, man. And it's hard to follow these people. And a lot of the good people, I mean, getting convicted, convicted, rogue nation got probation. He ain't no way in hell he was guilty of doing anything. A little hick town up in Georgia. Now he well, might well, be able again, to appeal it, fight it, I'm, and win. I'm looking at the appeal, and you can't serve a day unless your appeal has gone through. So it's technically yep. it's in limbo. And I'm not even surprised he got convicted. I mean, dude, oh, 38 seconds, oh. arrest and conviction. They broke all the laws of procedure. And, yep. Man, there's a book. They have yep. to follow the book. Just, no, they make you follow the book. They don't give you discovery. They don't give you papers. They have um, side discussions with the you and side discussions with the judge. Dude, it's a shit and show. Then, even if they know you're right. Hey, Mr. PDF, I don't mean to interrupt. Go ahead. Um, go ahead. I'm sorry. A cup of coffee and mace. She wants to come up. Oh, okay. Sorry about that interruption. Oh. Hey, anytime, anytime. I mean, look, that blue went through it too. I mean, most of us have out here. I mean, look what they did to blue over there. He had an open and shut case. Same thing they did to sci fi. Pretty much got it hmm. stretched out long enough to sweep it under the rug. Well, one thing I also discovered is one should have a little bit of uh, legal ability for oneself if they're intending on dealing with that because shit's going to happen and you better know at least, you know, how to write a motion to dismiss, yeah. you know, uh, something that, you know, because you got to because you didn't have a lawyer and you should know if you're going to be doing some of this stuff. I kind of figured it out that when you're wronged, you should only be able to uh, either pay to play or you should fit, know how to do it for free. So I decided to uh, settle my score in small claims court where a yep. lawyer is not accepted. Yep. So that puts me on a stronger foot automatically than whoever I'm up against because they're expecting to play with a lawyer. I read the book. Yep. I read the book. I read the manual. You know, RTFM, remember the good old days? Oh, read okay, the fucking so, manual. So, so hold on. I, I want to expand on this and, and learn more. So you, I'm just saying, theoretically, you can take the cops to small, small claims court? You could take just, anybody to small claims court. Not only that, I'm you sure. could actually you could actually apply a lien on a city or, again, they're, they're, they're different ways to do the process and one would be as as a citizen mind and one would be as we the people mind I didn't know. Two I, very I have different a working knowledge i have a strong working knowledge of the uh civil court you know small claims and and how it works and who, you know who the favorite goes to and all that but Blue Steel, dr sean prime example dr sean he settled with the cops insurance basically 
because yeah, he could have took it to court. Was running through the civil court. That's See, but, uh, but the isn't thing that is, kind of the same. I mean, it's not exactly the same, but isn't that kind of the same? When you go through a civil court, you would be suing for his own insurance. Because that's what. Uh, yeah, but, that, but but that would I be would a very roundabout way to that. sue for the insurance. Because the insurance you can actually make a claim against, much like a traffic accident. Yeah, I yeah, mean, it's it's the kind of but, but you need the proper kind of insurance. complaints and all that stuff. Well, no, it's a, it's a, it's a, state law would dictate in a state. There are many different states, and either it would be a bond, an insurance policy, yeah. something of a guarantee of money that he has to pay to to be able to do what he does. Not only that, he would need a, um, let, let's say, a diploma or an accreditation uh, to pass X amount of hours learning this, that, the other thing, and the other thing before he's even thought of being capable of, of being a police officer in the state. Technically, if they do it, I, I doubt it, you know, but this is what state law dictates. You no, know, there's something to play with, though, and, and, and uh, research, and I, I never heard that. But well, I'm also, just saying, you know, it limit, I'm, I'm going to look into all that because that could be a new avenue I would, of approach. Technically, I would keep it out of the court as long as I could because you know that's a, that's a paid-for game, and they're against you no matter what you do. I would always go, if you're going to sue the city, I would send the city, again, a, a, a letter stating with all the facts and all the evidence and all this shit, I would do, go ex exactly to the insurance company that insures that municipality. I would go to the insurance company that insures those police officers because I do know that in, I forget which state, they have an exclusive insurance agency that just does the cities. And they have exclusive oh, yeah, yeah, insurance yeah, agency yeah. just for the police. So it's yeah. not that it's impossible to find these and you lay a claim. Not only that, for your damages or whatever work or um, education or anything that you supplied from you being you in that situation and having done for you, you could give them a bill. And when you give them a bill, that means that they are owing you money. And they have X amount of days to pay. And you write it in a legal format. And if they renege on the bill, there is called a, that would call it a type of mechanics lien that you could place on the city, on the officer, that he can't sell property until loan is paid. And that lien comes with conditions that oblige the officer within this time and time, your debt will be paid or your property will be seized. This is a we the people way. Again, this is very different ways the legal system functions. And not only that, I have even under my knowledge that you don't have to even have a judge involved in this process. Yeah, and the bond thing, that's like the insurance itself because when I got yep. off that slab of ice, the feds gave me it. They bonded me for $50,000. So if I got pissed uh, off, wherever I got hired. Kind of bond, sir. That's a oh, different okay, yeah, No, yeah. that is a legal <laughs> bond that's traded on the stock market, though, PDF. This is a different kind of bond than a police officer. I was officer bonded, bond. though. That, that's you, the were, you, you, bonded, were, right? you were bonded more than you think you were, sir. You know? I, I would suggest on um, I would suggest on trademarking, okay, your uh, corporate government now. name. I would suggest trademark your corporate government name and right. get the at least the name of your vessel back, man. That like yeah. like own your legal fiction, if anything. Yeah. If you want to be one of the we the people, there there are steps that you could take to do little pieces, and yeah, you're making a fucking statement, you know. Yep. 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 And that's why you were saying about voting. A lot of people, when they say vote, they only think about voting for the president. They're not thinking about all the other things under it. But a citizen can't do anything else but vote for the president. And if actually, we all know that if voting ever did anything, it would be made illegal. Right, but what about the judges and your, your commissioners and all? I mean, we they're all crooked, so it don't matter which one you get voted. They in are there. again accountability yeah. and uh, the ability to sue and uh, lay legal claim for damages is key. And anybody who has, seeks damages and gets paid, but they have to uh, run it full strength yeah. all through the court system. So there is yeah. a judge's decision in the end, and you get a dollar. You get a dollar. You made fucking history. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. 
Well, another case that could be referred to, if you want to accomplish something, do it the right way. And everybody should be doing it. Everybody who gets violated should lay a claim. Absolutely. You don't get money? Whatever. You know, cost you $420. How much is a federal suit? Or you could do uh, the indigent, which is free. And, and look again, how long it takes. I mean, it takes forever I'm and a day. Two, three years, years really federal case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, I, satisfaction you remember, is had, though, you know? You remember, yeah, do you remember Timmy Henley? I don't remember the name. I would uh, probably Timmy, remember the case. Timmy Henley's mama, Sabrina, they killed her son. They shot him full of holes. They made oh, it live. I remember that. On live yeah. fucking, yeah, I remember that. Shot so, him like, yes, yeah, I remember and, that. I so, remember that. So they made up lies. The knife was all the way down the hall inside the room. He was all the way outside the building. Now, he was on yep. drugs. But God dang, if it was their kid on drugs, would they shoot him full of holes or would they all t gang tackle him? I mean, a football team could have took this kid down, even but on this, drugs. This is what they do in the Philippines. Is the, it's easier to shoot a criminal, and we don't have to deal with that shit no more. You that know? Teach Again, the next one not to act just, that way, yeah. But it really think, don't work like that, you know? That's kind of like drug addiction. Oh, man, you saw what happened to your friend Johnny. He died. Yeah, where did he get his junk again? You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's, where did he live? Let's go see what he had. <laughs> yeah, I remember I loaded up my big screen TV back in the day, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he had a big TV. Let's head over yeah. there. We'll go watch it. <laughs> yeah, I remember those, uh, the hidden crack jar under the couch. Yeah, we, yeah. we, we put it there yeah. a long time ago, yeah. yeah. I know he stashed some weed around there somewhere. Tear it all apart. <laughs> Look at the keyboard. There's always some weed in my keyboard. Just bang it out, man. Yeah. Mine's right here in the drawer if I got any. If I need it out. <laughs> really, they got weed dust in the drawer. I got some of that, too, every once in a while. You know what I'm saying? Look in the back. Hope you find a half a joint laying there somewhere. Be like, yeah. You know what? If, if it worked like that, we'd be hiding a lot more and forgetting where it was. I've never thought that ever worked you know oh no i'm gonna hide it Pfft, you're gonna remember first time yeah. you need weed you remember where you put it like uh, what are you kidding yourself yeah no, i'll just smoke half a joint you know you won't <laughs> when have you ever smoked half a joint but i'm running out you know you're not gonna so, hey yeah. you're talking to a guy that had four hundred thousand dollars worth of head stash for medical use only Saying, oh, I, like I got, I got convicted bit. on a seven <laughs> kilos for medical use only. I broke a record in the where I live. Oh, I yeah. broke a serious record, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Paid for it. You know, lucky the weapons charges didn't stick, but okay. You know, Same I here. got lucky that day. Hey, no, I got I lucky, lucky that day. Yep. They screwed up, man. They they uh they disposed of evidence. They moved evidence. They hey, you you evidence. got extra lucky. They didn't. Yeah, they, they didn't get rid. I, yeah, but yep. I found the evidence. <laughs> off of their police phone because when the cop come in the back door with the phone after me waiting four hours for them to go get a warrant and outside in the rain and um they finally come back with a warrant because they didn't have no warrants for anybody when they got here and um yep. so then when they went in the back door they had the phone on well he filmed my rifle in the corner in the kitchen but it was fine by it was in a drink it's fine by a what can y'all see it I was trying to show you all some fighter jets flying by. Oh, which direction they going? Big plane? You see the plane? Uh -uh. The plane, the plane. No, I can't see it. The plane, the... Yeah, the fighter jets are flying by right now. I was trying to get you to you can spot it out. Well, when they filmed that goes... gun, dude, check us out. Let me finish this mm. real quick. Uh, they filmed the gun with their own phone. So we got the ca camera video and the pictures that they introduced to prosecution. The gun was not in a shrink wrap bag and it was laying on my table with a, a, a clip in it. To, and they said it was used to protect the grow house. Right. But then so when I went through the video with VLC media player and took a screenshot of that gun in the corner on the cops video that he put in there off his own phone. Yeah. And I sent that picture to my attorney and I said, Hey, there's the gun. What's it doing in this picture? Because the picture that I seen of the gun laying on the table by the prosecutors, I wasn't allowed to have. Well, I was allowed to look at it, know, but I wasn't allowed to have it. it. And then the when I, works. well, then I got it. The, no. the lawyer knew the video camera, and I still have that video on my page of the cop walking in the back door and going through my whole house and yeah. um, the gun sitting right there in the corner. So when I exposed that, uh, the lawyer got a hold of the prosecutor and said, well, where's the other gun? And they were like, what other gun? And then he showed them that picture. They had to drop the gun charge. <laughs> 
You see what I mean? So he was fucked. Uh, the other gun, gun now I get it. The, yeah, yeah, it's like you had two. No, where's the yeah, other, other gun? It's where's like, the one shit. that were, and where's the yeah. plastic bag that it was no, in? It's, the it's, it's right the bag. same gun. Oops. It's the yeah, same and gun. You could, hey, and you could see the clips in the shrink uh, rack bag at the bottom of the, the gun that shows that they put the clip in the gun as well. Yeah. So they manipulated the evidence. They destroyed well, you know, evidence. You gotta thank stupidity, you know what I'm saying? That's and then the they gave thing. me Hey, but all people, they're going to give me a copy of the cop's uh, phone video. You but know I went through that, that you got frame a picture frame. of the cops, but it's funny to me that you got a, a picture of the video, right? Yeah. But the picture, they wouldn't let you have. So no, again, that was the manipulated picture of the gun on the I, table. With that the I understand, it, but that I understand. Box yep. But the thinking of the whole thing is like, what the fuck were you? I mean, you're going to set somebody up, right? Yep. You should at least know. Okay, but that's this the came law, from that. dude. It's like, hey, I know. The law Thank God says for stupidity. The that's prosecutor, all I say. well, the prosecutor can give your attorney information that you're not allowed. To, you're allowed to see it or hear it, but you're not allowed to have it or use it. Well, you're not, and they give them the information actors. you're not even allowed to know about. So they're but giving that's, information that's a yeah, lie. That's that part you're not of the actor to, deal in the bank. PDF, so when right you go there, to get you're, arrested, you're watching it. Well, when you get arrested, you be prepared for little things like that. Because like I said, they never had a warrant when they came to my house for anybody that lived here. They didn't even know who lived here. They had no clue. Mm. They were looking for somebody that was a previous owner's friend. You know, yeah. and we proved ah, all that shit. I get so it. When, when I did finally get the, all the evidence and all that, the state had to drop the charges because we would have won in state. In state, the, the law says they're not allowed to pass the, the, the path, the direct path to the front door in Florida. Well, they, they have a term for it to, to access your property, much as uh, to the front door to drop off a package. Like a, and not, a tap and talk. They call yeah, it yeah. a tap and talk. They're allowed to walk. Yeah. Anybody can walk yeah. up to your door and knock yeah, exactly. on your door and talk exactly. to you. Exactly. Exactly. But the cop's not allowed to go past the front of this house. He's not allowed to yeah, go to the yeah. side of the house. Even if he hears you talking in a side room and the window's open, he can't walk past the side, the front of the house. That's not legal in Florida without a warrant. It's not you legal I mean? in so, a lot of places, to be honest. Cause that's, yeah, I'm uh, pretty again, sure. But I, normal, you know, where the normal average person can gain access to your house past the border of your house around the back is not considered even a nope. thing. Yeah. No nope. front. Even if it's I, set up for your friends to go into the backyard, the cops not allowed, not allowed. You know? Yes. But yet they got but, away with it. But this is the role of the actors and being in cahoots and colluding together and why you really don't want a lawyer and why you should know, to handle your own stuff and to number one, not even get arrested. Like uh, steer clear of that crap unless you Shit, you know you got somebody to do it. Mm -hmm. Shit, y'all. That's like when PDF uh, and DC Accuracy filed the charges against the Bill Henderson, and they went to court on the side of the DA as the victims. And look how that turned out. And that's all you know a matter of record. And that's why I say you, the, the jury that you're going to get, you might even be jury friendly, but the jury's going to be more friendly of that local town, even if it's the town you live in and pay taxes with the cops than they are going to be anybody else, especially when they put relatives and friends of the person who's being charged on the jury. If I remember Spring. also, it's a municipal court. So again, it's a corporate structure and yeah, you're going to fucking lose. And we were the victims, and we lost. Of course, you—you uh, you were more than just a victim. You were victimized mm -hmm. twice. So yeah, and legal recourse from that. Good luck. You know, it's like I'm and sure you, you'd rather spend the money on weed than a lawyer. You know what I mean? Yeah. That and, cat um, food. Fuck yeah. And we got it. We had our district, or the the um, prosecutor was our lawyer, so we didn't have to pay. But the thing was, we were there to report a rapist teacher. Plain and simple. Look how it turned into. Or what it turned into. Nobody oh, remembers. Show. Nobody remembers the rapist teacher. But they talk about the spray paint and they make up lies and say we're auditing a pizza joint and all the bullshit they come up with. But they know nobody ever talks about the teacher. She was having sex with at least two students in our high school huh. in Mayo, Florida. But nobody ever talks about that. Sure, I mean, ain't it funny how they can manipulate the story? And make it look like it's holding, uh, to take your focus and your attention. It's the same thing the news people do. 
absolutely mainstream media the townspeople will do the same thing because they didn't want their town to look bad see what i mean there's only less than eight thousand people in the whole damn county you think half of them are related i guarantee you <laughs> more than half i'm sure well, kissing cousins that's don't mean nothing whole right county. that's not a town that's not yeah, that's a city. whole county that's yeah that's a whole th this county. is what i'm saying that that makes it more than 50 percent right there yep, yep. But again, you know, you could you could tell the corruption from where it starts, and there are lots of signs. And again, expectations. Hmm. Well, here's the part yeah. I like to where we get, we allegedly got trespassed from twelve or thirteen stores, right? But when you check up the the legal red the of the store, it doesn't even exist. It Who the hell is going to write a trespass and warrant for a store that don't even exist? But then I remembered Blind Justice. Blind, he got um he got he got the whole from town a store. again. Yeah, a store <laughs> that was closed whole, down. Yep, hey, it was yep, a closed down that. store. <laughs> I remember that. I'm like, how the fuck does that even work? You know? But nobody, nobody got trespassed more than Jeff Gray. He, they went. The cop went to every store in the whole mall, like thirty fucking some stores, and got them all to sign a trespass. And it came out and hit Jeff Gray up. <laughs> they, well, well, you know, that's like against their policy, and it's illegal to solicit, yep. and that's actual solicitation. And I hope. You know, Jeff Gray went again, skull punting, you know, and that happened to me on camera as well. I you was know. down here, broke down at the store, cut half my damn finger off. I was bleeding all over the place. Two dudes come up and said, hey, I like your sticks. I had like a, a dozen sticks laid in the back of the truck. And I was talking to him about them. And I told him I'd meet them down there at the park if they wanted to look through them. You know what I mean? Because they were road construction workers. The cops showed up, told the lady I was out there selling sticks in her parking lot, which was a great <laughs> lot. And then she trespassed me the next day because I went into the store and questioned her about herself. I said, hey, um, you told me to leave. I mean, what did I do wrong? I wasn't selling sticks. And it's all on the video. So they make up lies about it. But I, I remember it that sticks and the construction workers put it together with uh, right now. And I remember that. Uh, people are stupid. It's just know? what the trolls do. That's how the trolls try. It's the same as lamestream media the trolls out here are just the same all for the click and view and the dollar like when they put in the newspaper i was a two-time convicted felon with a firearm i'd never been convicted of shit fucking fell on two-time convicted film but the newspaper uh, wrote that it's yeah. still in there I, I i had much the same experience with the newspaper but i don't live in a very big place yeah. and when it hit the newspaper i had problems um renting even an apartment in my real name hey, yeah, i tried to get a well 10, put 11 in, right? years man 10 11 <laughs> years i had such problems because of that stupid fucking article it was absolutely insane i couldn't believe yep. it yeah and the lawyer tells me well you could they'll put a retraction in but that's what the newspapers yeah, do late. they try to sell <laughs> a newspaper late. yeah that's all they're trying to do shit after yeah, I no. got pinched, everybody wanted to do business with me, you know, have, you know, have mm. me rent their properties I had to rent, you know, and all that, because they thought they'd clip me too, you know. <laughs> well, that's what I mean, though. Um, I tried to get a well put in, tried to use my name. They said, we ain't got no time to put one in and we ain't going to have no time to put one in. But that yeah. was a relative of, you know, the town. That, that you know, shit was yeah. crazy. I remember that shit. So I had to use my wife's name in the next town over you know, to get a well for it. But I got a cheaper deal out of it, so it was even a better deal Straight there. Up, uh, the, but the always the smart option would be, uh, yeah, yeah uh, honey, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you might make call a telephone people. call. Yeah. The people yeah. don't like me no more, you know. I don't know it's why, right. but. They don't like you exposing their, their relatives as rapists in the high school. It's just something about it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> just something about it rub you the wrong way, right? Yeah. Much Pissed like sandpaper off. in your shorts, yeah. Well, they tried to hide it, right? They didn't want nobody to know. And the newspaper closed down the next day. The local newspaper, the day after the Pizza Hut joint, it yeah. never opened up their doors and did a newspaper the next day. They never reported on that story. I said, wow. damn, they probably closed the, the damn newspaper down so yeah. they didn't have to report they on that story. To, uh, I wouldn't underestimate them at them. all. I got the newspaper shut down, dude. That's, <laughs> the, uh, that's just wrong, blood. <laughs> hey, you troublemaker now i know why they don't like you but the check newspaper. it out they're illiterate hey. anyway we don't need to read 
Hey, it gets better than that, though. I, like we all, uh, Max would say, but wait, there's more. <laughs> wait, there's more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so a newspaper, a new newspaper guy opened up uh, months, several months later, let's say. It's, it was a while. And the, the guy who owns this new newspaper is none the more has the same name as the cop that pulled us over up in Taylor County for filming a billboard of the sheriff on the side of the highway. And um, <laughs> he chased us down with flashing lights and all that. And I went off and cussed him out. What was his name? Pigpen or Thigpen. Okay, so he thought he, he thought he knew his name and he said it one way. And then he had to come back and, and repose the question, who am I? And then he yeah, said, yeah. oh, I am Sergeant Thigpen. Yeah. Well, the, the newspaper that opened up now, the guy that owns it, his name is Thigpen. Thigpen. <laughs> that much? And that's wow. the next county over, Taylor County, Swanee well, County. So the Thigpen. inbreeding is uh, going it's over six. boundaries, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's like five counties up I remember up here. you, you uh, were, in, if I'm not mistaken, you were looking for a car or something like that, and you were in a, a parking lot, and you commented about the new newspaper or something like that. Yeah, I that's do remember. Yeah, you know, so that's how close to Ken it is around here. So if you're not relatives, they're not going to let you fit in. They don't uh, want no I, new people. I know. Around. I know. I, I feel very much the same way in the community that I live in. If, like, you weren't born here and yeah, we don't know your parents, uh, you're an outsider, son. Yep. Absolutely. So you definitely don't want to get arrested in them kind of towns. Uh -uh. Yeah, that's for sure. That's why you don't yeah. see a lot of the activists running around in these little towns. They go to the big cities and... You know what I mean? Well, where of they course. I mean, easy, more. easy pickings. But um, yeah. I, I do have a small, wise friends that that stated if you if you have a lawyer, big money is in small town America. You know, <laughs> you're yeah. going to get violated and you're going to get violated a lot. You know, yeah. yep. I'll give an example of that. That's like that piece of shit. Catch you later is right down the street here in Williston. Next town over from me. And the cop got out of the car and put the boots to him, you know? I mean, that's just how they are, you know? And yeah, uh, he, had a, he had a different name back then on YouTube. He put that video yeah. up after it happened. That's when yeah. we didn't know who he was. And I bet you a bunch of people probably shared his video and made money off of it. Hmm. But, of and, then, and then you got, uh, you know, other small towns, you know, like um, you don't even want to go to. That's like out there in Waldo, Florida, which used to be the speed trap capital of the world till they put everybody, including the mayor, in jail. Yeah, it's down the I road mean, from me. That's down the road from yeah. me. A little east of me, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, that's it's just you go to these small towns. Just look at Lady Lake. I mean, that's not that that's not a small town for here, but for anybody else, that's a small town. And look how they are there. You know, I mean, you just and these little small towns in Florida are fucking crazy. How many counties we got? Oh, and in your jurisdiction, you have nine counties under the District of Attorney. I mean, in Florida, where there's like... Oh, 67 counties. Yeah, that's a lot of counties, man. And every one of them is a tiny little shithole. Well, not all of them, but some of them down by Disney got a little bit more money and all, but, you know. But you get up like that one we was looking at the other day. Jackson County, we're like, where the fuck is Jackson County, you know? It's East Bumfucked Egypt, you know? <laughs> Very East Bumfucked Egypt. Yeah. yeah. It <laughs> might it might be on the same line of latitude, that's for sure. They busted a shitload of drugs out there in that little tiny county, though. Fuck yeah, what'd they get? They got five bricks off them off the rip. And they busted and 50, 50 people, 15 people. got like almost 50 guns. I forget how much cash they stole, and I forget what the drugs was. I think it was like a bunch of bricks of cocaine or something, wasn't it? It was like five five kilograms of uh, coca, and uh, like like there was fifty some people and like forty seven firearms seized. Cool. Someone wants that? to start a revolution, and that's hey, the back. That's that's in fucking nowhere. It was about to snow in Florida. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> they were going to make Florida hit the snow. There's enough snow to cover the whole state. Yeah. And a thin layer, two centimeters deep all over. Yeah. Even on the palm trees? <laughs> yes, sir. Even on the palm trees. <laughs> Got enough for all of them. Yeah. For all the tweakers. But I worry. Well, I wonder about, you know, 
like in Canada, they said that they're going to allow them to buy drugs from the pharmacist, which I think would slow the accidental death rate down. It ain't going to slow junkies down. You know, I mean, someone's straight out strung out on drugs. I, can't I will say this, that there are countries that have made all drugs legal. And um, the difference in uh, the actions of the afflicted of addiction is different because it cuts out the stealing stage for the drug, which hurts the society, and it turns them more into a uh, productive member under their own, uh, you know, in, in their own box of what they can do and what they can't do. And I've seen people that have been addicted for a very, very long time, like hardcore addicts that dealt with prostitution and a whole bunch of evil stuff that are working in office jobs and taking care of families and doing the right thing, but they still have the addiction. They come in in the morning, they get their either heroin or, or uh, methadone or whatever drug they choose, and they shoot it up there. It's all clean, new needles, and they get on with their life. And I must say, you know, to criminalize something, it's very easy. They're after the fucking Q-SIP numbers. They're, act, they're after the drugs. They're after the cash. Because it's a corporate been... entity that no, deals with all of this stuff. Either you have the corporation that captures the drugs. Mm -hmm. They bring it to the next guy in the chain. The CIA imports it. All, all commercial enterprises. All of them. Cat's here. She knows about the law yeah, in Canada. Yeah. Um, this is the thing. Go look at Colorado, uh, Mazanga. They just decriminalized um, psychedelic mushrooms. This is how I'm going to tell you. They want you drugged up, stoned, and this is your new pharma. If you've got a problem, so you go to Amsterdam. No, 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 second, no, no, second. Legal, you guys, you gave you guys me an example. Let's here. go example, example. You we have decriminalization of, of a lot of things over here. They've just taken it off. Otherwise, you're going to put everybody in jail. Yeah, but see, check well, us out. That's not the to... assumption that they make. This is what well, I'm no. saying. But plus, check it out. You're going to have to let it filter through. You can't go by the, the as soon as they make the law, it, a whole bunch of people might. Right. But drugs are like humor, PDF. Drugs are like humor. Either you no, laugh at everything over or here. you laugh at nothing. Hang you on a can't second. have Ms. it Sanga. halfway in anything. There are countries Sanga. all over the world. Mushrooms it's, have been legal in Amsterdam. Yeah, no I get that. I fucking you know, it's, get it's, it. I grew up with it, brother. What it yeah. is, it's about the children. And of course, now you're going to have... you no, have to, children don't have anything to really? do. They shouldn't be touching that. Yeah, absolutely. How many exactly. years? They shouldn't be touching that. Children. They shouldn't hey, touch it, but this is now we're going to have to look for people on psychedelic mushrooms. There's people out here that actually do their dosing Cat. Cat. Sounds like Cat. mass paranoia right there. Yeah. No, Cat. children have Pick nothing to up. do with anything. Hold up. I go pick you some mushrooms right now, eat them, and sit here and be high uh -huh. if I want to. They grow all over in Florida. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is the this time is of year. Mushrooms, though. Right. Yeah, that's, that's what they are. all over the world. Just this is the time the of world. year, the spring. It rains. You could have went out this morning and Mushrooms. walked up into the, into the cow field. Not about the, uh, it, it's statistics. What they're doing now is statistics, okay? But because you have to let so it tough. filter through. What I'm right. trying to say is just like what he's saying. After a few years goes by, it might take five years, but yep. you can't look at the statistics right now because they just legalized them and everybody's like a feeding frenzy all of a sudden. But once only, it settles yeah. down, you know, yep. and the it only will. statistic that should be looked at is single mothers raising children. That statistic should be looked at. Enough years have passed that we see the detriment to society that the breakup of families has led. But, oh, no, let's pick on drugs. Let's divide the people on, on menial, meaningless shit. We'll, like we'll say, oh, it's all for it's the kids, right. which it isn't. And kids should have parents to begin with. They shouldn't be fucking with that shit. And if they do legal yep. or illegal, it doesn't matter. Because I did it, everybody does it, and they so do how many they are want. fine with kids right now? Well, that's what about their the problem and that's society's problem that they don't deal with families. It's a commercial enterprise. It's a contract a man gets into. And if you, if you get a license from the state, that means it's forbidden. If you need a license, it means it's forbidden. You as a free man, nothing is forbidden. If you're a citizen, you got to ask permission. But yes, that's very a thing. We don't need licenses over here in, in Ontario or Canada. When well, they, that's a good thing then. If you, you don't need a marriage license, you don't go to City Hall, it. sign a we paper all to get married. against it because we watched it happen with Colorado pushing the shit out before See, even I, our legalization. She's talking about drugs. 
I'm saying, do you I'm need a marriage right license now. in Canada? Do you need a marriage license? Yes, you do. The... You need to also put it. So back you need in... a license. You need permission to do something that you don't need it's permission everything's to do. Everything's a clause. Finish. Exactly. Everything is a clause. No, uh, not I'm, to I'm, a free I'm, man. It isn't. I've been not with to a free my... man. It isn't. Plus, hey, you have I'm... to register that license when no, you when you go to the city hall. You have to register. The free man has a family Bible, and he writes the date in a family Bible of There's the marriage, a free woman who, of you know, births and deaths, at the end of the and day, that's this... the way a free man gets rid of his government. The hey, free man mine. does not ask his government for any permission. I'm sure your nope. your mom or your grandma has the the family bible and that's why the family bible has been such an important thing in that's I mean why the bible's not the spoken my house. I mean that's the one thing. I mean hey, we believe check it out. Our I've been with, spit. My girl and me been together, my lady and I, we've been together for over 40 years and we ain't exactly. signed no paper. We ain't signed no paper with no damn government. That's we knew when we was a kid. We knew when we was kid, the government was crooked. The and we government said, would look we're not it. signing up with their, their <laughs> illegal. I'm going to I'm gonna make a meme of PDF jumping a broom with his sweetheart. That's what I'm hey, going to do. We, never, we don't believe yeah. in signing up for a government to tell us that we're going to be together. And if you're here in the morning when I wake up, you must want to be. And if I'm here, that means I must want to be. Not because we signed a contract with the government. And mm -hmm. the best part of all this was, even when we were kids, we knew we have two lines of credit if we get married we only have one it one. just cuts our yeah. buying power in half so i had double the buying power that most people have had and still have my whole life married well, people only have half the buying power is what we have. again the whole equation would be that the government wants to take the top row of the pyramid and have the wife go through the government and the husband has to go through the government and it's plain and simple only the government you know, takes charge and they give you okay to do this and they give you a certificate of birth for your little birth baby, which they get another QCIP number, you know, and, and all this stuff is, is absolutely yep. ridiculous, you know, yeah, absolutely. We didn't want to sign up with that. We was like, even young, we said, no, I'm not signing up. Getting married is stupid. I don't understand it. Never did. What, they do it for their parents? <laughs> well, their parents, what's they that do it, They do? do it. I think they do it for the brainwashing because, again, since uh, the 40s, it's a lot of stuff has really changed. You know, even basic civilization as you know it. It used to be a republic. Now everybody's democracy. Demo Where the hell did that come from? You know? I want all my gifts back because every single person I know about got married. I gave nice gifts, and they all got divorced. And I think once they get yep. divorced, they should give all them they gifts give back. back. No, Either no, that no, or cash value and weed. Works. That's not how it works. Yeah. No, no, I'll no. take weed. Yes, yeah. weed. Yeah. Yeah. Weed will work. Yeah. 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 So no, no, no. I've been, I did it weed twice. Weed dot weed dot weed dot Donald. Well, you owe a lot of gifts back, Cat, if you did it twice. You owe some yeah. money. Wow. You can just pay us your representations. Yeah, I've been asking about today, and I see there's things. Of, there's ways around it. Tell me all that gold you got. I'll scrap it down here at the scrapyard, <laughs> and uh, we'll call it even for all them gifts you got from getting married twice up in there. Well, well, nobody got real man only house? makes a mistake once, yes. and he learns well, from it. We got Steve. He's out there working now, trying to make money yeah. up the pair. Yes. Yep, he, yep. He, Big that he accrued tonight. He accrued a big debt tonight. Yes. And and Kat tried to throw me under the bus. Did you see how she did me? She was backing over I me. I did, did. I did. And she couldn't wait to do it either. You yes, know, no you see how I changed, for nothing. Hey, did you see how I changed the subject? I blame Steve again. Straight up. I know you did. Up. I know you did because you want yeah. my gold. You want my fucking silver. You want the house. You want everything. So don't worry. I'm, work, I'm working <laughs> at it. Fuck sakes. It takes a while for somebody to die. All right. Well, get on it. Get on it. Who's out there? Hey, I'll take you too. Before, don't you forget, I got fucking lockers downstairs. I'm gonna put you all in it. You too, bad man. Let me tell you. Sure. Oh yeah. Hey, listen, nobody could do me worse and more dirty than my ex did. So hey, <laughs> you know, <laughs> go ahead, man. Now you're gonna call her the biggest bitch. You see, this I am. Is no, I don't call people names. That even like kind of, you know, I wouldn't want to talk about a bitch like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh, no, no, I'm very careful with my adorations. Absolutely, you know. 
I'm ditto, just gonna... ditto. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it, you know. <laughs> I believe it. If Steve was around, he'd say amen too, I'm sure. Yep. Even though he's, you know, responsible for all of this and so but much. You guys more. can be pricks as well. Yeah. I hate to tell you, you guys can be pricks and that's no, just a man where we is get... a man and a oh, woman yeah, should know that's her place. Where a diabolical woman will get you back when you're sleeping. No, hey. di- yeah. Well, yes, yeah, so that's what yeah. I'm thinking oh, yes, too. And, that, and that's the diabolical yes, woman that gets buried in the backyard and I can't grow carrots the next year because the bones are taken up the place. So it's okay. (laughs) It's okay. We all know our roles in life. My grandma taught me. My grandma taught me one thing. Listen, this is what my grandma taught me. If any guy laid a hand on me, sweetie, you just wait till he's sleeping and take a Louisville slugger or an iron cast pan. Fucking pop him over the head and make sure that your car is full. Take the kids, get the fuck out, and fuck him. That's how it works in my house. Yes. Yeah, well, after I That's lay a hand I on say, somebody, they generally are that. pretty incapable of doing anything else except, you really? know, working for their worm food and bu- bugging me out because I can't plant carrots. Hey, I ain't yeah. worried about that too much. Too many bodies about... in the garden. Too many bodies in the garden, yeah. honey. Hey, I'm, I'm thinking of it like this. I'm laying there in the bed sleeping after working hard all day. She come in here and starts smacking me upside the head with a fry pan. I did a damn thing wrong. That's the, what, what I'm worried about. What That's the, the scariest shit. That's the scariest shit. When I didn't do it. I don't know. what that, Oh, yeah. I, I dreamt last night that you looked at her funny. I'm like, oh, uh-huh. man. Oh, man. One of those days I'm going to be having today. I'm over yeah, there you cowering in the it. corner. I'm yeah, cowered in the corner it. saying, please no. stop. What did I do? <laughs> Can I have some eggs in that pan before you kill me, honey? No. <laughs> Is that yeah. this time or did I miss What about a last breakfast? meal, you know, for the convicted man? What about the man? grease in the pan? You see, I'm just so nasty that way. I would throw yeah. the grease and fucking the whole pan at you. And you I would very, stop. very, very <laughs> probably. I know how mean okay. that is. Right. I mean, that's in a real bad situation. There you After go. After that folks. comment, you're going to have to stick two more rings in the bag that you're about to mail. <laughs> you're going to give me a oh, you want to give me a yellow card. Penalty. Oh, yeah. potato <laughs> salad. That's, that's like, that's like the, salad. the cuss that jar. Dry. Yeah, that that's was the cuss baby. jar there for sure. <laughs> cuss jar. Yeah, oh, PBS yeah, cuss jar. Glad. Coming soon to to a YouTube channel near you. Yeah. Hey, PDF, come up. on. I'm, I'm bankrupt already. What did I do now? <laughs> really, That's right? Okay. Blue steel. Here, honey, here's my check. You know, all right. Salad God today. damn it. Yeah, I've never <laughs> believed in a cuss jar because I've always gone by the motto that, you know, if you got a dirty mouth, you have to have a certain amount of intellectual knowledge to be able to use the cuss words, you know, relevantly. Yeah, they, yeah, they got to fit know. in. Not you like got to fit in. You got to be able to make stuff up on the fly. That means you have a talent for kind of stand up kind of stuff. So hey, you know, I don't. I don't think the dick fuck thing kind of fits in. It don't work <laughs> that way. Fuck. I'm just saying. No, it doesn't. It's like, the you know. It's, a, it's a noun and a verb. Come on, man. Dick fuck what? Come on, let's go. Let's and that go. guy thinks he going to troll the trolls, and he yeah. comes up with it like, dick fuck, what the hell? I mean, come on, dude. You got to do better than that. I should yeah. teach him how to cuss. That's what I should do. Nah, I can't give them secrets away to them youngins, man. You got to uh, let them a, learn, bro. It's got to come natural, man. Yeah, yeah. It's That's got to come natural. That's the thing. That was the real young I started weeping. When I heard dick fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny, though, if it's intended it as an insult. I'm like, okay, mine does. Uh, what, what about it? You know, I don't get it. Like, okay. <laughs> like, he says, you. And he couldn't think of nothing. Then he comes out with dick fuck. <laughs> <laughs> would have been even better if, if, if he stuttered. If, if, if he stuttered, man. <laughs> d- 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 dick f- fuck. It took me a long time to think about that one. Yeah, yeah. Three weeks I, in the I making. I believe he's a veteran too. Yeah, he I, I he, believe he, that was a veteran too, right? He said he was I, a medic, I think. Yeah. Well, yeah. Medics have always he been strange, I'll tell you life. that. And uh, then there was the angry veteran. He's, he's a vet. And uh, I don't yeah, know if Tats either. is or not. I think Tats is too, supposedly. I don't know. But anyway. I just well, that's him. That's the trolled auditor guy. He's the one said he was a medic, but he all he could come up with in the heat of battle was do 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 dick fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I say that word all the time. <laughs> I 
I like that. Dun, the way dun. you put that out there, dude. That was funny. Do, 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 do. Uh, can I have a D? Is there is there a D? <laughs> I hope Terry and me here is all I can tell y'all. Hey, Leslie. Leslie. Hello, Leslie. Leslie. It's Steve's fault, Leslie. Whatever happened today, <laughs> it's Steve's fault. Ohio if you, Steve. If, yeah, right. Really, if you're joining us late, we had a nice interlude, but yeah, Ohio Steve is responsible for this today's is the guy. show. He is responsible. <laughs> <laughs> We got the clip. <laughs> oh, oh, hell yeah. Oh, I'm going to ask you for a link later, man. I'm going to be posting this, too. <laughs> I mean, dude, dude, I mean, all in all, this is one for the record books. I'm really happy that you decided to make this mistake, you know? <laughs> hey, I, I fuck up and do right every once in a while. But it's very, Straight very up, man. <laughs> uh, hey, man. I'll try showing up more. You know what I mean? Man, yeah. <laughs> you Because know, I've been known to fuck up pretty good to myself. So, I don't know. I kind of think we make a pretty good team today. It worked out well. <laughs> Success, well, both sir. Of, both of us were like WTF. And I ain't saying welcome to Florida, <laughs> neither. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what great minds think alike. What can I tell you, man? What can I tell you? Because like you said, a lot of people really believed it. You know what I mean? They really believed it. The only it. reason I got wrapped up in it and started to look, I'm like, look, and people are like, you know, oh, my God, pray. pray. I'm like, what, pray? You know, how about a telephone call or something? Check if the guy's okay, you know? Pray. And I was like, damn, they said Chuck Bronson popped in there and then said, oh, well, see you. And went back to his room. <laughs> God damn, Chuck. Yeah. They going to leave him hanging like that. Really? He's like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I'd rather drive around. Yeah. yeah. yeah have, have good luck. <laughs> yeah. See you later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you well, get out of eventually. You'll be all right. <laughs> you yeah. sound hey, different. listen, they got to learn somehow, right? Those youngins. <laughs> yeah. He's on his own now. What's that? <laughs> Your ocean gate. They found debris. Hold on. Oh, no. Yes, they did. Debris. What do you know? My TV. I they told you it would pop. Debris. I told you. What it did I tell you? I said that sucker. 377. Yeah, come on. The way I saw them make it ain't no way in hell. I yes, mean, it might have lasted four trips. That was a disaster waiting to happen. You can't do high technology with Home Depot. Sorry. You might be able to do a bit of chem lab, but you ain't doing high technology. No. Yeah. Like Blue said, he jumped out of planes. He said he ain't no way in hell. He went down in that damn thing. Yeah. Well, the, the kind of, from what I understood, they didn't have any choice, you know? They're locked in from the outside. So even if you did pop up, they still had to find you before you choked to death. Wow, yeah. Yeah. And they can't I mean, just bring you up real fast either. They can't bring you up at all. Nothing is attached to the uh, submersible device. This is the thing. So I'm, I'm my estimation, if they're finding debris, it popped, and it probably popped they found when they lost communication stuff. after the first hour, if I'm not mistaken. They lost communication, and that's um, enough, man. That's enough being an hour deep. Forget it. Two and a half miles. Well, I mean, if, if, you're, if you think about it, if I'm not mistaken, it's at 35 meters, your gas is better change or you're going to die. You know, so and that's not far. Thirty-five meters underwater, it's not that far. No. I just think it takes you sinking about an hour. It doesn't really matter how far it is. You ain't getting up and yeah, squish. I call the, the ocean internal space, you know? More yeah, people yeah. have more people have been to the moon technically or in space space than have really figured out what goes on under the water. Don't you remember the movie The Abyss? That was like that water creature in in that uh laboratory or something like that, right? In that underwater right? Or not? Are you talking about the same kind of fish from... I'm asking. I don't remember the title, but it had like a water creature or some kind of thing in it. Didn't it? Or was this another abyss? No, I remember the movie. 
from the 80s or late 90s, The Abyss. Oh, I don't remember what the title was. My head don't work like that. It's it's more baby. scenario built. Like, you know, PDF gave me a title of somebody, and I'm like, I don't know who that is. And then he started, oh, yeah, I uh, uh, was with his mother, and he got shot by the police. I'm like, oh, yeah, that I remember. Yep. I didn't remember his name, but I remember the situation. Jimmy Henley, Jimmy Henley, teenager, See, and, and PDF remembers the situation and remembers the name. There you go. I carved his mama a stick. Yep. A walking stick, too. It was cool. I had a frog with a gator head, and the frog was wrapped around the gator's head at the bottom of his neck. That's she had all cool. the stuff she wanted me to put on there. I put his name on there, uh, his sports, something, maybe a sports number, um, I put a bunch of stuff on it. Oh yeah, you showed us the stick. She a got to carry ago, it, right? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. probably it's on my face, but she carried it to every court um, proceeding she went to because she went oh. to a bunch of them. It's taken years. I heard the other day that might have finally been settled, like out of court settlement type of thing. I'm not sure. Um, I just heard that because I haven't really mm. talked to her since then. But every once in a while, she comes in the room, and says hi, and. Oh. Uh, but it's a battle, man. And they, that was some where your kid gets killed. So yep. if they're going to fight this hard against us with just holding a camera, just yep. imagine how her battle was. You know what I mean? Fight for her kid's life that they tried to blame the kids for being on drugs. And then we go back to Kat's thing where these kids are going to be on drugs. Yep. They, are, they are already, already are, sorry, I'm just watching about. Are they, going to shoot, are they going to start shooting the kids yeah, in Canada? We is know, that what we're going to see next year? They do that in the Philippines. They do that in South America. They they shoot uh, exactly. drug users and stuff like that. Yeah, it's the yeah. easy way to get rid of them. Mm -hmm. Twelve were found dead in Mexico City yesterday. They all had needles in their arms. Yeah. Uh, yep. They had superhuman strength. <laughs> we had to electrocute them with the 220. Fuck that. <laughs> Tasers do nothing. Hey, but in Mexico, you see how them mamas, the, the females, the older ladies in Mexico, they'll walk up with a cup and throw gas and the other lady will lick a cup on fire yep. down there yep. in Mexico. I was like, God dang. Yeah, they got to. People are crazy. People are absolutely crazy all over. And the government wants to rule whether you want them to or not. Now, the question is, is that Steve's fault or not? It's anybody's fault that will accept the blame. <laughs> line up, people. Line up. Yeah. I agree with that. Oh, um, big Terry, elemental. He makes videos that make the young girls cry. <laughs> Does he really? <laughs> Does he really, Terry? You know, like I write the songs to make the young girls cry. Uh, yeah, I, I got that. I got that. Yeah, I hear yeah. it in my head. You didn't have to do that now. It's never going to go away. Hey, that was a phone call. Thank you for, thank you for greeting me affected. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, listen, you don't have to hit me with a brick, you know. Big Elemental says, just so you know, poor dirt farmer. Emo, a.k.a. Emo Howling Wolf, was told yesterday on his stream about you letting Joni Rotten badmouth him yesterday, and he is pissed. For one, Joni Come did on not. Come down. Joni didn't badmouth him, did she? I don't remember that no. part. It must have been something that some hey, troll made up. When you're emo size, this is the size of your bladder. Yes. He is a short little pipsqueak, ain't he? Pipsqueak. <laughs> yeah. I haven't heard that one in a while. It's like a uh, our gang reference. How you doing, yeah. pipsqueak? Fine, but Spikey. His, hey, his husband's like six foot seven. I'm just his saying. Husband. <laughs> <laughs> He's like four foot tall, and his husband's six seven. There might be some advantages to being his husband. <laughs> you know, I think uh, hey, 
Does Does Emo have a flat head? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> third grade <laughs> he's on first <laughs> it's big enough if he is flat his head's big enough you can sit your beer and an ashtray and, on that motherfucker and an ashtray <laughs> <laughs> oh man taking I us back doing more damage. I think we're doing more damage than Johnny Rotten did I was just asking for a friend. <laughs> Nothing personal <laughs> behind it. Didn't mean anything nasty. Yeah, I don't yeah. even know who you guys are talking about. I'm just shits and giggles, man. I'm the news guy. I just asked them kind of questions. Just asking That's the it. questions, right? The most correct questions for the situation. Where you at, Emo? Bring your little salt off ass up in here. We'll slap you around a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> What do they call that? Um, there's a game that they play tetherball. Yeah, tetherball. Remember the good old days <laughs> yeah, of tetherball? That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He'll be the I've... fucking ball. We'll tie him to the rope. <laughs> <laughs> Hang him off the pole and start swinging him around. <laughs> yeah. yeah, quick a game before lunch, man. <laughs> we can use a little plastic bat or something. That way we don't hurt our head. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, oh, he wasn't man. talking all that shit, though, damn, when he was standing there toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Well, he wasn't toe-to-toe. -to -toe. He was like, well, he was, you know what I'm saying. But either way, he was down there. <laughs> Forehead to belly button, more like it. But, yeah, I get it. Short. How short he was, was he? Man, he was short. When he used to. Hey, if he was toe-to-toe, -to -toe, you wouldn't have seen him. You'd have been looking at the yeah. top. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Let me put my belly aside, little man. Yeah. He lived in so Florida. So if anybody huh? has Emo's phone number, I'll call him on my welfare <laughs> phone, and uh, I'll ask him if his refrigerator is running because those that know about the refrigerator. Oh, my friend <laughs> DJ Joker loves that joke. It's a classic. We do that often. Uh, well, the old refrigerator well, ruse. <laughs> well, um, Emo has a certain YouTube relationship to a dono refrigerator, and um, yes, yes, he never paid for it. Lady Di, I'll remember just the lady fire on him if you want me to. If you have, if someone can pass along, I might number. have it. Hey, I might have it. But <laughs> 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 the evil laugh, rubbing of the hands, and then we take over the world. <laughs> Somebody might have just sent it to me. I'm just saying. I don't know. It's just, it's just <laughs> a little. Names. It's just a little anthill effect, and you can. Uh, like like the butterfly effect, but it's on yeah. an anthill. Anthill. <laughs> yes, definitely. On you squish George. Our lives will never be the same. Ah, the anthill effect, huh? Hey, he just lives across the swamp from you, right there, Blue. Really? Yeah, he lives right down. He used to, unless he packed up, and moved out. But did he, he talk to the chief there. before he moved in? He he lived. He moved down here about a year or so back. Or so it's been a while. He moved right down here. I know where he lives. I got his address, everything. I could pull up on him if I wanted to. Where's my weed at? I'm like smoking smoking joint, you little pipsqueak motherfucker. Yeah, right. talking shit on the internet. <laughs> got to put my, if he puts my name, tell him if he puts my name in the title and say he'll get more views. I'm just saying. Yeah. All my haters will pop in there. They'll love him. Yeah. They'll love him a long time. Yeah, you and, you said Emo, that last week. That was funny, though. You said that last Emo, week. All they got to do to get some views is put my name in the title. Yeah, yeah. All my haters yeah. will love you in there. Boy. That's just funny. Emo, Save if you're name. listening, we are uh, renting out the usage of the poor dirt farmer, especially yeah. since he only goes live whenever he wants to. But exactly. for yeah. dono dot dono, he'll make special appearances on your panel. Yes, all the proceeds go to Blues About page dono dot dono dot dono dot net. Sunday, <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, the one and only indomitable dirt farmer. Yes, you can have the dirt farmer today for discussion purposes only. You can cuss me out all day long for the price is right. <laughs> you know, you should you should have like a, a little swimming pool with one of them knockdown boards and have them throw virtual <laughs> tennis balls at you to, to yeah. cool you down some. Yeah, it is hot down here. That's a good yeah, idea. Exactly that day, listen, I was yeah. thinking I saw the river coming out of your uh, driveway and stuff like that and all the rain. 
you that know what? Does a swimming bit. pool talk to you at all? You know, you can make like a gator <laughs> farm and, you know, alternate ways of making a buck kind of thing. Might be interesting, though. You don't need to give okay, Terry Dolphin any ideas. <laughs> I want to show my concept. Okay, it involves subsonic sonic, a wind dummy, and we'll get a wind machine, and y'all donate to get the RPMs of the wind machine up to see how much actual force it takes to blow subsonic tonic, the wind dummy, off the top of poor dirt farmer's roof. Yes, that's a good idea. <laughs> Wait a minute. Am I going to be the one in the chair? No, subsonic oh. tonic. Okay, good. I thought that was going to be me. I'm glad. I don't want to be subtonic tonic. That's all I was checking on. <laughs> I'm back in. How much are we making again? That's all I, when do I get paid? How much and when do I get paid? That's the only two questions I got. Plus that goddamn free t-shirt. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Where's Joe Black? I'm He'll donate make the black. shirt. YouTube yeah. takes dirt cut. <laughs> you want a sharecropping model of YouTube. Maybe we'll get Mad Max to step up and make the shirts. Max, you're elected. Otherwise, it's your fault. Other than that. <laughs> Next up to bat, yeah. yeah. That's, well, well, we don't Max have Steve been to blame. seen running from the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> run, Max, run. Save yourself. <laughs> too late for me. Yeah. I'm enjoying myself too much. I've developed too many bad habits to stop. I'm sorry. Oh uh, yeah. Much hey, like alcoholism, not telling the truth is not the thing to do. You know? I was sent here to piss people off, I think. Somebody told me I was good at it, so I said, Well fuck, I might as well do what I'm good I at. I don't know, man. I, I don't I've never been pissed off by you. I think you're very um smart, intelligent, witty, and I enjoy your take on many a subject. Other than maybe Mexican immigration <laughs> through the border, but that we could talk about. And yeah. I don't get it, man. It takes a lot of energy to hate somebody. And like, why would you even do that? You know? Hey, what are they saying about a lot of people that came across the border allegedly that Biden hired? Is there something? I don't know. Going I, I think like something also. So I saw an article about Chinese. Like I, I, I'm against borders, against flags, and yeah, come on, man. Uh, America, yeah. melting pot. Everybody learned that shit. So yeah, it's you know, I wouldn't want to live where they live, to be honest. And if the system is so corrupt, what does it really matter? You know, because well, hey, our system's almost that corrupt. They just hide it better. But if their system is that bad, that means their people are, are allowing it. So they are, in return, close to just as bad, if not. So if they bring their system and their people here, they're going to make our system like theirs that they left was. Because that's all I, they know. I, I actually have a little retort for that. But their system, unlike your system, absolutely will kill them in large masses with nobody saying anything and their system is like your system because your system runs their system exactly. so appropriate it's the same yep. system but one is the the citizenry is reaping much more abuse than on the other side of that little fence and they make it a fence so again the opinion of them coming in or not will divide the people much as like the um um political names that they assign to themselves and are so proud of that it means something which it really doesn't but it only divides you that much more yeah you know? and so, then that's a whole new set of free prisoners just think they're going to fill up all these again uh, these are more well. qsip numbers that if you come through legally your um your your name is an investment in the system literally and technically and uh, again, the QSIP numbers and the stocks and the bonds and the money that the government makes with your legal fiction is absolutely ridiculous. Because again, they're getting paid money from the monetary fund and the international bank for births and deaths and all that stuff that's going on. It's like a big gambling game to them. And, and the, the government federal doesn't government, invest in a loser, you know, because the they want to make their money. Hey, the feds have a number. For what if you make more than a cert less than a certain number, you live in poverty. But yep. they give the veterans and the disabled people way less than poverty. Well, I could talk to you from that aspect because I am both. Yes, and I know. I watch I, it around everywhere. It's I, I mean, look at Louis Steele. He's a veteran. Barely, 
and I have to do things that people shouldn't really have to do, especially um, yeah. with the uh, past and, and and all that stuff, you yeah. know. But they don't care. And again, the the rude awakening came quite a long time ago, and um, yeah, very interesting story. How it, but I'm saying, yeah, people have to understand who they are, what their government thinks they are, and if the government is mistaken, you are obliged to do your best to fix the mistake on your level. Well, hey, the government pays uh, people to to give housing to veterans, disabled veterans. And Blue Steel gets uh, that type of housing. Well, the government gave Blue Steel a raise, so the housing went up on their price for the rent. Yep. Yep. Now, the government has to pay more money to this housing authority than they were paying. Yep. Well, why they even give the fucking raise then? So that they can put more money in their pockets. It ain't. It's all about veterans. their money because they probably get the money. That you're obliged in a certain way. You signed the contract, and that's the way it goes. The government that's, feeds the government. Yep. But how do you, you you can't stop it because you know there's no way people can even have a place to live the way the system set up. I agree now. with that. I mean, you okay, can look at the case girls, in California. Check this out. Check this out. I got a meeting with the director of the HUD bash at the. Uh, I don't, don't, even, don't even say it because if you say it, they're going to try to call and fuck you up. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, I like well, it. Say it <laughs> Look at that smile. <laughs> You're a sick man. I like that. <laughs> okay, so um, I left out of here. I recertified 7 June, right? I live on Section 8, what they call HUD Bash, Housing Urban Development, VA subsidized housing. And uh, Alachua County Housing Authority. Uh, disseminates the funds. However, I've tried to order this uh, grant, you know, from uh, Genesis to Nexus and see how it's, you know, how it goes out, you know, it's dispersed. But anyway, those, those are unknowns to me. But um, I just want to say, I left out of here on 7 June, right? For, on Monday morning, I had uh, like a nine o'clock appointment to recertify. I brought my documents, right? All right. So, this my when I left out of here, my rent was eight fifty. That's what the HUD allowable is for a one bedroom in Gainesville, Florida. All right. When when I went there, I was all completed. I was rotted off the range as you know successful, and so I'm done. Right. Every, all, every, all things on my part. The only thing I have to do is open my door on the twenty seventh of June for an inspection. All right. When I left out of here, my rent was eight fifty. They sent me a letter in the mail stating my rent is nine fifty. Well, my land, everybody around me's rent, all the normal people. Now there's thirty of us that live here. There's like a hundred and forty units or something like that. All right, there's thirty of us that live here. Everybody that's normal, their rent's nine fifty. And this company does a great thing for us by letting us live here, and also, um, keeping the rent low because we, after a certain amount, we're, we have to pay over that, right? So, um, $950, they called back and said to my landlord, oh, mind you, the sheet that I had this information on was a sampling. How many units in this affair, What what is the base rent for them? Compare and contrast to what you're charging the client. All right. So they, they refer that. So they seen that the rent was not fifty. They call back to my landlord and say, look, you can't do that. Now, they've been doing that all this time because I got their records. You know what I'm saying? But they call back and they say, look, you can't do that. you got to charge them the same price you're charging everybody else. You can't charge them. That don't even make fucking sense. And that is just one angle that they play in the money game. Our rent's paid for 100%. You know what I'm saying? The government don't not pay my rent. That all that money that they want me to pay now, I pay two seventy nine now. Uh, at eight fifty, they want me to pay three three oh four at nine fifty. The schematics don't even make sense. You can work the formula now. I, I'm not a mathematician, but I've been to college, so you might even say I have a, a minor uh, or emphasis in mathematics. You know. And so I can, you know, uh, work simple algebra, 
uh, equations and formulas. Now, none of their shit adds up. A, a third or 30% or 30, 33 and a third or any formula that you can work up, and I'm not the only one. And there's nothing uniform across the board. Like, just like my best friend, who was one of my soldiers back in the Airborne, okay, he, he lives just like I do. He gets the same pension I do. He lives right across town in the same quarter. His rent's 800 instead of 850 He only pays $183 out of his check. I pay at 850 I pay 279 It don't make no sense. And that's nope. and there's about 500 of us. And if you clip every one of us for 100 or like they charge us even rent, 279 times 500 that's how much money they're making off of us a month. It's crazy. Plus... Uh, you can't tell me the government sends eight fifty on my behalf. They send a thousand, you know, so they don't have any stop gaps and all that shit. And they're getting all that too. But I'm gonna bust them out. And to Monday, I'm going to. Um, they're mandated whenever you have to report fraud. Whenever you report fraud, they're mandated to take a report of survey. And so I'm meeting with them <laughs> Monday. That's interesting. I would think that you would run it down by uh, public records request to see actually like what was going on with the money and okay, all that uh, stuff. I feel so TG 4.0 just called the jail. They're playing stupid saying sci-fi isn't there. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> That's what happens when you come in late. Come on, call he's him, been call him. He's been Keep here. on calling. Keep hey, on calling. He's been here the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him fool you. Don't <laughs> let him fool you. <laughs> I know. I, I, I just I saw them uh, quite a bit earlier, and uh, might, yeah, I might still say it's funny. Yeah. I still think it's funny, man. I loved it. I loved it. Hey, I'll show you some other shit. This is sure. from 2015. Okay, I found out they were running game on me, right? Because you know, I. I I'm a vet, and I talk to other vets all the time, right? And and my my best friend is, and so I I was having to pay two hundred and sixty three dollars a month rent, and and two and one in two thousand and fifteen, right? So I found out like how things kind of work, you know, and took a random sampling of people I knew's rent, you know, just on this program, and uh. I went down there and, and, and I stood on her neck and I got my I got all my money back from them and they ended up lowering my rent from two sixty all the way down to one hundred and seventy. How much does the law permit them to raise your rent every year? Because again, not uh, much. Not much. Well, They're all again, like I'm points. saying. You could start a new revolt, man. You could be the first. Say, uh-uh. And so, now, this is not a government, this is not a government agency. It's it's quasi-government, quasi-private, uh, okay? And they, they don't really have oversight. Now, the Gainesville Housing Authority, they carried them off the prison, the last leadership. All right. So yeah, but um, oversight is granted in the contract that they have with the federal government that yeah, everything they, they has they oversight like that. that. They have a board. Okay. So, um, this is what they do. I have the bookkeeping ledger that's handwritten. It doesn't match the actual payouts and payments and all this shit. <laughs> and if you have a bookkeeping area, that's catastrophic. If that's what you handle as figures, you know what I'm saying? You're dispersing funds. But their shit don't match up. No way. There's no... Ref I, I actually... Now, we don't have... I don't have no special and get investigative powers, you know? But you, you have to just, you know, be stupid and act stupid and all this. Stuff. But I got them all the way, you know? Oh, fuck that. He's in a swimming pool. Swanee's coming to visit. Damn. That's a lot of liquid.
But that's the scams that they run on us and y'all's tax money. We got more coming. Man, that looks nice. Man, that looks nice. One of these days, PDF. One of these days. Way down on the Swanee River. Yup. I like your river walks and that bridge always freaks me out and stuff. Yeah, good stuff, man. Yeah. The water comes Living. up and you can't walk down there when the water comes up. There's nowhere to walk. And mm -hmm. as much rain as we've been getting... And we get our water comes up when it rains in Georgia, and Georgia's been getting a shitload of rain too. So our river comes up here when we get rain. The river comes up further south, you know. The yeah. less, so, but this time the water went down there; it didn't even come in my driveway. Yeah, I see that. You could still see where it did come in your driveway. <laughs> yeah, and then Sandra thought when the Terry Golson video of the river and the van floating away. She thought that was my driveway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit was so funny. You did a sci-fi, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's genius. He's going to be a legend one of these days. <laughs> TT 4.0, man. Whoa, did you see that? That was a hell of a lightning bolt. I don't know if they've seen that. Come on, you guys. Let's go. I'll just go that's stand under a tree. The other one that woke you up today morning. That Boom. Yeah, that shit was loud, boy. We get them so loud, my whole house shakes. Oh. I was out here looking around earlier to see if uh, um, a tree was laying over or something somewhere because it was so loud yesterday. It, it lightning and thundered at the exact same time. So That's something pretty close, freaking guys. close. Yeah. 300 meters a second. You know that. Yeah. Or pee -wee. Struck okay. by lightning, Teresa. Morning, Pee Wee. Morning, Pee Wee. I don't see no trees there. I thought they would be one laying down. I thought this big one over here be done fell down on my old truck over there. I'd really been crying. <laughs> Especially on the old truck. Yeah, my old four. I'll let it rot into nothing, but I don't want to see it. I understand that. I, I had an old uh, vehicle too, rotted into nothing, but it's like, yeah. yeah it was mine. It's one day, for. one day, and that day doesn't come because, you know, it's more convenient yeah. to get a newer vehicle and, like, not deal with that. Yeah, I went and got a Toyota, man. Yeah, I uh, Yep. Yeah. I went and got the old beater Dodge to tote the... I put me a door on it, a Durango door on a Dakota truck. So. Yeah. I got my pink polka dot plants for Cat. <laughs> I had one plant out here. And look at them now. They're everywhere. I threw out a dead wow. plant. She went and bought her one, but hers aren't pink. Hers are white dots. Mine are pink. Mm. Pink polka Does dot. smell good? I don't think so. I don't get too That's close to them. That's a Canadian knockoff. <laughs> well, they were grown all the way out to here. The cat <laughs> pissed me off one day, and I pulled up all the weeds and it, where it's all sand. That used to be these pink polka dots, but she had me so upset, I started pulling weeds. And yeah, I all my pink polka dots. So that's <laughs> not quite as far as it used to go. So I'm blaming Cat on that one. Crafty Cat. Oh, sweet. She's the yeah, one. That Steve had has enough me. responsibility on his shoulders today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we gotta let him slide a little bit. But yeah. Not much. Not yeah. Much yes, sir. Is he still here? Yep, it's still here. He, it's his fault. Yep. Uh, volunteering for the service, sir. Thank you, sir. May I please have another? Yes. And um, he will never let sci-fi live it down either, so. Oh, get to I'll do that my best, one. that's for sure. Yes, that whenever we see him, we will remind him yeah. forever. <laughs> <laughs> 500 word composition, sci-fi. Yeah. That and reparations <laughs> to the rest of humanity, yes. Yes, forever. Never, ever, ever. <laughs> Never, ever, ever. <laughs> and um, when all else fails, we can blame it on the Cyrax and Philly. <laughs> True that. Either that or Ohio Steve. Yep. Wide-shouldered Ohio Steve. Yes. And um, don't forget, we also have Max to blame. But don't tell <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll keep it secret. Yes, the data miner. He is definitely the one that's got to be the culprit. <laughs> Don't tell <laughs> Cat Crafty Cat because she'll throw us under the bus. She tried to. Oh, get absolutely. It. One must be cautious. Did you see how she did me? But I was slick, man. I threw the blame on Steve so fast. I said, hey, it was I vi Steve did it. It was his fault. He had lost track of me. You could yeah, tell that you're a man of, uh, you know. Of skill, having yeah. been through that much before being married for forty years, I'm <laughs> sure you have your game down, sir. You are still alive. Yes, and uh, she didn't bear me out back because she didn't make me dig my own hole. I know how she is. Not only that, she wouldn't have complained about the carrots the next year. Yes, for sure. Oh, that Man. PDF! I blame him. I haven't eaten carrots in four years, <laughs> taking up all the room in the garden. I swear. Yeah, and then Crafty Cat won't have no carrots to put in her potato salad. Yep, or or feed to the uh, guinea pig. She puts it in her potato salad. I don't ever people doing it. that carrots and peas in there. That's a German kind of thing that 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 I've seen that done. Oh, she's Canuck. Well, but there again, there were English, German, French all through there, she's and they stayed German mostly French, French, but they believed in the Queen. So yeah. you know, yeah, she's controlled by the Queen. We never knew. Now it explains it. She tried to say her cat was from Texas. That made her from Texas. <laughs> I don't understand how these people think out here. I'm really getting uh, all confused. <laughs> Where you at, cat? <laughs> it's definitely, a, definitely a, we have to write this down because I'm going to forget. If I, don't write <laughs> I know. They listen, I, I got the clip. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, the clip will outlive us all. <laughs> yeah, they're chopping and putting it back together as we speak. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can't wait, man. I'm always I'm always in the mood for a good edit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, I'm always in the mood. I like to laugh. I don't laugh enough. <laughs> this was funny. Yeah. <laughs> No, he Matt. didn't set you up. He just, like, lay it down. No setup involved. PDF doesn't set people up. We're blaming Steve today, Max. You yeah, to... today is Steve's day. Ohio Steve. Make sure we get it right, too. Ohio <laughs> Steve. <laughs> right yeah. down here. Right? <laughs> this guy. And we're trying to call um, a Wisconsin... Um, Shenanigan, shenanigan. shenanigan wisconsin the shenanigan pd is shenanigan county shenanigan wisconsin yes yeah, that's what we're calling now terry's trying to get a hold of him <laughs> they're trying to say sci-fi is not there and we know he is we watched the clip <laughs> give up our sci-fi <laughs> now bad <laughs> we need help Max, we need help. They are trying to hide sci-fi from sci us. <laughs> really fucking aliens. They're trying uh, to hide them? Yes, the aliens got him last night. We watched it live. Steve, <laughs> uh, I've seen the aftermath. Yes, yes, Ohio Steve woke me up and told me to make a video quick. We got to rescue sci-fi. Yes. And so, oh, shit, now he's trying to find it all day. He did the lassie. It's lassie. Uh, Billy's stuck in the well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're worried about the probing for him. Yes, um, it's probably too late. They probably it, already probed him. I might have, I might have heard the bird singing and him grunting for a while there. I think yes. it must have been during the probing. Damn it, man. Oh, hold on. Let me breathe, dude. Oh, man. Hey, do breathe, you think they, do you think they gave him a free Bud Light first? Well, that's, that's how they nah. opened him up. They, just, they gave him a kiss can. on the forehead after. They cut the can on both sides, stuck that up first. That's how they probed him. Yes. We have one more fact that we came up with today, too, uh, we might want to share. Um, tomorrow, Joni Rotten wants to me to go on her panel and ask me some serious questions about good, fun stuff because we're just regular people. So you might want to hang out with us tomorrow. Who knows what she's going to put me through. I feel bad for me already. But look what Steve <laughs> <did today. laughs> <laughs> now I can't wait. If you feel what? bad for you already, fuck, I'm there, bro. What time you is know? this supposed to be? I don't know, 12 o'clock maybe or something. But do you know who Joni Rotten is? I mean, look into the name here. Joni Rotten. And I got to go answer her questions tomorrow. Oh, shit. 
I don't know what. Well, I'm j- just for you, I'd be willing to to take a, a gander, but on a general basis, anything higher than a baritone, I just don't like to listen to. Yes. Well, yeah. yes. That's all right. Just let me know because I'll make sure. Isn't I that politically all. correct? Yeah, I'm really <laughs> proud of myself, man. Well, what, <laughs> I'm rotten. What do you think I'm of Trump troll? What do you think of troll chum or chum troll? <laughs> oh, <yeah>. oh, Trump. <laughs> you talking about dick fuck? <laughs> oh, I'm sure he'll be there. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> dick fuck. Well, I was just texting uh, Music Biz Marty, and he's sending me a lot of links about uh, their t- that tonic. Tonic yeah, boy. Sure. I didn't know tonic boy. Holy shit, tonic. Yes, yes. Share me the links. I will definitely yes, have them. I will definitely share them. And he is. Yeah, we'll oh, I, yeah, I don't. I don't care to know anything. I'm. I'm happy where I am. Yeah. I thought I was too until. No, I don't. I don't participate easily in stupidity yeah. and let it ride. I'm not. Deep, I'm. Deep. I'm not calm and cool and collected like PDF is. <laughs> yes. Well, you have to be. You got to listen to both sides, right? Oh uh, no, I, I have my side, and I don't care. Yeah, yeah. no. I can see through a chopped up clip job. Straight up, man. Yeah, and these ain't <laughs> no, you're not the only job, one, sir. These are four hours long. Oh no, we're gonna fast forward on that. There's a yes. You got to go through a little bit just to get to the good parts. Yes. Well, time stamp the good part like a good man. Oh, we will. You don't <laughs> think I do that? Come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. For we means, my good man. For. Hey, we have people that troll obituaries. Yes. I don't know where they can come <laughs> from, but they have actually... Obituary troll post. Yes, <laughs> it's time for the troll post on the obituary. That's some dark shit right there, man. Welcome oh, to the dark us. side. They said, what kind of friends you got that troll obituaries? I said... The kind that troll obituaries. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Self-explanatory, I will say. That's all I figure. That's the kind we got. I don't know why. I mean, I they wonder just, who uh, would be that bad to troll an obituary page. Yes. Well, someone gave us all that information. So we're definitely someone out there that definitely found the information. Now, that's a researcher. How many people can dig down into your great-grandmother's grandfather's obituary and come out with this fucking poof? Yeah. Listen, that's a good one. That's a job well done. Troll we are, uh, diploma yeah. given. You know, it's that called would a think- be a troll. Hey, it's called a think tank. Yes, <laughs> they would need a think tank. Yes, absolutely. That's what we have. Yes, that's but the have. think tank needs funding because we want to do a DNA <laughs> yeah. target it's, test, it's and so we need PDF. one DNA sample from that group. <laughs> Yes, we need a DNA sample. So we need sixty-five dollars. Uh, Twenty-three and me is going to help us out, you know, because they they stand for our cause too, and they really want to determine perennial perennial eligibility in a certain school whack. We're going to have to get Terry to sock him in the nose and get a little bit of blood. <laughs> Legally and lawfully, of course. Legally and lawfully, of course. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> Always, of course. <laughs> but still, it's just wrong. Max, Ohio Steve, that motherfucker set me up. I'm telling you, if you would have only known. Yes. Yeah. Damn. Hey, he did. And right here he is. Wow, so that's Ohio Steve. Ohio Steve, right? The there one responsible for the sci fi fiasco. He took out the dirt farmer. <laughs> he's a, he's he really took out that fucking dirt car. farmer. And now he's sleeping. I can hear him snoring. <laughs> <laughs> Your birds. <laughs> the birds are twerping in the background. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We dug deep into his financial records. He's a hillbilly, and that's his family car. Yeah. There's four foot of snow on the ground in the summertime. Because <laughs> he lives in Australia. Yeah. He's up there in the hills, up in Ohio. At least that's what he wants Ohio. you to do. That's what he wants the you to do. The mountainous portion of Australia. Yeah. So, yeah. You got that think tank link, right? Mm-hmm. I sent you a link. And if I can yes. get $65 for 23 of me, we'll, we'll relate him 
to where he's geographically located. There's <laughs> one origin is. We're going to we find good information on that. <laughs> we have six digits of your IP currently. If you would like us to stop searching, please, $65 to dono.dono.com. It came through the red phone, Max. Right. So, okay. If it came through a red phone, I'm going to believe it. I uh, Me too. <laughs> red phone. <laughs> Much like the bat phone in Commissioner Gordon's place. Yes. That red <laughs> phone. <laughs> You didn't there. see you didn't see Terry Golson's video yesterday of um and I put it on my page too. Um Tony was um getting a phone call from um yes. <laughs> You didn't see that shit was hilarious. Gregory. He brought Tony back. Yeah, Tony got a phone call. This shit is freaking hilarious. Um he tells him you gotta stop him and Terry says, You can't or Tony says, You can't stop him. <laughs> I was like it was funny. You got to see it. TT 4.0. And yeah, then you can watch the original phone call where the one boy calls himself Indiana Auditor. Uh, the one with the one black eye looking one direction. And I don't know what color <laughs> the other eye looking the other way. The, the eyes that argue with each other. And yeah, well, no, he's it. got a picture yeah. on his fucking pillow he argues with. Yes. But either way, he called for a mass flood uh, uh, report on my page strike my page multi and he he did it live on the internet yes i got that clip because yes we have the actual evidence of it so then they tried to uh, strike me three times so oh. now here's what's going on indiana auditor tried to use gregory's page to strike my page three times in a row on malicious strikes yes. i have the proof and um so now i just wait and then, you know, I have to fight that with the uh, YouTube and then Gregory yeah, will yeah. lose his page. They'll take Gregory's page and they'll make it to where he'll never be able to come on the Internet again. Well, I, I, I'll say before. this about um, Gregory. He, he was fishy the first time I heard him, the third time I heard him and the tenth time I heard him. There's a lot of uh, uh, what the fucking Gregory. And yeah, but if anybody could be that stupid to fall for that bunch of you know what more than well deserved uh, that's all i i mean come on they sucked him dry they got all of his money out of him he said the other day he ain't got no more money till the first of the to month the first. Yeah. Yeah. And, well, and, then, and, and i'll put it to you sir that gregory did not learn his lesson he doesn't okay. have the wherewithal to comprehend what even the fuck is going on when the sun is out you know that's if he grabs two one. hands of something he doesn't know what it is but and we, we'll we, do it to babe. him again Honest Abe, trying. guess what, Honest Abe? I got your IP, and I know you, Honest Abe. Watch, yes, Honest have. Abe. Let's see what happens. We have everything. And um, here's the thing, though. We tried to help the guy. You know, we knew he, was, he wasn't quite as witty as a lot of people are on the Internet. So we tried to help him through because people can learn. So then when he decided to um, buddy up with that boy that took over control of his page, they they heard he was giving money out. He bought food for that one guy. I think it was Riverside. Big yep. champ. And why would Greg? Well, he's a supporter, so he buys them lunch and a beer. That's fine, whatever. Well, he thinks the A one community is like God. He praises them all. But he don't realize that you know he isn't in position to give them people money. They got more than he got. P D F. We even talked about this a bit earlier about the uh, glom factor and why do these people go with those people? And again, you know, they're trying to build their own little cred and their own little ego. And ooh, they said my name and all this, you know, prepubescent stuff. And you know, for being too old to to be like that and actually doing that, playing so innocent, like oh, I'm a victim. And no, you set yourself up for fail. And yep. you're an idiot. You know, they, they call it not the sharpest crayon on the box. No, he's the broken blunt end. <laughs> he's and the last uh, again, you know, yeah. all you have to do is listen. Don't put your real name out there. I saw his address. I know what his family deals in. I know where they have property. I mean, come on, man. Just on a dare, you're going to say, don't look it up. I'm going to look it up. You were dumb enough to put it out there. I'm going to tickle it. Sorry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's a bad exactly. habit this troll got into, and I earned my last name. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. They just don't know us too well, do they? <laughs> I mean, you know, bad man, you can't get a better warning than that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you didn't mean it. Okay. I didn't hey, Max, mean it. Max, bad man, he's been out here for a long time. He's, he's old school. 
<laughs> Very old school. <laughs> you know me long enough. Yep. <laughs> well, I tell Max. I'm Max from to, back in the old school. <laughs> I try. I try to introduce Max to the good people. You know what I mean? That way he yeah. knows you know, good people. You know what I mean? And um, yeah. So we I, I like to stay right quiet, yep. but every now and again, the uh, you know it it's really good too. <laughs> He, oh, he this was really a good, good one, dude. This was a good one. Very memorable, man. Very yeah, memorable. Yeah, good people uh, in that uh, Cyrax. The we have a troll sock account friendly folder if you'd like to enter all your friendly troll sock account names so we can recognize <laughs> them. So registry. <laughs> Is this it? I'm, I'm calling him. <laughs> PDF. Yeah. They took my channel. They stole my money. PDF. You must help me. Oh, this is funny. I am this just an innocent twelve-year-old. I didn't do it. Ah, no. It's Tony. He's painting a video right now of you. All about me. I'm a voice. We stand our ground <laughs> with no fear. Yes. You know I love you all. Yes. I need help. I need to stop him right now. There's no fucking way. <laughs> Okay. Okay. That was funny. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, 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 I woke you up. Okay. 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 Reality in invaded his imagination at that moment. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck, dude? It's the That's internet. Hey, check it out. That's not the real call, though. That's the one TG 4.0 made, right? I know. I recognize it. This is the funny part. You get it? Because I heard the, the call. What, you posted it, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. yeah. I, I ridiculous. 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 But again, you know, right now. <laughs> nobody could be that stupid. And again, the, the man has a diminished capacity and is working in a female mindset. And what? that's hey, my analysis. Here's what really happened. Um, um, Gregory eavesdropped and wiretapped the phone call without the permission of Indiana Auditor. Okay, and he played it on his live feed video, and he didn't tell Indiana Auditor he was playing this live feed video, which would have been wiretapping and eavesdropping, as they say, in a two-party state where he lives. Is so now, California? Yeah. So California, then right? Yeah. Right, so so he's played that all over the internet. So that's been out there everywhere, right? So he eavesdropped and wiretapped Indiana's phone. Indiana sat there and admitted to a crime on the phone, talking about get the group together and yep. we'll do it. But don't tell anybody to strike him, but it needs to be done. We have to take the dirt farmer out. That's what Indiana Auditor basically said. If you go listen to the actual video of his crime. See, so that's what they did. So then they mass fucking reported me which goes against terms of service, but they used Gregory's page. So now Gregory, not only wiretap, eavesdrops, he's mass reporting my page to where I can get him struck to where he can't never come on YouTube again. If I want to over shit like this, you see what I'm saying? Because he broke federal and state law. You know, as, as a point of pay. issue, I think that you're obliged to teach uh, Gregory a lesson to be so, honest. I mean, exactly. if it's in, yeah. if it's in your power, I would shit. If it was me, pff, I wouldn't have anything to think about. Well, I'm in the you middle. Know, here's where the chorus comes in is Run DMC, and the title of the chorus would be "Dumb Girl, Dumb 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 Girl." <laughs> well, he thinks these people are helping him, right? He donated all this money to this group, you know. I would expect no less stupidity than you've already seen. You know, it's only going to go downhill. Hang up. Gloria. Sing it. We called somebody that night. Hey. I don't know where that came from. I got that in an email. Yeah, somebody. Uh, it was said anonymous, so it has to be right. That's why I didn't play it because it, <laughs> it was on video. It was recorded, so it has to be the truth. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but what about the edit, sir? There was no edit. I didn't see no <laughs> yeah, edit. They cut it all up. They edited. Sci-fi had nothing to do with this. It was yeah. all. It was all Steve's fault. 
Steve did it. Max, do you know the whole, Max, you know the whole story, right? No. Well, Steve woke me up. <laughs> right? Told me to rescue sci-fi. They done told him off and changed him. And so then he went to bed. I made oh, a video. This shit gets better every I, time I, you I, tell it, dude. <laughs> I recorded the video in my sleep, right? So I'm out there wait, making up coffee. The video's being recorded. So I came in here and I hit upload. So I uploaded the video. And it said, you know, sci-fi's been arrested. You know, tyrannical cops done got him, right? <laughs> Little did I know this event took place over two years ago. Two years ago. Oh, so, you thought it just happened? No, I didn't think that. I was doing it for Steve. I didn't. Uh, I didn't even watch. The video. I didn't even know anything about the damn video. I just put it up for Steve, right? So it's his fault, no matter what. Right. So then I came in here with my coffee. I sat down, had one eye open, barely. I just, you know, I mean, trying to see and the light. You know how it is. And yeah. um, I'm trying to see what this is important because Ohio Steve, that motherfucker set me up. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back to it here. That motherfucker. So I start watching the video from the beginning and I'm watching and I'm like, well, this is the worst chopped up, edited fucking hack job I've ever seen. And I don't know a damn thing about it. Right. So dad, man, he's over there thinking he knows a little bit about some editing. And, and he's sitting there looking at it like, that's some chopped up fucking shit I've ever <laughs> seen in my <laughs> life. Shit I've ever seen in my life. So, I understand a little bit about editing. Yeah, so yeah. I'm on StreamYards by now, right? I done started StreamYards. We're going to start making some phone calls. We're going to get to the bottom of the get damn the donuts rolling. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get him some bond money up, right? We're going to rock on. <laughs> well, we wasn't going to get no money up, but we was going to act like we were. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah, we, go. we ain't got no money, but we got to pretend like we do We, got, we right? got the phone. The phone making yeah, money. Yeah. Well, anyhow, Terry Golson's still calling out there, and they told us that Sci-Fi ain't there. But anyhow, when it ended up finding out that Sci-Fi had been arrested, and we started looking at the video. We said, wait a minute. This ain't no fucking live feed. They got him singing in the background one minute and the <laughs> cop talking the next. And I'm looking at this shit like, damn, this is the worst chop I've ever seen. Well, Ohio Steve went to bed. We heard him. Up to to, yep. They left us hanging. And so now he knows that Sci-Fi just got arrested because he watched it happen live. Oh, right? boy. And everybody in the chat watched Sci-Fi get arrested live. Yeah, and here I am, and as soon as Batman popped in, and he starts saying, did you watch this? And I'm like, yeah, did you see that? And we're like, yeah, there ain't no way in hell this happened last night. So then we found out it happened in Shenanigan, Washington. Or <laughs> Shenanigan. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. <laughs> Wisconsin, bro. <laughs> We've been calling Shenanigan, Wisconsin all morning. Terry yep. said they ain't got no daggone sci-fi up in there. So the only thing else we could have figured out was the aliens got his ass. They found out his name was sci-fi. They went and got it. Yeah, and they went through that. Out. From what we were hearing on the on the, on the open line, must yep. have been aliens, absolutely. Yes, and Damn that's man, when man. the probing was going on. But now yep. they released him back, see? That's why he wasn't at the jail. The aliens got him, probed him, and dumped him back <laughs> off on the street. Yeah, and the birds brought him home through the open window that he left. Well, yeah, when he woke up, he was waiting outside. That's why we heard the bird. Yeah. He done been probed and dumped. Damn, they probably put the brain chip in him, the neural link. That's probably well, that, what happened. That was the last time. Oh, oh yeah, shit, he got, they got him twice, huh? They like probing his ass. This, this was a revisit. Yeah. <laughs> this was to change the battery visit. This is called reused material. <laughs> <laughs> they reused him from a couple years ago. <laughs> well, see, now we know the facts because we have it on the proof here. Sci fi showed up and said he fell asleep and he don't know what happened. <laughs> so we he could have got arrested, he just don't know it. Exactly. And they this was an emergency deployment readiness exercise. Please stand down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So poor sci-fi, he don't even know he was probed. Yeah. Oh yeah. man, that's that's bad, ain't it? We're thinking they gave him a couple blood lights. Yeah. <laughs> he woke well, up we'll in the morning. We he, might... We'll find out how he acts here pretty soon. Yes, we'll know here in a day or so. You think? If he turns his hair red like Jason, we know. Oh, okay, we'll keep an eye on that. Then that's a good telltale sign. Yes, good telltale sign. But we did find out that it was two years ago. Yeah. 
And we also did find out that he learned uh, four or five different lessons about that. Yeah, like don't get arrested, whatever you yes. do. That. Whatever you do, don't get arrested. Yep. And, don't get a lawyer from a pedo or I remember that was yeah, another one yeah, of them. We, we, we've got to vet every single person that we come in contact. We've got to know your name, address, phone number, shoe size, and we need your second grade report card. Don't worry, we'll get that. You don't need to give that. Yeah, we know we <laughs> yeah. can get that. Our team is on it. Our team is on it. <laughs> we do. We got the Cyrax and Chilliwax, the second grade report card. He couldn't pay attention then. Yeah. <laughs> Having really? difficulty. Having difficulties paying attention, even when he's in second grade. Duh, they stigmatized him with that. <laughs> well, yes. he still has had difficulty. He was a victim. Yeah, that's why. He's the victim. This is what I'm trying. Yeah, the well, PDF he's got it. The you got it. Absolutely. There you go. He porn the excuse. People. He porn bound people excuse. and said he's the victim. Hey. I feel bad for him. He sold his butt on the corner. Of course, he's the victim. He shouldn't have had to sell his butt on the corner. True that. Oh, okay. Now I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Yes, man, he got pulled in the woods and liked it. I, I, I'm absolutely certain now I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Different strokes for different folks. Who am I to judge? But hey. Poor Cyrax. Yeah, yeah. Poor Cy Cy Chili Wax Cyrax is, is, is going to be... Man, you don't even. But that, hey, that 20, the twenty-four hour security cam we have up um, with night vision. You um, don't want to talk about that too much, man, because then they try to get us for all kinds of crazy shit. Oh yes, Max is holding ten people hostage in in, in Canada. That was one day. What did we do the nice. next? Nice, good day's work. Espionage. Yes, I'm espionager. Yep, I'm doing espionage. Espionage. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and the state police of Michigan are coming to my house to arrest me for the camera. Yes. Yes, they're coming to get him. He's in Michigan, but he's holding them hostage in Canada. Yes, he is. He's bro. He's bro. Like, he's like the mob. Well, I dropped it from nineteen ninety nine to nine ninety nine, and now we're up to almost a thousand people a month. Yes, yes. To pay for everything, yes, it's got to be yes. for it's all for donations' sake. You know, yes, give, give to the needy, not the greedy. Not the greedy. Give me money. But we got better cameras going. We got well, we better got, cameras going now. We got Blue Steel over there. Got his about page up. So he's got a money tree hanging off of it. You can go on in there. Got a place to wipe your card and everything. Good to go. Yeah. Tell him, Blue. Where's the commercial? All you, you got to do is show your card on screen and it swipes it. I'm still feeling nervous about having to go over there to Joni because old flathead that's four foot tall. <laughs> he might want to try to Flathead. Is the one they were talking about is the ringleader. No, ringleader's the ringleader. Oh, no, that's a whole different group. We're talking about emo now. Oh, emo. Emo's, emo. Emo's out here running, trying to get his name called again. Oh, say emo, emo. He's out to get Joni, I guess. He said she was talking bad about him yesterday on my panel. I'm remember. on my way to Walmart to the child section to buy a play chair for Emo to sit in. Okay. <laughs> one of them little old recliners the baby recliners well well blue met him he wasn't talking nothing strange that day was he blue no sir he didn't say a mumbling word wait a second you met this guy in person yes we were I got at the video to prove it we were at a funeral <laughs> our friends I don't care what you were at i just know i just want to make sure it's in person like you see oh yeah i met him he about four foot tall, got a flat head. His his husband is like seven foot tall, and um, he puts his beer and his ashtray on top of Emo's right head. Right on top, yes, sir. Damn, and he yes, walks sir. around and flick his ashes and holds his beer. No <laughs> shit, what a good what idea. What do you think those big ears are for? <laughs> <laughs> we know now why Emo wears the diaper. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's some cooler talk right there, bro. Yeah, yeah. Wait, that means that could be a Terry Golson production. I'm just saying. Cyrax and Chili Wags can't even hold three and a half grams in his prison purse. Yeah, it fell out. Maybe that's Chili why he's wearing heard that. diapers next. <laughs> fell out. It <laughs> fell out. <laughs> the six pound dumbbell fell out. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, be careful how you exercise, boys and girls. Hey, we got them court records, too, though, so we can state it as a Three fact. Three and a half grams fell out his ass. Fell out of his prison pocket as he was walking into the prison. Yes. 
Going back that's to the That's a talent, he man. That's a talent. He told well, he on blamed, all of them. Well, he told on his wife, too. He said, she did it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I got that wow. one, too. <laughs> yeah, so he was talking about to his neighbor house. He said, you got me fired. And he said, no, my wife did. No, I and didn't he, do it. She did it. But she did it, not me. He told his wife under the bus. Like, oh, damn. That's just some low shit hey, right y'all. No justice said Emo's trying to open up a gently used diaper store. <laughs> <laughs> gently used. Recycled gently. Yeah. Oh, it depends. <laughs> they still have a good side. <laughs> they just flip it over. <laughs> prior to that, prior to that, good side. No justice said, I got a shitload of Emo clips. <laughs> flip the diaper over and use some duct tape. You're good. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there's a lot of emo uh, clips out there from the past. He thinks he's got rid of his channel, and they're all gone, but, man, you we think got... the clips are gone? No. no. Hell no. All that stuff. Just don't replay the one where he shows his, you know, his junk. Oh, he's a Cyrax for real. He likes to show his junk on the fucking camera. Well, he pulled his diaper down one day, let's put it that way. It's terrible. It fell down. <laughs> oh, it fell down. It okay, yes, right. wife did it. <laughs> it was full. Oh, when he stood up, it fell off? Is that what happened? I don't know. No, I don't know. I'm just, like, bullshitting for the yeah, sake yeah. of uh, talking yeah. shit. I was trying to help I, him out. Like, I, no, he pulled his fucking pecker out, fucking pulled his diaper down, and shook his pecker at everybody. He, oh, there. he shook his pecker. Well, he's like a bite. He needs to wipe his butt. It was more like a little nub, but you know what I'm saying? Nevertheless. I looked away. I looked Never. away. I don't want to see it. I wonder if he's got a wiper like Biden's got a wiper. No. Well, we know, like I said, why. But the thing is, he didn't say a whole lot of crap that day down there in Orlando. Well, you don't think he's going to face to face with people now, do you? No, but I know where he lives. Unless he moved. And he's still in Florida? Probably. I don't know. I don't really care. But I still know. Well, I just wanted to send him a box of Depends. I could do, I could probably get a hold of the elves and get them to do a drive-by. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> drive-by diapers. Have we'll diapers. do a drone drop. We'll just put them on the order, sir. <laughs> diapers hanging off his trailer. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. Shitty diapers oh, hanging off our windows. <laughs> With the elves flying around. <laughs> You can also find the low hanging piss stains on the window. No, I thought that was somebody else. That oh, that's somebody that. else. I'm sorry. I merge them all together. Oh, yeah, oh no, no. shit. <laughs> oh, man. Make one character out, out of all of them. I'd like to see that. Emo's probably the one standing outside getting a shower after he's pissing out the window. And nothing, I mean, there's been so many great events, like when I was doing the, the maps thing and found old Leonard de Leon standing <laughs> outside the job and the map quest thing, you know, the, the you know, Why the, you got the, my picture up there? I said, yeah, that's that, you? Yeah, that's me. Okay, thank you. Just wanted to know. Yeah, just checking. And it was him. And I had got it off of them doing the map quest. He, What were the odds he was going to be standing outside his work, smoking a cigarette? The same and, uh, time the Google truck's coming by. And I was going to find that years later. What was the odds of that? It was meant to be. That's like Absolutely agree with me. that. I've I've had some amazing finds on Google also. And you're like, wow, what the hell is the odds of that? You know what I mean? It yep. was meant to be. Yep. Years later, and you're like, boom, right there, and a man. Like, how the yep. hell are you standing outside the one day the Google Maps fucking truck is driving down the street? Not but only that, standing itself. outside, standing outside butt naked. That's another story. Like, <laughs> come on, man. Yeah. yeah, that's one I don't want to see. No, uh, I'll leave that one alone. Unless they blur it out, then they can send me the link. <laughs> you need an edit now, do ya? You, yeah, you yeah, weren't yeah. so fond of them when you woke up today morning, now are you? Yeah, fucking nice time. Hey, once I got the coffee made and I came in and watched yeah, the I, video. I agree, I agree. Well, see, I had to go outside and walk the dogs first, I think. So I went on StreamYards and I didn't even watch the video still at that point. I, was yeah, out I that get walk. it. Wow. No, I, I get it. Video. 
I just was taking Steve's word because that motherfucker set me up. Man, that's Steve. Like, I, I wonder who he was in cahoots with. Steve. Everybody that was in the chat that thought that you got to pray to God and all the mods with the wrenches, it, it, it was an abomination. Yes, I'm telling it. you. It's, it was like, are you fucking kidding me? And I came in kind of, I saw at the beginning, I'm like, oh, he's doing one of those kind of things. Okay. And I like left and all of a sudden I see in the discord, somebody says something and I'm like, what? So I go and take a look and I'm like, what? Yeah. And then Steve you showed me. up and we're yeah. both together like, what, what? Yeah. Once and I started watching it, I knew it was a chop job. I mean, like I said, well, I don't even know how to edit, but I could see yeah. plain and simple. This was not what steve said it was but he had already went to sleep so he was gone yeah, yeah he did yeah. That and everybody right. split on. the room too wondrously you know everybody you know oh pray yo he got arrested oh you see this guy and oh that uh, rumor mill oh. it's very very entertaining it was very hilarious. entertaining just a room at rumor mill the whole day so far has been hilarious after we figured it out we were like what True that's that. just you know how <laughs> fast the rumor mill goes man you say one thing and it changes by the oh, yeah. Two hours later, it's a whole different story. <laughs> I had fun today, man. It was a good day. And it poured down <laughs> rain so hard. I wasn't going to go anywhere anyhow. So, you know, I'm glad it happened the way it happened. <laughs> it was perfect. <laughs> it was, I'm telling you. Today was a day to remember. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. And it's all Steve's fault. Oh, how Steve did it. <laughs> oh, hell, Steve. We're going to know this forever? Never. These moments of confusion provided by Ohio Steve. Somehow I think Chuck Bronson was involved. I'm just not sure on this one. I'm starting to wonder. <laughs> oh, we got to get a bigger conspiracy going. It's just too simple if it was only Steve. Yeah, there's no way. He had to have that culprits with him because he's a culprit. I'm telling you right well, now. What do they call? There's a mechanism that does has a lot of steps. But in the end, it like shut off the alarm clock or, or something really <laughs> simple. A fail safe. No, no. Uh, a Rue Goldberg, if I'm not mistaken, mechanism was a, oh, was okay. a foot in this. And it was all planned ahead of time by mm -hmm. many, many, many people. Yes. But yes. Steve was the one responsible for shutting on the alarm clock. You get what I'm saying? He was like the impetus of the PDF. Well, yes. he pushed the button and it started. This clock. is what I'm saying, but there were a lot of little actions that this big machine took to push the PDF button. The plot thickened. I see. Yes, it does. <laughs> now, Steve may or may not be the willing participant in this, but he did. Yes, we it. never said, but blame, blame is to be. Yes, blame is to be allotted. He still gets all the blame. This was like, a, and we still haven't found sci fi. <laughs> Leslie dropped me a comment on one of my promos. Thank you, Leslie. Respect. Well, he, he might still be coming out of that probe job. He went back to sleep again. He was here. <laughs> yeah. And he, he was so tired, even his phone disconnected. Yes. I even called Leslie. <laughs> his, 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 phone, his phone went to sleep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that phone said, Don't blame me. I don't know nothing. I just work here. Exactly. I, told him, yeah, I don't know nothing. When he woke up, the first thing he got was a voicemail from on his phone from me. <laughs> hey, we looking for you. Where I, could, you I could imagine. I hope he plays it on the live. To be honest, you know that's his best excuse. <laughs> oh, here we go, Max. Your friends here. Hola. Better get your microphone right. What's wrong with my mic now, Fox? Who is that? Um, she's still waiting at the church for you, dude. <laughs> Ohio Steve, my phone was arrested. No, this <laughs> I've been ain't, behaving this ain't badly. My favorite one, is it? <laughs> See, there he is, Max. Ohio Steve is the culprit. Right here he is. His phone was arrested hey, now. Come on now, Steve. Why didn't you send me the link? I wanted to know the alert. <laughs> So have you got married yet, Skunk? Skunk, I've missed you. I've been trying to get PDF to get you on forever. Dobber. Something's wrong with your microphone bad. You've been to the park lately? With the bitch. 
something something garble garble bitch that's all that's it this is not working out we cannot understand you if my camera was on i would be sign language we Nod need to communicate yes no. have you been to the park lately and got arrested Oh, one time? Okay, that's good. Did the aliens get a hold of you? <laughs> well, you already know that. Yes, they did. Did you enjoy it? <laughs> Are you telling no, me the truth you know right it. now? <laughs> I, no, I don't believe you. <laughs> the aliens took her voice. Oh, they also took sci-fi. Did yeah, you see sci-fi on the ship tonight? <laughs> I got it. I won the internet right now. <laughs> we need you to go to Wisconsin and find sci-fi. Or go back it's up to the mother's ship. Wisconsin. <laughs> it's somewhere on, on the map. Yes, Steve, that is skunk water. Are you ready to get married? Contract. I say contract. Yes. <laughs> contract. She will meet you at the church. We'll give you directions later. No, no shotgun needed. We tried to get her married twice, but they never showed up. Oh, and she contracts usually with local law enforcement, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They've kicked her out of the car before and told her, "Get out. We're not taking you to jail. You're not riding with us no more. Get out." <laughs> Listen, that's a Is better that place to be, I'll that tell you that. Got in trouble? Well, it had something to do with a bunch of people calling the police station and saying, you don't want her in your jail. You know that, right? <laughs> they called the they deputy. They were like, oh, yeah, we car. remember her. Drop her they off said, now. They said, get her out of the car quick, dude. You don't know what she's about to do to you guys. Tell him. Tell him, Scott. You don't give him no much to do. Yeah, I, I informed him real quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I heard a little bit of that one. Yes, he said she informed them real quick. On the double real quick. Yes. Started it goes putting home. shit on their back window. Well, <laughs> a little bit everywhere, I'm, the way I understand it. Yeah, she was writing in that shit. <laughs> Fuck you, police. It gets pretty bad. But not yeah, as bad as what you don't get picked up. They were like, hell no, we ain't playing with her. But look what Steve did to me today, Max. I know, man. Can you believe Steve did that? He woke me up out of a deep sleep. And then you come out and try to save your friend and find out he set you up. Well, I made a video, uploaded it, and took a walk with the dog. So, yeah. I, okay, we'll say I was trying to save him. Yes, I like that. That's a good one. <laughs> good for the image. More people yes. will call for a yeah, PDF more live, call. you know? We need, we need a blue pill. Sci-fi out of jail. They're like, what the hell are you talking about? Hey, he yes. did. As soon as he got on, he was like, I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> that yeah. was the biggest laugh of the evening, uh, morning, uh, afternoon, whenever it was. Yeah. Because I took a walk and I uploaded the video, right? And I, it turned on. I think I said it as an instant premiere or something. I don't even know. But I went for a walk with the dogs. I didn't really even watch it. Then I said, well, it came back in. I had stream yards running. Well, yeah, that, that, this is the funniest on. part, though. He didn't even watch it. Yeah, because I the computer hadn't even been turned on yet. I just downloaded it on the phone and uploaded it onto YouTube, and you know, bam, out the door I went. Went stream yards, walked down with the dogs, came back in, turned the computer on, started watching the video. And as soon as I turned it on, I went all the way to the beginning. You know what I mean? I want to get the whole thing. And uh, as soon as I started watching, I'm like. This ain't no live feed. What the hell is this? I was like, this is this, this is from Shenanigan, fucking Wisconsin. <laughs> More shenanigans from Shenanigan, Wisconsin. Yeah, so I told Shenanigansville. Yeah, so that's when we figured it out. We were like, well, this is Shenanigan, Wisconsin. We need to get a hold of him. And nobody knew his name or nothing, so nobody really knew anything except for we're Terry. Just trying to come and say <laughs> sci-fi, bro. <laughs> Terry Golson. Uh, now they know cool. him. Now they know him by sci-fi, bro, for sure. Yes, well, well guaranteed. Terry, Terry's still calling right now. He hasn't stopped. He's been calling him all day. <laughs> you got to let Sci-Fi out of jail. Yes, they say they don't know where he's at. We don't there. have him. Who's this Sci-Fi you speak of? Yes, that's what him. they say. 
Yeah, he said you do have him because Ohio Steve said so. Ohio I'm on hold with internal affairs to make the complaint right now. Yes. <laughs> we're, we're calling the mayor. We're calling everybody right now. Shenanigan, Wisconsin, y'all. Light up the phone. <laughs> got to get them this right on this now. Oh, man. We cannot have them stealing our Wi-Fi or sci-fi. No, right. Sci-fi. Sci-fi. <laughs> we're taking, <laughs> we're Wi-Fi, taking yeah. our Wi-Fi. I hate to do it, but I'm going to need some Wi-Fi. donations for the phone call to the internal affairs while I'm yeah. on hold. Y'all better call quick because our Wi-Fi is going to be gone if you don't call now. And then again, that. that's They're going to cut off our Wi-Fi because they got yes. Wi-Fi? Yes, that's why we got to make these calls now. Damn, it's called oh, no. Wisconsin. Something like that. Exactly, like that nighttime sale of vision. You too can free our sci fi from the Wi Fi. Yeah. Yes, if aliens <laughs> come before you order twenty nine ninety five and 12 easy payments of $50. Hey, that's what we should get, write that down. That could be our slogan for the Chili Wax uh, 24 hour. Yes, that could be our intro. Yes, I like that. Somebody might have to set that out, put our numbers in there. We could do shtick. We gotta get we gotta get Blue Steel his Christmas tree commercial going. My my phone number is available on my about page, but you have to make a donation there, right below it. Yes, yes. The number's right there. As soon as you have a donation, you can use it. Put yeah. it right in. It'll it'll give you the last number. Yeah. Well he's got his whole number. <laughs> That's you a guys, nice trick. That's you a guys good donate one. You got all it. the numbers but the last one. As soon <laughs> last as you number. donate, you get it. Yeah. Well, no, but again, you know, it, if you want to be cheap, all you need is nine guesses, right? Yes. Well, if you click on his about page, the whole number's there. You have to donate to be able to read it. Dig that. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's even better. There You're you not go. allowed. It goes against terms of service if you read it without donating to the blue. Yeah, right? Much like these uh, download places like uh, Mega or something. No, you need the encryption key that we sent to you after full payment, sir. Yes. And uh, he has a place there you can swipe your credit card right there on your phone. You just hold it in front of this little thing and you're good. He had a little QR code. Is that what it is? Yes. No, it's that, it's that other thing that he had. You could pay either in Ethereum, Bitcoin, or other f- famous. Or, or Bitcoin you can drive by and throw out, some, <laughs> throw out some weed. <laughs> you can drive by, don't forget, drive by and throw out weed. And drive yeah. by. <laughs> we'll yeah, take or weed drone and drop. One, either yeah. way, drone drop weed or drive by weed, whichever one. Hey, I don't know about this drone thing. I didn't have a good experience last time when I got set up by my aisle and you. And I hear my neighbor calls me and tells me there's a drone outside of my house did y'all see that one i, I opened it one. i opened the door and there's a drone right there in front of me i'm like what the hell well here my neighbor and my on you was at the end of my dirt road up there and set me up that's how they called me and i was live on the internet at the time so i walk outside and show everybody the drone you see a drone sitting at your front door <laughs> So I came back and I shut the door, came back in the house. I'm like, fuck it, shit. I'm not going to sit there and go, look at me. I hear it was my I push your button and it blows up. <laughs> yeah, no, they, they just wanted to film me. But either way, I was shooting on a bird or something. I forget. It was funny, though. But they set me up, too. That's how they do me. You see how they are? Oh, yeah. Always. My on you up there laughing. He had to take a flight back and put another battery on it because the battery died the first time he flew it down here. And then my neighbor was leaving. So um, my neighbor seen him like, and as soon as they see each other, they know each other. So he told him what he was doing. And then he goes, well, let me call him and tell him. So that's how they got me. <laughs> yeah, they set you up <laughs> bad that time. I still owe him a good one. But now he's got security camera all around his house. So I can't even sneak up on him now. Well, he knows I remember you were complaining you about are. the security camera and you can't borrow tools anymore. Yeah, I can't. No, I can't get my tools back. What are you yeah, talking about? Your tools yeah. back. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was funny as shit. <laughs> that was hilarious. What you had to take in the house the other last two months ago? Yeah, everything. Chainsaw. <laughs> oh no, yeah, no, the chainsaw was different. This was something else. Yeah, I think it was a weed whipper. He had it sitting outside. He's like, "Hell no, I ain't leaving that out." <laughs> you never know around here. The gators might call around, take it. She grows legs and walks off. I don't understand it. <laughs> and then your neighbors just got it for sale in front of his house. <laughs> He got to drive up from down the road and find out which neighbor got you. Yeah. 
Yeah, follow that drone. Oh, they're easy to find. They got Look stuff. On Facebook for... Marketplace, and there's all your shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I bet that hammer looks familiar. How does that have my name on it? Yes. Well, it's funny, though. I mean, if uh, they're really not very smart, because if you drive around, you can tell the, the super tweakers, because they have all these things taken apart at different spots in the yard. Like the <laughs> wheel over here all stripped, and it was brand new a week ago. They was riding it. I seen them go by the house, and now it's sitting there in pieces. It never gets put back together. And there's lawnmowers. There's a car over here with the motor hanging out inside of it. You know, it's like, yep, that's a tweaker. You can tell. And you see a guy walk around with a flashlight duct taped to his head. That's a dead giveaway every time. You know? Every time. <laughs> taped to his head. <laughs> <laughs> right through his hair and everything, boy. You don't yeah, yeah. I, I, the vision captured me immediately. You see, he was duct taping from around the chin to keep his teeth from chattering. <laughs> I don't usually show those people that go bump in the night. I don't usually show those people, but I could have a whole feature role that would be much better than any cop watching I've ever done. Oh, they're thick where he lives down there. And that's like a college town, man. It's bad. I mean, if you wanted to and you just drove around filming like that, you would probably have a viral fucking page because people love seeing. Look at the one in Philadelphia. All the tweakers. Oh, wow. I, I actually crazy. use that as an example for people and content because, you know, the, the view rate is absolutely insane. And you can, you too, if you do that kind of stuff, you too can have a, uh, you know, 100,000 viewers in a year and get uh, millions of views on your videos. Absolutely. Uh, the voyeuristic sickness is something else, man. Well, it's like I got one video as a TV commercial or, or a news broadcast I put out. It's got over 200,000 views. And it, it's, it's how you title it, too, because I think it was entire police department arrested. I think there was four of them there. <laughs> was it all of them? Yes, sir. All Truth and titling. All, it was all four of them. Right? That shit got like 200,000 views. <laughs> oh, shit. What the heck? <laughs> the comments only four that's everyone <laughs> what kind of small town do you live in heck come on man oh damn police department all four yeah. of them <laughs> that was that's pretty, pretty funny deep. though that's pretty <laughs> funny it's all how you title it that's almost as funny as sci-fi got arrested you know what i mean and this, <laughs> that's a good one then we got a video up. I put one up. Everybody put these videos up, right? We don't even know what the hell's going on yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Steve told me to do it. I was just surveying. <laughs> Steve also wants complaint forms with the names on top. Oh my! Yeah, he did. That was funny. But then Cat tried to throw me under the bus, Max. I don't think she tried. I think she <laughs> did. Right? I saw her do the old heave ho before she did that, sir. Did you see what she did? Did you see it? It's terrible. Terrible. Yeah. Yeah. She tried to call me a rogue mod. She said she's seen it. <laughs> Shameful, well, sir. Well, Shameful. I, I don't answer them kind of questions. Yes. I hope nobody cuts that part of the clip out. That's terrible, huh? Yeah, it's terrible. Terrible. Look at it. Rogue, rogue mod. Line. Huh? What happened? Take his wrench away. I think take... you are doing your mod yeah. duties. How else would you know that Steve was responsible? That's yeah. all I'm saying. You know, I didn't block Steve there. No, no, you didn't. Absolutely yes. not. No. no, I may or may not have um, went a little rogue there for a second. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Uh, where'd Max go? They have connection over there. They keep robbing him. He's in um, Detroit. Detroit. Yeah, they steal his connection right off his phone while he's talking oh, on it. A good friend of mine that got his rights abused in Texas is from Detroit. There's and, always. And I more. always thought it was very funny, you know, that a uh, 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 a man goes from uh, the big city Detroit to live in a small town in Texas to have a better life and gets yeah. arrested four times for nothing and yeah. convicted. It's like, holy shit. You can't write that kind of stuff. No. Watch that. I tell. 
people I care for the most, I try to drill it into them. Don't get arrested, whatever you do. Back up. Yep. You get at least one chance to get away. Take it. Yep. Don't take the charge. Because then yep. if you walk away, they wasted their time. They spent all that money and didn't get nothing back because you got to walk away. They want to take you, and they don't care if you're guilty or not. They don't care if you fight and win. They don't care nothing about it. But if you walk away, you don't go to jail, you're wasting their money. Now you can nickel dime them to death. Basically. Absolutely. And the biggest threat that they generally come to you is there's a process. You know, and the process is you don't want to be part or parcel in their process. Nope. And all, all it could do is go against you. It's a stacked deck, man. You can't uh -huh. win. Yes, sir. If these people think they're going to get glory on the YouTube and make money. You know I mean, it's, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> the only glory that they get on YouTube is in the glory hole. That's about it. Well, people they were saying the other day. Hey, they were saying the other day these people are actually buying views. Yeah, so they're, that's they're that's saying. a long-standing thing, sir. Absolutely. I I even get hit up on Twitter and in and, and various places. Oh, yeah, for only seven ninety nine, you two could get like 2,000 views. And I'm like, yo, dude, if they got to pay to play, I ain't fucking interested. You well, know? See, that's the thing, I, the think tank went to research in it a little bit and come to the uh, thing that it's a, they're using it. YouTube's algorithm recognizes it as an advertising tool. So they don't pay the people that are getting these views, they're not getting any money out of YouTube for it, but they're using it to advertise to make it look like their pages are getting mega views to get. Man, more absolutely. To well, they do that on Twitter. They do that on Facebook. They do. They used to do that. Well, they still do that all over. Oh no. That's on your discord server, you know, you pay X amount of money and you could do this and this and this. And yeah, your name could be in with a color with a little symbol next to it. It's again, it's absolutely ridiculous. Well, then, you know, it's it, they're always saying that to us. I used to wonder why they would focus so much on one of the first things I would say, you don't get no views. And I'm like, why would they focus on saying that? And then the one time, oh, you don't know how to tweak the algorithm. And I'm like, I'm not trying to tweak an algorithm. They say, well, you're a show. And I'm like, I don't have a show. I have friends hanging out, talking. You know what I mean? It's not a show, but you know, we saw it. Then when they found out that they're buying half the views they buy, I'm like, what the hell? Yep. I remember a year or so back, we were in um, Anon One's room, and all of a sudden it went to like a 1,000 people came in. We had 20 people in the room, and all of a sudden we got 1,000 people in the room. Like, that would be a sign that something hokey's going on. You know what I mean? And then I call shenanigans. Oh, Yes, shenanigan Wisconsin. We got to find sci -fi, no matter what. <laughs> we got the clip. Yes, sir. He's lost. Terry Golson's on the hunt. Can't find him. <laughs> oh, he's alive. They ain't got him up in there. We know they got him. We watched him alive. Steve told us. Oh, how Steve Not is. Not only that, I, I've also heard that you get, um, if they find out that you've been buying views and stuff like that, you get erased. So, again. No, it's legal. Know. There's no rule on it. On YouTube, because YouTube don't pay you now if they were if you were getting money out of them when you did that th there would be a rule but it's an advertising thing the way i but read how them. would they know uh, well i guess like ip wise they could have like yes, wide ranges like a bot those, link yeah, like a link yeah. or something that it clicks on yeah, you know, there would like be a certain amount of conversation with the bot, I would say, and they would be able to recognize that easier yeah. than they would a human, so I guess. They're not making money. It's not like they're getting money out of it. You know, you could probably buy it and make it look like you got a hundred thousand views for fifty bucks or something. Yeah, but well that would be like more the glommy ego trip yeah. that people enjoy, you know. Oh, I got two hundred and fifty people. Well then we was looking, they got it for all the programs. Even um Discord. Yeah. Yep, I, I gave you an example from Discord. Yep, pay money, yep. you get more. Uh, yep, pay to play is not the way to, to really do it. Well, they think you that know? it makes them look big, so more people yep. are going to subscribe and donate to them. I, I agree with that. I absolutely agree with that. Uh, the end run is the dono. Exactly, and that's what it all boils down to. 
because you say, well, they think they're going to make money on YouTube. Well, no, not necessarily. They could be thinking about the people that can scam that have way less than them. And I hate to say it, but they scammed Gregory. What they did to that boy, they scammed him. Because when we were helping him, he, he offered me one day to give me 10 bucks. I said, I don't want your money, dude. I ain't wanting that. You know what I mean? Because he, he, he got less than I got. You know what I mean? And, and then all of a sudden, them boys show up. Next thing, it wasn't even three days later or whatever, two, three days, all of a sudden, you hear him tell everybody in the chat, he ain't got no more money till the first. It was the 19th. So now he has to wait all that time with no money. That's wrong. Man. That I do not feel about him because, again, uh, uh, a normal person would uh, recognize the fact that, you know, you got your X amount and you can't afford to give it away. And that's basically it. You can't afford to do that kind of shit. So if, if he technically isn't living in reality, he got a problem. He got a big problem. And I, I will tell you, he doesn't live in reality. From what one, I've heard of him, from what I saw. Here's the funniest part. One minute you hear the troll group talking about, oh, poor Dirk Farmer took advantage of this guy, right? The next moment you hear, oh, this guy made him a, a thing with his face on it, right? And he didn't, he didn't have to pay him for the thing. So they're saying donations aren't a payment. That's a donation. That's different. So that's what they told him, too. And But yet I, they say, I put the guy down. I was the only person, us, our group of people, spent a lot of hours trying to help him figure out how to even log into StreamYards, let alone you know, all the other stuff. So they took advantage of him. They want to try to strike my channel. Well, good luck with that because, like I said, um, their day will come. Well, I, I, I kind of had like a little cartoon pop up in my head of, uh, you know, these uh, vultures on like the dead uh, animal with its bones showing and they shit all over it and everything like that. And one vulture says to the other, you see what that lion did? He killed this beautiful animal, that fucking bastard. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm going to make sure YouTube knows that it's not Gregory. I'm going to make sure it came from his page, but I'm going to make sure you, Indiana, uh, frauditor dude, I'm going to let them know about you. That's what I'm going to do, you know? And um, like I said, the new terms of service isn't like the old days. And I read it real well. I just wanted to ask you maybe a question kind of uh, when when you meet people. I mean, we, we talked about the experience and, the, the, you know, the, the, the vision that you need to have or you've built up over the years of, of you know, uh, this something's fishy with this. You didn't get that from him? Because I saw what you put out, and I was like, this dude is fishy. There are a couple of people that have been on here that the way they talk, extremely fishy. Very evasive. You yeah, know? Well, so I'm, you... I'm a fence sitter, you know what I'm saying? Just push me on the right <laughs> side. I don't care. I'll find and be comfortable, you know? It's... And well, when we do this and we help people, I don't feel bad about trying to help people and failing. I would feel worse for not helping. I, you know I'm not I mean? talking about specifically Gregory. I would say more the uh, the right. the dudes that took advantage. Because again, there are a few of them that have been in here, and yep. people who are generally act like they do when they come in but they're not um they don't have a stand and it's but what if and you got to think of and in this day and age and it's everything yeah. is fucking conditional in parentheses that you got to do that math first before you do this and no i'm going to do it the way i want to do it yep i've always been but the thing is we would have never heard his story and his story is out of his mouth that he got put into some kind of home somewhere because he beat up his sister. So we all, we would have never found that out. And we find these things out slowly by helping people because we're giving, right? But then they kind of let us know who they are. And then we have to find that out. We can't just research everybody. I mean, we know everything about him now, you know, we're not going to post his name and all that crap because I feel like, he got into more than he knew what he was dealing with. He went out to eat with the one over Riverside or something like that. This is a big channel, 150,000 subscribers, whatever. 
Like they're gonna take money from that duties on disability. Well, again, this comes from a free meal is a free meal. It ain't mine and uh, gimme. You yeah. know, it's it's well, this certain kind of YouTube black mentality that's that, that I mean, group. yeah. And I think that they all seen he was given money because people are like vultures out here. Th I mean, this is why I compared it to the vultures sitting on a dead cow. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And they attacked it because yeah. I've watched it, and I'll I'll throw names out there too. Because I know the facts behind what I said. And I seen them taking advantage of KY Packer fan. And I told people, I said, that's fucking wrong what they're doing to that man. They sucked up to him and got every dollar they could get out of KY. He's a good guy. He lost his wife at that time. It was terrible. I was so fucking angry. I cussed everybody out. But I'm the bad guy, right? Because I spoke nah, up. Nah, dude. Like, not I'll even. Be that guy. I'll, uh, hey, I'll hey, be don't talk that shit guy. about my friend, buddy. I'll kick yeah, your ass. Don't it, talk you know? shit about the. Nah. <laughs> but I told one person, I, and before I even got done getting it out of my mouth, how they're taking advantage of this guy, and I'm pissed thinking this person would understand. I looked at the screen, all of a sudden, that person was up on the panel sharing their email with KY. I'm like, God damn, that motherfucker is quick to jump on the goddamn bandwagon. I was yep. furious. And then uh, I cut that dumb bitch out later yep. and said, you know what? Fuck you, people. You know, you guys are fucking disgusting to me. Yep. Glad to move on my block. You see what I mean? And that's the kind of shit I stand Absolutely. up and say, hey, wait a minute. There's something wrong here. And um, but like I said, I'll be the bad guy because I always got Max to blame too. So I love taking the blame. <laughs> always, I like blaming myself. Oh, Steve got Steve got enough on his plate today. You gotta give some to Max. Max looks hungry. Max, you got yeah. some wide shoulders on your son. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. They don't build them like that anymore. No, they don't. They're thin shoulder, weak back, narrow minded today. I heard very it very much so. Like they I heard on, fast. But I heard on the on the on a, on the internet yesterday that Max is a mass murderer, <laughs> killed multiple people. He escaped from a fucking level five fucking underground prison twice. So he has skills also. Yes, yeah. I do. I got yes. fourteen felonies. You don't think I've learned from all of them? Yes, yes, he has fourteen. And he also should have learned 40. the first one, man. It's like no, come no, on, I had to learn more and more and more. Now I know a lot. Oh, yeah. so it's Max of the Hard Head. I get it. Yes. I think I know that family. Yeah, that yeah we might have relations days. someplace, you know? That's back when he was a kid, though. You know what I mean? He was a youngin' back then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 20s, so the, uh, 20s didn't do me good. Uh, like we yeah. said, PDF, you know, the younger, the dumber. And who are they to listen? They know better. Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't now, listen to you're 51 and you're watching these 20-year-olds now, holy shit. It's amazing. Uh, that's why I don't in, participate in a lot of these chat stuffs. And it's like God, all petty and drama and garbage and garbage. It's like take the time and produce something, you know, of of good or of benefit. A little bit of knowledge, uh, steal somebody else's content, yeah, comment steal, on it. I mean, come on. Yeah. And watch out for that people from Ohio. Can't but trust we them. Got a yeah, especially with the name of Steve. Here. I don't know, man. Yes, yes. We got and a I have kinfolk. Year old. I got kinfolk. Me and PDF are selling children's pictures. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, the boy would have to let his kids out of his house because they don't ever come outside. Remember, he ain't allowed yes, to have them out there in the front yard. How is that a picture if we got live video? Yes, that's not a picture, is it? No. Yeah, but you're talking about technically buzzing. it would be 60 pictures a second <laughs> they're all pictures you know yeah, he got mad because we zoomed in on the fucking hair in his ears one day and put a picture <laughs> out of it <laughs> he was standing there in his yard so we zoomed in and fucking zoomed in so close we got pictures of the fucking hair in his ear and then wait, we screenshot we zoomed in on his teeth wait let me see if I still got this picture Oh, please don't. I don't know if I can take it yet. I've had a bad it's day. It's been Steve a hard day it. for PDF. A little bit of mercy is... Uh... There you go. Sorry. <laughs> I got to show it. Look, we got zoomed into that. Man, that is rough. That was him standing on the porch. Off the... Uh, the rough. super camera. Rough. I got to get rid of that. Hold yes, on. I, got, got I can't even keep that shit. It hurts. Hey, did I tell you? Um, our credit card, our dentist's credit card got hacked. 
<laughs> the government <laughs> fucking credit card, man. I mean, not a government credit card, the government insurance. You know, the card that we have our insurance and our information on? Yes, yes. And then when you put up your credit card, I guess that goes into that file. What the hell? Well, anyhow, we got a letter saying that our um, our dentist was hacked. Yeah, the, the wife the got a letter saying that her insurance card was hacked, too. Yeah, what the hell? And then they cut off your fucking your, your credit cards. Yes. That's fucked up, man. And we don't get we get penalized because they let some damn hacker come in there and steal my damn information, which they're going to go in debt and be bankrupt if they steal my shit. I mean, I don't yes, know why. They ain't going to get shit off us. Yeah, I was going to say, don't worry about it. If they hack me, we'll we gonna get 50 You'll bucks. know it. You'll pop up in the system and they're like, ah, you don't got no money. We know where yeah. you are right now. That's yeah. how they get busted. Yeah. Hopefully. They're going to try. They try to run a small purchase first yes. to see if they can get a balance bump or something. I don't know. But, hell, they're going to get a reject if they even try to buy anything. <laughs> yeah. money. I don't you see the alarm no. bells ringing. Rejected. Other than gas, I don't think they can get anything off my card. But I can be over my limit and still get fuel. That's pretty good. At the gas pump. Well, yeah, it's got to be. I don't know. Way. It's been so many years since I've had any piece of plastic. It's not even. Fu well, I mean, it's a great benefit to my yeah. economic well being. <laughs> I know. I know. I got a stack. I, don't know, it's a I couldn't get one if I wanted. We don't. Yeah, the, the, everything works through the banks. And if you ain't got yeah. the money, you ain't even getting a credit card. So, yeah. Oh, no. I, I could tell you how to get one. Oh, uh, I. I guarantee i know how to get one but yeah. here where i live impossible to get one well no if you, oh, well, if you wanted to try and perpetuate fraud or something it's very controlled no you could get one that when you pay 75 dollars a year and they give you a credit card with like 300 dollars or 500 dollars on it you know and then you use that credit card to pay your bills and then that when you get your bill money in you pay the credit card off you know what I mean? And you build yeah. your credit that way. Once you build your credit, you know, you can start from no credit or bad credit and do that. Oh, you know? well, that, that would be in I, the I USA. That would be a, a feature because yeah. I do or, remember uh, I did quite a, a stint living there mm -hmm. a few years ago. Well, a few, yeah. many years ago um, that, yeah, dude, you get oh. offers here. We give you a card. It's good for a thousand bucks and they don't even know you. Yeah, no, it don't matter what you make because you're paying yep. for the service. It's yes. not like you're getting. You know, I understand that, but yep. here, if they yep. don't, they're in your bank account already, and they're doing the deal with your bank. Yeah, you're yeah. not yeah. a you're not a partner in this equation, kind of thing. Oh yeah, see we because by hook or by crook, they're getting paid. You don't and even I have to have them. Tell you, I didn't show you before, but it came through again. What is? Mula. Oh, Your envelope stand. came through again this month. Damn. Why is it only four twenty? I thought I got more than that. Hey, I don't know. Uh, the packing, the shipping number should be inside the package. Yeah, no, someone took that out, <laughs> and they took out the note of how much it was supposed to be. But four twenty, I'm all right. That's good. Mrs. B might have been in there. Yeah, she got her <laughs> cut out first. I understand. I think she might have got in there. Between her and Jane, oh, the one conspiracy of them, Jane, gets they, deeper. They, they were laundering yes. the money for you. They might have charged for laundering service. Yes, I. Yes, I. Yeah, it was. Pre yeah, that's true. I forgot. Looks pretty clean to me. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. It's still it, it, fiat, it's man. Good. Still it's, fiat. Yeah. It's spent good. Tell me that way. It, it was easily yeah. moved around. So. Yeah. Yes, because we we launder money. We're money launderers. I turned it in. I turned it into digital currency. I got my digital wallet, so I got my uh, Bitcoin. You know what I'm saying? I use Tide to launder my money. Yes, well, I bought a brand new washing machine. It didn't work for a while, but we got it fixed. We got it fixed. It, it, was, it was definitely operator error. Operator error. That's yes, a good I bought because yeah, the paper would come back with nothing on it. I, I couldn't even put the this thing is a computer thing, dude. I mean, I had to put the right. You got to push a button, turn this thing this way, that way, and all the way around three times or some crazy shit, and then it would blink a code and tell you what's wrong with it. Well, crazy. I, could, I couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. Right now, the new wash machines you have to hook up a hot and a, a cold or 
a water line to both sides. You can't just hook up the cold side and run uh, cold water. So it, to may, it. it might be looking for two grounds or something like that, to yeah. be honest. It had to it have water. That. It had to have water going to the hot and the cold side. So, you know, I don't, I didn't, I wasn't able to do that at that point. So then I ended up um, calling the dude and they was going to send a guy out here. But um, I talked to him a little bit and he explained some things and got my mind right. So I hooked up a T and then I hooked a water line to the second side. Yep. And sure enough, damn water the thing came on, right? So then nice. that was just the first problem. So then after it went through the washing cycle, it just flooded the whole back of the house. All that water came out of the drain. It was pumping everywhere, flooded the whole damn place. I remember you were having an issue with the water in the floor and stuff yeah, like that. But, okay, all right, all right. That's the, uh, the back door. That was a different issue. Yeah, that's a whole different problem. I'm, so, I'm yeah. confused. <laughs> yeah. The sink, the sink was leaking the first time, which caused yeah. me to replace the whole kitchen floor. Gotcha, and, gotcha. This happened by the back door. Now I got to replace all that, right? Because yeah. particle board, right? So uh, I'm going, I'm working my way through the house slowly again. This is the second time through here. <laughs> I think that. At least you're smart about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> It's a yeah. reason to make things better, yeah. Well, well, I find out then with a little bit of research and scratching my head, I'm thinking, what the hell this washing machine doing? So I find out that a mobile home has an inch and a half drain going to the from the wash machine down to your, your pipe that runs under the house to your septic tank. Okay. Well, the new wash machines, they just got such a high-pressure pump, you need a two-inch line uh, going down to the yes. drain out of there. So that's why we thing. can't have nice things. I get it. Mean, that's how yeah. how the hell was I going to know that? Because I wouldn't have thought, you know, it was a drain's a drain. You know? But the now, interesting part of this is machine. this Come is on. why the technician gets paid $250 an hour to show up at your house and to hook it up. And then he would tell you, you know, your drain's too small. Yep. yep. After he's done. Yep. That's, that's the Ohio Steve's fault, too. <laughs> It's all his fault all day, Max. <laughs> Everything. I don't care bombs. what happens. It's Ohio it State to blame. Yeah. You guys put a link out so they can go to his channel and click on it and tell him it's all your fault. It's Steve. All Infamous your fault. Ohio Steve. Ohio Steve. We're gonna have to flood his comments. Yes, I got I got Kim folk in Ohio, so I already knew how he was. I should have. Well, you got <laughs> yeah, you should have known how those Ohioans are. No, know it. I know it. I won't say that motherfucker set me up. Look at the <laughs> goblin. The goblin's in Ohio. Oh, yeah. We forgot about him, too. Yeah. Akron, maybe, Akron, should, Ohio, maybe, Steve, and maybe Steve can get a reprieve if he goes by the goblin's house and makes a video for us. Yeah. There you go. There you yeah, go. He might be real close. You never know. Well, I'm in Michigan. I'm two and a half hours. Oh, hell, that ain't nothing, dude. I drove 10 hours to go That's hang out. I'm, saying. North Carolina. I'm thinking this summer I might just take a ride just to take a ride. I drove, I made seven hours to get down to the East Coast, or six, seven hours to get to the West Coast. And you crying about a two and a half hour ride? Listen to this now. No, that's, I I'm all for the team. I'll do that in a minute. You're going to have to take one for the team now for sure because you yes. done volunteered. <laughs> we got the clip, y'all. Max is going to take a ride. One day you can't and tell I'm nobody on though. Cyrax's door and saying PDF said, "Come on over here and say hi." Yes, well, we have to think of something good because he don't know who I am. I don't. I don't want him to either. I really don't. <laughs> no, <laughs> you don't. Yeah, you don't need any more friends like those. Yeah, yeah. This we'll guy up, here. We'll come up with a good. Maybe I'll go over there and say I, I want to get his autograph or something. Yes, yes. Maybe you could take uh, him a pizza. I'm going to mute for a second. I'm going to make me a cup of coffee, but I'm going to put you on the speaker so I could hear. I'm working on one myself. I don't know hey, if you can hear what I was just thinking. Nice. I, see, I'm not on my phone. I'm sitting at a computer. The kitchen is in the other room. Yeah. I'm on Damn, the phone. That's why we got wives. Hey, give me a fucking cup of coffee. <laughs> Move it now. I, mean, I, I made that mistake once, and I said, yeah, I'm all right, man. Big oh, ain't I that important. Wait out. There, there you, you never made me the coffee like I like phone. it anyway, woman. Hey, I know his wife, and we hey, her name, her nickname is the warden. So we no. know she ain't nowhere near. No. Homie, don't play that. No, no she sir. ain't even home. You think I would even say that in front of her? Hell, no. She beat my ass. 
<laughs> yes, we would hear. If it, it'd be the like Rebel getting slapped. Hey, she got a baseball like, bat with my name on it. I got hit last year in the ribs. Remember the pitchers, man? I was bruised up from hell. Yes, yes. Damn. She was playing. That was that was all for fun. Yes, and she laughed about it the whole time. She did. Wow. We were, we were proud I got of a her. lot to say about that, man. We, we were proud <laughs> of her. We were, yeah, we were proud of her. Yeah, wow. Well, she's afraid of YouTube. And she's out there starting shit with the governors and shit. I'm like, what the hell? So we got to be worried about her. She's definitely dangerous. True that. Be right work. back, fellas. Be All right back. All right, sir. Hey, check this out. Vinsky ground flour, seven grams. The Joker hybrid, 19%. $15. Look up London something. Oh, you're a different. Seven grams for fifteen dollars and nineteen percent. Oh. oh, well, that ain't bad, is it? Hell no! I'm, I'm. Hey, it's pouring cats and dogs here, but I'm fixing to put on my frog togs, and uh, hopefully my battery don't explode in the rain and I get incinerated. But uh, well, if you do, when you see sci-fi, tell him we're looking for him. Because he's out there riding around on a 750-watt electric battery with the Martians chasing him. He might be down here by now. He, he left Wisconsin this morning uh, up there, and he was heading south. i tell you right now, I ain't riding one of them bicycles in the rain, dude. You're going to look like sci-fi. I'm fixing to take one. Are we going to be Don't calling him? Sci fried, yes, yes, that'll be my new YouTube channel. I might YouTube. have to get a pretty icon for that. Avatar, well, hey, and they'll see it coming. I wish you all the luck. Be safe, ride, stay between the ditches. Okay, I didn't find that it that was in the ground. No, you bought buds, you didn't even buy it. I don't buy ground. I buy bud. I know. I'm. I'm. Pulled. I like the minis, but the last time we looked on your thing, remember, you didn't have no minis. One, remember, and it was straight garbage. Have they fixed that yet? I haven't even looked. I'm going there now. I'm going to filter and hey, sort. Matt, you got to shop on the web page, right? And then when you get there, they tell you they don't have anything that was on the web page. That's what the weed shops are like in Florida. It's a bait and switch thing, it looks like. Doesn't it seem like that, Blue? They tell yeah, you they it's, all, it, it's worse. Okay. I look at it like this here. It's almost like going in a back alley. Oh, it's hot, too. Look at that, Max. Ooh, it's fucking boring here. What time's it close? You got time to wait, don't you? Are you out? Yeah. Yeah. Either that or pick the dog to the front and let him drag you. You can run faster that way. Yeah, I won't have to use I won't even have to take the battery. No, you less wait. You'd be able to go faster. Is it raining though here? No, it ain't raining here. Here, I'll show you what it's like here. It's been like this all day. I can't see nothing. It's fucking pouring. It's not raining here. See the rain that's coming down out of the gutter? No, your camera's not on. It's flooded. The sump is flooded too. Yeah, I don't know why your camera's not on. Now it's on. Damn. Now, there's one, you know, every other unit, there's a gutter. Hey, get back, knucklehead. Bounce. 
We all get some wine. Man, see that water coming out that spout? Yeah. I know it's. Man, and there's one of them. Look at that shit. That's Florida. When it rains, it pours. It rains it's all the time. It's been raining like that all morning, except for that little bit of time when I took Fat Boy out. So right now, and there's that one of them probably soaked. There's one yeah. of them uh, gutter downspouts every other unit. And they're all doing that same thing like that. Oh yeah. yes. Holy <laughs> shit. And that's the gutter the hotel. Up with the rain, it's overflowing. <laughs> That's wider than a house rain spout, too. It's not a regular rain spout. Yeah, it's that's the bigger one. Yeah. Man, you go swimming in the grass. Yeah, it's all flooded out there. See where the sump is? Okay. That's yeah, like right uh, on the left? Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's, it's kind of overflowing. Backing up. It's backing up all the way to here. Yeah, you <laughs> see it. The ground can only absorb so much. So much at a so certain time, yes. Dude, it rained so hard here last night, man. It was just a steady roaring downpour. It wasn't raindrops anymore. It was crazy. There's Blue. Blue. What you doing, boy? Eat him. Eat him, Blue. Who's that? Meow. 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 They're barely listening. Where's, Where's a meow? Where's a meow? Where's a meow? Look at him looking for a meow. Meow. Where's a meow? <laughs> meow. 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 <laughs> you see him turn his head? Meow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's like, what the fuck is that? He's like, I'm going to go jump out that window after that motherfucker if I can locate that sound. Yeah, if I see it, I'm gone. <laughs> All of my windows, I have a 100 mile an hour tape in. And my back window is plexiglass because he already broke it. He already put his head through it. Yeah, it's plexiglass. It's not glass. Yeah. I didn't catch him going out. I caught him coming back in, making all that noise. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he took the colonial grid right out the fucking sash. <laughs> Broke the glass and all. Damn it, man. And he was trying to get back in. That's why I heard all the, you know, that's the commotion that woke me up. He was half in and half out, you know. And the glass wasn't, the glass, it went one way, you know, but it didn't want to go back the other way, you know, because it was already broken, shattered, you know, and already fragmented. That shit was, whenever I got it, I was like, what the fuck's going on, you know? And I don't hear no dog barking or anything, you know, like I thought would be happening. And uh, I look, I finally focus on the window and there he is. He's like, can you help me? I'm stuck, right. you know? Let's stick his head back through. And yeah. I had figured out he. Had, it took me a minute, you know, for the register. He didn't just jump out the window. He's trying to get back in. If he could, if he could have got in, he would have been the hero. You'd have been like, "Yeah, boy, he defended the house." Yeah, <laughs> got I caught. wouldn't have known yeah. no different. <laughs> he Except got caught coming back in. The glass pushed outwards was a dead giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> We found the culprit. His name is Ohio Steve. Yes, he <laughs> did it again, damn it. The blue got a reprieve now. He's out of it. Yes. Is that a Staffordshire Bull Terrier? He's a, what they call an American bully. Looks like a staff, man. <laughs> I used to yeah, have well, one. Yeah, they're kind of, you know, um, they... they Blend them to different, you know, sides and stuff like that. He's like a hybrid, you know, like a um. He's uh like overly stocky compared to a regular um Staffordshire Terrier. Hmm. I call him a micro, micro bully, but he's not micro anymore. 
Yeah. No, they, they, they grow up. Yes, they do. A mouth and an asshole yeah, with he, four legs. He's two inches taller than a micro standard. Um, he's what they call the standard American bully. He's I have no head. idea. Looks like big a good dog, head. though. Big head, the dog. He's all yeah. muscle. He's all yeah. muscle. I uh, used to have one. Look just like him, man. Just Ooh. like him. He likes everything but I a did. cat. I didn't buy him. He was given to me. So you're having a better day today than you did yesterday, PDF? No. <laughs> Steve set me up. Well, I ain't worried about the setup part. <laughs> I'm set worried you up about for a the good other day, problem. PDF. He set you up for a good day, PDF. I'm talking hey, about the other problem. We had a great day today, Max. It was a fun day. Okay. It was much fun. And it was all, all for a good thing. True. To expose Ohio Steve, because that motherfucker set me up. Yes, and we got to make sure we <laughs> always remember that now, Steve. <laughs> yeah, now we, we write it into the, the good book, the tale, the tale of the sci-fi, which Steve is to blame. Oh, hold yes. on. Yes. I got to put that in my notebook. There <laughs> you go. There you go. Never to be forgotten for the next generation to remember. On this day, we searched for the sci-fi that was abducted by aliens. Mm -hmm. And, and it, it was Prophet it Steve who called our attention to the issue. And they only let him come back for a few minutes and he had to leave again. <laughs> True. The John, birds so. took him away. They were trying to get Terry to stop calling, but they, he won't. Yeah, yeah. Terry Golson been calling the jail all day, Max. I can understand You'll hear him that. On the you South know. Road, the next top watch. What's your channel name? Oh, I'm Sci-Fi Brown on YouTube. Get him, You're boys. The one. <laughs> get him, boys. Oh, Max fell out again. Like my my good friend uh, used to say, "There's gonna be a hanging tonight." Yeah. <laughs> it's not looking good. I think he ought to hide out for a while. Really? Go undercover. Under sci -fi. the radar. Under. Save yourself, sci fi, if you can hear us. <laughs> it's not worth it, sci fi. It's not. They're going to get you, man. I'm telling you, they have to get you. It's only fame and fortune after the biography. That's all. It means nothing. They'll tell you it was all for fun, but don't believe them. <laughs> it's all, yeah, it's all fun till somebody gets their eye poked out, <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't know. The probing part might be worse. I'm not Either sure. the eye or, or made to have to wear diapers. Yeah, it cannot be fun. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure now emo was probed. Yes, we have <laughs> we have a diaper expert on panel, or we can be soon. The facts are coming in. <laughs> you know, back in the day, we say did, 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 all that shit would start making yeah. noise, and then yeah. all sudden the information would come out. I, I like that. that well, I could, I could do a quick Google search for a news desk noise. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> RKO Radio Network going live in London. Yes, <laughs> sci-fi has been seen walking the streets at night. Mm-hmm. You two for only fourteen dollars and fifty-five cents can have poor dirt farmer talk to you on your panel. Yes, you can. Poor dirt farmer, the one and only. My backup, Blue Steel. <laughs> Except no imitations. He will be collecting all the cash. Absolutely. Dono dot dono dot dono dot blue steel dot net. Absolutely. Hey, did you get coffee? Hot. Abs yes, I did. Yes, I did. I mean, I've let, let me put it to you this way. Before the uh, sci-fi escapade, my plan was to go to sleep, get some rest, because I got a vet visit with the cat tonight at the pet hospital at 1130 at night. It um, is presently 9 o'clock. I've been hanging out with you. <laughs> <laughs> the price will be paid at some time. I just don't know when. You know? And we're going to collect from Ohio Steve. I know that straight already. Straight up. Straight up. I've I've heard by good sources that he is actually responsible. Yes. <laughs> well, we're going to make it. I have to send him the bill. 
Yeah, you might have to go by him when you go by um, what's the name's house too. We'll have to get you over there. <laughs> Put a lean on his internet connection. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of the people. <laughs> hey, I was surprised by everybody else that was over there in his chat that I was reading. They all believed this. They started this. This is what I'm saying. Not only that, I could specifically rail it down to one or two of their uh, moderators, to be honest. And it's yep. the drama-minded side of the moderators, which insinuates certain facts and evidence in itself. Well, Max, one of them may or may not allegedly be there no more. <laughs> oh, no. Did they got rid of one? Someone might have done it. Let's put it that way. Damn it. <laughs> Allegedly. Yeah. And they may have done it. I'm sorry I clicked, but it was a mistake. I didn't mean to. Oh, never mind. <laughs> they may have done it live on the internet as well. I'm saying. <laughs> oh, shit. Yes. We're in trouble yeah. now, boys. Did I tell you Crafty Cat tried to throw me under the bus? She didn't try. She <laughs> threw you. You bounced and off. <laughs> being the hard-willed person that you are, but I saw the chuck. Okay, what? why did she throw you underneath the bus? She tried to say that I went rogue live on the internet. No, she actually said that you went rogue <laughs> live on the internet, sir. Damn, she told on you just like that? <laughs> At the first opportunity, not <laughs> only. As soon as I brought sci-fi on the internet panel. Yeah, first thing, the boom, oh, by the way, man. PDF did it. Yes, he did it. That's what she said. Yeah, but, but lucky Canadian, thing that our conclusion was show. Steve already. You get what I'm saying? So it's basically irrelevant. Yes, yeah, she and has to be. Now you know who your friends are, man. Now you know who your friends are. You got to watch the ones from Canada, I'm telling you. Well, she has to be honest. It ain't her fault. She's That's just true. Her. Honesty does not mean throwing people Throwing your the friends bus. underneath the bus. <laughs> I consider that. I consider that brutally honest. That's what yeah. I call it. Yeah, damn. <laughs> I get run over by the front and back tires. What the yeah. hell, man? <laughs> and then back up and do it again. I come out fighting. I changed the subject. I said, I said, Ohio Steve did it. So I, oh, it was Ohio Steve. Is it? Oh, man, every that's the conclusion that we've come to. Ohio Steve. I, I flipped it. Hmm? Did Ohio Steve do Black Nationals Room Two? Oh, I was thieves everywhere. Well, I'm just saying, was he a rogue mod over there, too? <laughs> well, well, it wasn't him that was the rogue mod, but we won't throw him under the bus. We can blame no, him. No, rogue to... mods we don't throw under the bus. Plausibly <laughs> and allegedly. It was some guy that was live and streaming, uh, Max. They're trying to get down to the true dirt of where it all started from, and he found yeah. it. He found the truth. <laughs> And Did you see that, him like disappear on the live stream? Well, yeah, maybe possibly allegedly. At yeah, least allegedly. That's I think that happened the other day too, possibly allegedly. Yep, <laughs> this, this might have happened today, uh, allegedly earlier. It, it's and, much like the effect when you're, you know, you have your mouse and you're like over a window and your finger clicks on the X and you're like, "Fuck!" You yeah, didn't do yeah, it. I do that yeah. all. You time. didn't do it. I kind of had did it. I'm, yeah, that sounds good. I like that. It wasn't me. It was the mouse. See, I told you, this is what you need a production company for. <laughs> exactly. I need a whole group. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, we got we got the guy in charge of the Christmas tree. That's blue. Go to his about page. If you see his there phone number, go as much. Yes. It was the clone Ohio Steve account. <laughs> it was a clone. <laughs> Blame the goddamn they clones. They're not them. human they anyway. Hey, he better be careful about um threatening people because he lives right down the street from me. Go tell him their farmer said he knows where you live, Emo. Emo out there talking crap. He's trying to get his how name. Could, how <laughs> could people talk like that, though? Again, uh, and, um, I don't know, man. He wants it's his name. Dramatized drama for drama's sake and yeah. no, verboten. Verboten. I wouldn't go to his room. You know I mean, I won't go to a room like that. I'm not going to go I think you room. might have hurt his feelings, sir. Yes, very much. I think much I better. did that to a guy the other day. Only hey, the brave have their comments turned off. Yes, only the brave have their comments turned off. <laughs> or they take their chat out after the live's over. 
<laughs> no, I, I turned the comments off and I deleted all my videos. No, there was nothing now. It did nothing. <laughs> sure. PDF got the clip, by the way. Oh, no. I got the whole video, not just the clip of it. That's the best part. When we That's say we got cool. the clip. Uh, yeah, underestimation is best part of valor. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. When there's few, say there's many. When there's many, say there's few. Exactly. A student of Sung Tzu, I see. Mm, very <laughs> honorable, PDF son. <laughs> yeah. I, have I to too am a it. scholar of the way of the Bushido. <laughs> I like to evaluate all aspects of everything. <laughs> you must. You must. It's. I think the general rule would be either dazzle them with your footwork or baffle them with your bullshit. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Then the old dazzle and baffle trick, eh? The old dazzle and baffle trick. <laughs> well, if you use both... That really ends the day well for you. Truly, yeah. truly. And call, and and it all wrapped up in the alleged style of dance. <laughs> yep. And then you get in the rage quit. Yeah. Well, that's, that, that's when you throw the clickety clack on them, the little spell to push everything a little bit harder. And that what is what yields the rage quit. Every yeah. time. Max, he was I, speaking in spells. Dick fuck. Yeah. That's part well, of the fuck, the sure. dick fuck spell. Max, <laughs> I couldn't even understand what you said to him when he got all flustered up. I had to go back and listen to it a couple times. And if you got him that fucking pissed off that quick, he ain't gonna just, last long. Just because I got a loud voice, holy shit! Wait till you put, wait till they see his name and address and phone number and IP. Oh, I, know. I can't wait. Hey, now, he, put that on. he was like, what's my name? I got two VPNs and they all go to a porn shop. Yeah, but they're putting him on TikTok first. Yes. And then we got the one with the fucking uh, seizure uh, shoplifting events. That's Gloria. Oh, yes. <laughs> G-O-I, Gloria. Gloria. <laughs> we'll help you out. We're, we're matchmakers, too. <laughs> That was strange to that event. Somebody sent me a screenshot and said, look at this. And I'm like, wow. People send me all kinds of screenshots. It's amazing. I know. I got Like you said, I never believed that you had to turn off all your little ding bells. Every yes. time you got something, man, now I have to. Every program, dude, your phone will just At sit first, there. first, I was like, nah, there ain't going to be that many. The next thing you know, it's like ding, 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 dong, dong, ding, 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 dong, dong. Hey, Emails, we got a, text I, messages. Hey, we got this one group messenger thing going on, right? I don't even know how many people's in there now. But if they don't want in, they have to, you know, mute you. But um, <laughs> this thing, every time someone has something, they send it to this group text. Yes. So everybody in the text gets a ding. And then whenever they get something, they put it in there. This group text goes on like all night of just like a ding, 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 ding of people sharing. You can't even get to them all. There's so you much. Just got one. This is one of the first things I always do is I will shut off any audio or any kind of yeah. freaking alerts. And, yeah, I mean, I'm not like an avid computer phone user. I'd rather use my computer because I have more control. But some of the stuff, it's like, are you out of your mind, man? Yeah, this is wow. mostly valuable. This is mostly valuable stuff. Yeah. I mean, like, well, yeah, I can understand that. Either you watch it scroll or you check it periodically. So, yeah, okay. we're this one off at two, two oh five. We're all paid to receive this information. We're compensated well, just. Someone sent me Gloria's tax record. He owes property taxes, don't you, Gloria? Oh, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. oh, contracting with the state. Yes, yeah, so I got yeah, it. I get a picture. Damn it, I get a picture where he owes taxes. I, they don't found out his tax record. I mean, they do all that shit to us too. But he hasn't seen nothing yet. Oh, Indiana boy, you want to come out and try to put some strikes on me? Let me go check my page. I'm waiting to get some information back. And um, like I said, then I'll start the fight. You know, I'll start the email battle with, you know, the um. YouTube and their malicious strikes, and he threatened to do it live on the internet. And also, um, Gregory basically wiretapped and eavesdropped that phone call because the dude didn't even know that he was live on the internet when he called him. 
So Indiana got eavesdropped and wiretapped by Gregory. Damn. Think about it. How many party states is it? That's what I want to know. And Maybe California, if I'm not mistaken, is a two-party state. California is. Well, then afterwards, Gregory told him he was had him. He was he was live, and that's when he told them on that video, knowing he was live, to uh, get the group together and then uh, don't tell them to to report him. But that's what needs to be done. And then they reported me three times, right? Which came from Gregory's page. So now Gregory's involved in this. He could lose his rights to be on YouTube ever again. I have a question for you, sir. Knowing Hmm. all the way that the YouTube works and how much they really don't give to flying pigs, how are you able to contact, you know, the contact to say, hey, A, B, C, D, here are my exhibits. This is what went down. YouTube YouTube support. No, YouTube is easy. YouTube support. And in yeah. the end, you get to talk to a human being, or is it just no. like an automated response? Go, yeah, we got your yeah, letter. You, Good for all, you. You don't never get to talk to nobody. There's a black label. I mean, a black tab you push. Yes. Yeah, no, nobody gets to talk to anybody on the phone. When old crusty old buzzard bird come out there talking about he stayed on the phone for days waiting to get no bullshit. YouTube has over a billion people. Over a yeah. billion. Yeah, yeah. You ain't gonna call nobody. What the hell? You think how many people out of a billion people would be tra- to call them? All of them. That would be hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Asking yeah, where's sci fi? We saw sci fi get taken by aliens. YouTube, where is he? Yeah, yeah. we want to see the alien. Mm-hmm. Wow. So it's crazy, man. That's why I say you have to email um, YouTube support. You know, and, um, so it's pretty much a shot in the dark, but I get it. Every once in a while, it, it falls no, the through. One I get that. Once you word it correctly and you do it right, mm-hmm. um, they the algorithm, it. there's no person reading these emails. No, there's not. I wouldn't think it's that an algorithm. Would be. You're battling with an algorithm. So uh, if you can yeah. state, state your case and prove what you're saying, the algorithm is going to see it and they're going to take their damn channel away. And they're going to ban oh. it just like they did the Bagazi guy that had to, up there in Virginia. They, he ain't never, he can't even log on to YouTube and watch a YouTube video on his phone no more. And that could very well happen to people like Gregory and old Indiana boy. And then if he comes back out there and uses his voice, that channel will go down and that phone will be cut off. So they could be cut off. And that's what these people did to Gregory all to get a few dollars out of him. Because they ain't there to help him. Because now that he said he ain't had no money, the one boy yesterday, or I forget what it was, told him, I ain't got time to help you right now. Yep. I'm doing but a this is one of the this is one of the ways that they do that. What they do is by conditional approval and conditional attention. And you got to pay to play. Much like a lot of uh, chat rooms, you know. Uh, everybody got a, a wrench. It's like, how did the? Oh yeah, donos. You give me fifty bucks, you get a wrench. All right, I, I figured that one out by myself. So it, it's very interesting how uh, it's all kind of been corrupted for uh, the dono. To yeah, be honest, they got the memberships now. Don't forget the memberships. Well, again, that's that's again. You get a a, a little flash uh, thingy, but again, it's the the wrench. Yes. Oh, we could kick them out of the room. <laughs> Yeah, we have power. Like with this, you know, you can report him. You know what I mean? You can report him, but, you know, they might do something they might not. But you get to type in, like, I think 300 or 500 characters of what you say yeah. is going on in that room. I think I mean, it's you... about 140 for a copyright complaint, and they don't care about it. Yeah. Well, no, I've watched it, dude. We've typed in and reported people for things, and it wasn't. 30 seconds later that that channel that video was gone the channel gone. Was gone. i've gone. reported several channels i've been a witness to that several accounts yes yes i nice take shot. care of the cleaners i told that one boy i says i'm gonna take your commercials from you first i'm taking your money i oh, told him i remember you that play with me. i remember I that youtube and you'll never be able to do it poor dirt farmer I said, I'm gonna put some shit on you. Ajax can't get off. Blah. I, I remember did. that. Yeah, I like the. I remember, and I remember that you said that Ajax thing, and I, you know, hey, yeah, that's Dr. nine points. That was nine five points five right there. The Three days later, Dr. Dave crying over there at the deck on Las Vegas, boy. Yeah, help I need help to do the five dollar kickoff panel thing because I lost my beer money. Mm-hmm. 
And not only that, he can't even play that beer commercial on his page no more, ever. Nope. <laughs> yeah, beer commercial's gone. If he puts that up there, he gets a strike. He can't get a commercial. He can't get um If he puts it up, he can't get no money out of it. That was his major moneymaker. Yeah. That's where he got all his views from, that little short commercial. And that's what I took because you can't commercialize drinking alcohol, smoking. You can't even smoke a cigarette on your own camera and be commercial friendly. They're not going to give you full commercial value. You can't for even it, say the word fuck within the first 30 seconds. You ain't allowed to cuss at all. I mean, you guys might as well just cut the cuss and clean out. Don't even say damn. If you slip up and say damn one time, you might get away with it, but you might not. And then you got to cut yeah. your live and start all and over. And then you'll, instead of getting, you know, uh, where it's fully commercialized, we're commercial friendly for all advertisers. You only get commercial friendly for emos use diapers. Yes. yes <laughs> emos use diapers. Lightly used. They still got one good side. I heard. Yeah, that. That was <laughs> you got to flip it from the front to the back. <laughs> <laughs> he already used the one side. You get to use the other. Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> family. Yes, yes. Yeah, like I said, when uh, he was down there, he could talk all that crap on the computer. You see how they are. He over there mess, trying to mess with, with Joni Rotten. Joni didn't say nothing about him yesterday. And if he did, so what? Little flathead motherfucker, four foot tall with a seven foot boyfriend or his husband. Don't forget, I mean. don't forget the big ears. <laughs> Has he got the big ears like that old. Uh, yes, that's why his ears are so big. Well, I guess that the comic book they had the white guy, little white kid freckles. Alfred E. Newman. Yes. Oh, on the Mad Magazine. Yes. Exactly. Is that kind of ears? Them kind. Exactly. <laughs> Damn it, man! <laughs> Four feet tall, flat head, big ears to drag that sucker around with my beer in my ashtray. Absolutely. <laughs> Got to have handles. <laughs> hey, somebody sent me a text. It came from an anonymous, and it said that um, Emo used to walk in front of that guy, but now he backs up. <laughs> <laughs> With but no beeping balance, has been heard. Hey, he can balance that fucking beer and ashtray on his head, no matter where he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Poor emo. Trying to be relevant again. That's all he's doing. Yes. Are you attacking the wrong people again? You know, what well, he's going to get all the trolls to buddy up with him. He's a fool, just like what happened to Dagon Gregory. It's going to happen to him again. Because he has, everybody all gave all emo the benefit of the doubt long ago. His days are over. No quarter for a piece of shit like emo. I was respectful to him at my friend's uh, daughter's funeral. I didn't say nothing to him when we were protesting out in front of that hotel where my friend's daughter was murdered by fentanyl, but I didn't really have time for him. He wasn't, he didn't say anything to me. Hi, how you doing? What's up? A few words, just see what he's about. He didn't want to get woofy because he would have, I'd have slapped his fucking taste out of his mouth. That's how I am. Blue was there. Weren't you blue? Blue knows how I carry myself. Was his seven foot boyfriend there? Yes, sir. We got a video of the whole event. It's on a uh, farmers of about page. I mean, uh, community page. I'm so used to saying about page. You can go there though if you want to. But um, you go to farmers community page, you'll see it. Well, you know how some people walk around with authority. You know, you feel confident when you walk. You know the the next step you take. He don't do that. He walked around like he was walking around with eggshells around us. He didn't this say shit. There's a difference it. between leading by example and working with a feminine mind. So, yes. Well, he got a rainbow fucking diaper on. What do you want from him? There you <laughs> go. Call him like you see him, you know? Why should I be nice anymore? Wait a minute. I never was. But his feelings, PDF, his feelings. Oh, they're going to say I'm going against all the rainbow people and all that. They can say whatever they want. Well, if the rainbow people are trying to teach my little seven-year-old something, then fuck them all. Well, they already said that about me. So, I mean, we might as well keep up the presage or whatever. Yes, whatever. why not? So, what are they going to do? 
They won't come down this dirt road. They better have a four-wheel drive. They're probably going to get stuck out here if they come down here right now until the sand dries out a little bit. True that, right? I wouldn't try driving my car out of here right now. It's real soft. I would sink in, like, you know what I mean? Once it's about a couple hours of the sun, it'll be perfectly smooth and hard. But before that, I'm sure these kids will come down through here on their four-wheelers just shredding it, sliding from side to side. And oh, yeah. Having a good old time. And the one neighbor told me down the road from here, this old guy up on the hard road, he said, next time they come by there, he stopped me one day. I drive by. He's next time they come by there, call the cops on them. And I was looking at him like, oh, yeah, what, what are they doing? He's oh, they're riding around up and down the road on the motorcycle full of and I'm thinking the whole time they're kids. I rather see my right now. He wants some shot. Yeah, That's what he, he wants. wants. Shot the back running away. Man, or, I'd rather or, them be driving them than be sitting on the internet. Or like those just... cops did up in the city in Ohio, they tased that uh, fellow, that the young guy that was on the ATV, and they hit a fucking truck bumper and it killed yeah. him. I remember. Oh, that. I saw a guy get tased at a uh, gas station on a motorcycle, and uh, he fell over. The bike caught on fire, and he severe burns. It's, he, the cops don't I, care. I just like, I just like the little bastards out here having fun without me. The little motherfuckers. That, you know I, I, mean? I knew <laughs> that was the. I knew that was the thorn, though. I know yeah. PDF. We wanted to be sliding sideways. That's for Hell, sure. Yeah. Like, Hold on, let me drive that thing for a minute. Hey, you're hey, doing it buddy. wrong, son. You do it like this. Hey, my buddy had one down the road here the other day. Man, when they punched that on the hard road, the front wheels, I guess, it grabbed so hard or something that it, it actually started to come off the ground and go sideways in the air. And the guy let off a little bit. I was like, holy shit, that thing would be said, yeah, it'll spin around and go the other way on you. It just The thing was so right. badass. It runs on like, like airplane fuel or something. I don't know, like some kind of high octane fuel, but crazy fast i'm like but you have to ride that one in the dirt on the hard road you'll kill yourself oh absolutely they're crazy fast now hey but i, I remember back in the, it was like you know uh 96 or somewhere in there and these kids got uh banshees for christmas right and yeah. i was all playing with them i had a camaro uh 96 uh camaro back then it was pretty quick you know and uh, it had the LT1 VAT motor in it. Anyway, I bet he was like, I'll take you, you know, I'll take you, you know. And so I said, all right, $20, you know, if you beat me. And uh, <laughs> I didn't realize they were that fast. He won. Yeah. yeah they was bad act when they first came out. Oh, yeah. That was the Raptor. Yeah. Hey, I got that other program called 4K Video Downloader, Max. How's it working? Hey, it's quick, buddy. As soon as I click on it, it's there. But don't go into the program where it says don't go into because you're going into a place you don't want to be. <laughs> or the like scary that. folder. The scary folder. Yeah. <laughs> the scary folder. Yeah, don't yeah. go into that one. Uh, we went into that last night, didn't we, Blue? I asked Blue, should I go in there? He's like, no. I was like, oh, too late. Well, you <laughs> can't oh, really yeah, I was like, like hell, no, why did I do that? He's like, too late. <laughs> yes, it was like a washing orange with uh, like safety black on it. It's like, don't enter. <laughs> yeah, don't not enter here. This is not a safe place to be. You will not be protected, and emo will get you. <laughs> with a <the> dirty diaper. With <laughs> a <The> dirty diaper. <laughs> But the one program that you use, it comes up in a square. And that's the download program, 4K downloader. So all you click on the top corner, it says paste link. Well, if you uh, copy the link and you, oh, have you use a browser, I get you. Yeah, you should look cool. for uh, an add-on. It's called the uh, savefrom.net. And it's an add-on you put on your browser. It gives you a gr little green arrow by the videos. You could choose 720 or you want it audio format. You could get that also, and away you go. What's it right. called? If you want to do a two-hour video, the does save, it Savefrom.net. And if you use Firefox, it's an add-on. And also on Chrome, I've, I've seen one for it. Yep. Okay, everybody get your pens and paper ready. We'll all copy it once, so you only got to say it one more fucking time. Right, save okay. for from. the last time, children. It's save from dot net.
Yes, I already got it. So that means nobody else is allowed. <laughs> the winner. Thank you, Mark. I won We're taking the donations for that bit of information. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be repackaging and reselling it as a knockoff later on. Yes. No, it's the original. Fuck that knockoff shit. <laughs> we'll yeah. sell digital downloads to the free shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, with the download packet, will be available through March 16th of the next year. Yes. We'll do for it. For three too. easy payments of $450. With two hundred dollars shipping, and not only that, that buys you a six-hour conversation with the one, the only poor dirt farmer. Yes, it does. While supplies last. Yeah, and then we have the medical uh, disclaimer on the bottom. Yes, but things wait, heard here may more. damage your intellect and lead to uh, further abandonment of the system. We yes. warn you of this. And I fixed the title to Steve's fault. Sci-fi, but... <laughs> Hashtag Sci Steve did it. Yes, Steve. Oh, Steve, oh. Steve did it. There's the new hashtag. I gotta start. Yep, yeah, Steve at did Steve it. did it at AdSense.com. Gotta be Ohio Steve. They gotta know it's Ohio okay. Steve. Ohio, Ohio Steve, Steve did, did it. There you go. Ohio <laughs> Steve did it from now on. Oh, oh man. Right, I just got I just got a message. Uh, Junior's uh, going to be on his way, and we're going to the uh, vet hospital in about an hour or half an hour. He'll be here, something like that. So I will have to depart from you fellows uh, sooner yeah. than uh, later. I'm very sorry of that. Yeah, it's I got it. It's been a that. really good one today, dude. Hey, um, I well, we had you booked all the way through today. Now we paid you twenty nine ninety five. I I figured as much, and I will leave a piece of my soul here. You know, right. waiting and wanting to be more than I am right now. Yes. Yes. Thank you. I wish I was <laughs> twins right now, so I wouldn't have to do what a man has to do. <laughs> I just Ain't hope everything's going to be okay with the, the stupid animal. Wanted. That's that's basically it. Cause yeah, uh, he lost too much weight and he got something bothering him, and I'm getting a really big favor right now. So it's you know. Yeah. You take the chances at 11 o'clock at night when you have to. Yes, for sure. Yes. No doubt about it. Yep. Back at yeah, you, we'll AJM. We do whatever we can for our critters. You know what I mean? That's uh, all we I, the, If not for them, then who would we actually be? You know, you exactly. help an animal, they, they accept the help in a certain amount, and you know that they're thankful afterwards, but people don't work that way. They'll fight you tooth and nail the tooth whole way, yes. resisting and excusing all the time. Well, that's, I think them people really don't have feelings, or maybe I have too much empathy, but the not feelings... A, no, no, too, no, never too much, but I can understand where you're coming from, because it's not displayed in the right way. The feelings are more for the ego adjustment than yes. the the way to do good. It's it's a very uh, antisocial and a narcissistic way, just to name two maladies that the man, that a person can have like that. And I think it's absolutely disgusting. I will never accept it, and I will never understand it because I can't do that. My son read me the riot act today. Oh, you got to be harder. You got to be harder. I'm like, how the fuck can you be harder, man? You know? Well, I could say, well, I'll meet you halfway. How's that? I'll get a little bit this harder. Is, this, <laughs> is, this is what I uh, agreed to do. Eh, okay, no, I'll try it. All right, we'll see. But... He's a little hard ass. I'm kind of jealous of that shit, you know. Yeah. No, yeah. no punches pulled. But again, he's young. He heals well. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. Yes. Uh, again, experience tells you beware, young man. No. Yeah. You, young man runs into the wall yeah. hard. Yeah, I, I try to tell him, but don't go down that road. There's a brick wall at the end of it. And they floor yeah. it. Go yeah. so down that road. road. Yes. Yeah, they floor it. They hit the floor. <laughs> Well, I'm just happy to say that I, I was uh, I, I raised my son since he was six after the recordings hit the fan and all that stuff. I was left alone and I'm very happy and proud at the way he turned out. He might not always make the best decisions and stuff like that, but he has the big picture in mind. He knows what a man's responsibility is. He knows the ethical and uh, correct thing to do. And he tries to lead by his own example because he got an example also of what to do and what not to do is most important. I'm like, Junior, watch your daddy. Don't do this. Does he know there's only two genders? 
I didn't know that there were more. Okay, yeah, either did I, but now I'm hearing that there's thousands. Uh, I know that a man has a prostate, and he can't have babies, and he doesn't have a uterus. Wait a minute, newsflash, uh, Max, <laughs> newsflash, um, um, you heard it, we need that thing on, but ever help. We'll just I, I, my friend Let's did that out. to me last week, we had a discussion about something, he made a newsflash out of it. Yes, yes absolutely, yes, newsflash right here. You might not like this one, bad man. But either way, we're going to tell Max. Uh, the news flash is there's a new one on there. It's called the Blue Titties or something oh. like that. Oh, and um, shit. wait a minute, that's the bird that we had heard blue, over there. Uh, blue, blue, blue titted warbler or something a like blue that. Blue titted warbler, yeah. yeah. So um, we found out as long as it has blue titties, it's a new species because that's what abducted sci-fi. Yeah. So there's going to be a new oh, box to check. We found there's, a new one. Oh, there's going to be a new box. Are you a blue warbler? Yeah. Yeah, there's a new box to add. So, how many you say they got? Well, they got one more now. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> Damn it. You know how many initials they're going to have by the time this shit's done? Yes, yes. <laughs> that's, that's the new flash that we got earlier today. <laughs> Man, the flag's going to be 80 foot long because it's going to be full of all the colors. <laughs> Just kidding. It's 100%. <laughs> oh, You're kidding. killing Blue Steel, bro. You're killing him. <laughs> well, he's killing himself, but that's It'll be right. his fault tomorrow. Don't worry. We're saving him for this. <laughs> Excellent comeback, sir. Ten points. Yes, oh, yes. man. You got to keep an eye on him because he'll jump out the goddamn plane and land on your head in the middle of the night. Yeah. Straight up. I know only, those airborne guys. They're crazy. Yes, he only uses one parachute, too. That's the scariest part. <laughs> well, hell, man. If it don't work, you're close enough to the ground to walk away, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah there you go. That's a, exactly. He's well, the only backup plan. Just he knows bounce what once and just get up and walk away. Yes, yep, he will. Yep. That's how tough they are. He was telling me yesterday, though, he said they were all flying on a plane one time and the and the stewardess were getting slack. They wasn't feeding them their, their coffee fast enough. He said, so that they all started banging their feet on the plane, you know, just stomping their feet. Oh, you, you don't want to do that. Uh, people yeah. freak out when you do that. Yeah. <laughs> and they're all airborne dudes, so that's what they do. He said before they would jump out of the plane, before they would all jump, yep, yep, stomping their feet. That's like, yeah, he said that people on that plane was freaking out. Boy, they didn't know what they were That's cold there, boy. That's cold blood. They Hell started yeah. pouring coffee fast then, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like coffee. That is a good one. That is a good yeah, one. Yes, sir. I got your coffee stop. fast, sir. <laughs> they got on it then, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine that they would. You know? call the FBI and be... So when you see these little rug rats running around trying to be one of be cops, cops talking their shit out here, and you look at people like Blue... Like I said, he'd jump out of a goddamn plane. I'm thinking I would, unless somebody pushed me and pulled the string at the same time. I might make it to the bottom. I'm not even sure on that. But you know, that's out until you get to the floor. The people that I know out here have done some fucking stuff. You know, we've been through hell and back, and they don't want to hear what we got to say. No, they think they know it all. So we get to watch them fuck up now. <laughs> Listen, nothing better than watching a you know a, a train wreck. You tell them, hey man, uh uh. uh. People are like, oh, the light of the end of the tunnel, the light of, yeah, it's a fucking train. Get off the goddamn tracks, you <laughs> yeah, idiot. No, 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 it's our savior. It's got to run so now, the light. So okay. now we make house calls, you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, we do. Don't. Yes, we do. <laughs> There's never all know. kinds of ways to make house calls. <laughs> and it's funny and make chili it. wax is going to get a house call soon. I see why these people see them doing stupid shit and throw them a five dollar bill to keep them going. Well, yeah, they because want they want to see more. Yeah, that's half the fun of this, I guess. I don't know. I'm starting to see things differently lately. I'm kind of glad these they go out there and do that because I get to watch now. You can't yeah. tell them. You can't offer them information. You know, it's it's like two years ago. I really didn't know what the hell was going on with um sci-fi, but. I'm pretty sure when it came time to it, if he would have remembered or if it was, I'm pretty sure it was out there. Eric Brandt pretty much done sued for every single, I mean, probably 80 some or 50 or 20, whatever cases that he won. One of them cases would have fit Cypher's, um arrest. And he could have got that 
file. This is the wonderful thing about uh, his escapades in the courtroom. No matter what violation it is, you could probably find paperwork yeah, on that violation paperwork. with a really good chance to get, to get out of it if you no, just you read a little bit. Hey, no, no you can no. download these, these lawsuits. An empty page, you can buy it for just like six bucks. And then you pretty much sign and serve. You put I, your name on it. You put your story on it because that's the same exact case they've yo, been through. That's the same lawsuit. Got presidents. Yeah, you could. All you gotta do is pay, and when you buy it off this web page, the way I understand it, DC Accuracy used to share the web page with everybody. I forgot. I, I lost one of my old computers, and it's in there. But you know, it's like these. I what, can these help you recover that one day if you want to. Yeah, That's this is a professional page. So when you buy it from yeah. them, you can actually use this as a court document. The way I understand, it. it's yeah. not like you know. Well, it's I, like, I would generally go to Justia, see the papers that were put in. You grab the papers, you got it. You change your name, you make it a uh, place appropriate, time appropriate, name appropriate, yeah. and let's go. Yeah. And these are blank forms for you to fill yeah. out, and it's an actual document that you can I'll, actually. I'll share. That. I'll get in touch with you after this. Like when I get back, we'll contact each other somehow, and I will give you a link to a folder with a lot of amazing documents well, in it. For I you sit to, at uh, home. I sit at home uh, all yeah. day long, and I would be very interested if someone had a case to present. Now, I'm no lawyer, no paralegal, or none like that, but I did buy a computer, and I got internet, and I bought a printer just for this reason. And if someone had the document, you know, had the case and had, you know, some ways and means like we're talking about, I'm talking about paperwork wise, I would be more than happy to sit down and, and fulfill the paperwork end of it. You know, it'd be a good learning experience for me and I'd be able to, you know, to move on to the next one with it, you know. Well, yeah, but, uh, technically, this is what I do. And I started about a year and something ago uh, helping uh, a, a good friend of mine out. And I learned a lot. I learned a lot about the law. And, uh, yeah, you start and away you go. A lot of people aren't willing to listen. A lot of people do stupid shit. A lot of people don't have the follow through. And that's not a way to succeed. That's a way to oh, be I'll found hand carry somebody. I'll hand carry somebody along. You know, that's the, the way you got to do. But uh, I just, you know, needed uh, the examples and, you know, um, the case, you know, that that someone has i mean i'm even willing to do uh internal affairs complaints and all that shit you know like if you want to remain anonymous they can mail it email it to me i'll print it out and send it to you this is is what i do this is what i do and yeah i'll give you a hand advice i'll read the book again you know it's i do what i can you know i do what i can and this is what I you you should expect it from anybody who deals with the cops, at least to know how to fill out a complaint, at least to know don't talk to them after the complaint, at least to know to memorize your complaint, you know how to document it, you know, uh, especially from the video. Well, again, you know, I think it's more a game to a lot of people that they see it as a kind of uh, tree to income or something like that, and they go for the drama, and they're, oh, we're here to educate. Educate. You got violated like a mofo, got arrested, and you got convicted. What the hell, man? Not mm-hmm. only that, you're not going to fight it. You didn't put in complaint, and they're going to do it again. Not only that, they're going to hunt you down now, you know? And they don't want to listen that it is a very traumatic experience to go through even if you're all hyped up and and adrenaline pumping and you don't realize it once you get home and you sit down for a minute and you go through months and months of the how how long did i don't know how noisy your experience was but how long did it take you to get the cooler out of your head bro how long did right when you hear a gate shut what automatically pops into your head when you hear uh yelling echoing off of concrete what do you go back to when you wake up at five o'clock in the morning for head count? What do you think of? You know what I'm saying? Max knows too. Tell them Max. They put Max. <laughs> no question they about it. Where the hose at? They had him in solitary for a long fucking time. It was torture. This would be a good friend to talk to. No questions years. about it. Uh, PDF, a really dude, good guy. Four That's and a half, homie. Five and a half, dude. They kept keeping him back in solitary. That drive yeah. any motherfucker sane. Insane. Four and a half years, I got an hour out a day only and never seen the fucking light. And his crime was drugs. Getting yes. With drugs. 
Well, all and, our crimes were drugs, you know. Yeah, what I mean? okay. So that's again, that's what they do. They destroy people's fucking lives yep. because they something want that the monopoly is. again. It's commerce. They can yeah. do that. It's Joe commerce. Biden's cracking out. They said he was out in the yard cracking out. Joe Biden's son a crackhead. What? Yeah, and then he's only going to get probation. And fucking tax evasion. How the many fucker had a pistol being a drug addict. Signed saying he wasn't a drug addict. Threw yeah. it in a school fucking garbage can and he's going to get probation on that shit. But again, why are you even surprised? This is all I'm, I'm not saying. surprised. Much I'm not like surprised. the vote, you know, who cares? It does nothing and everybody's stuck on that because it means nothing. You know, it's does a distraction. It- doesn't it mean that a lot more people are going to look at it and shake their head and they're going to be thinking more like us? Because every time we get a new group of people, that they're always shocked that this stuff's going on. And Television still- and the news says something totally different because people yes. eat that stuff up. They broadcast what they deem is uh, correct and appropriate to get the mind think of the people going on. And look at this poor Let's call him a president if you want to. Let's call, look at this poor puppet with his Weekend deviant child. You know, what a bad upbringing he had. Daddy was never home. He was a bit too busy taking bribes and uh, doing the dirty with the whores. Sniffing, so, the, kids. Again. Sniffing the kid's hair. Yeah, that's that's weird. That's accountability is a big thing. When people refuse to take accountability, you know, shit's fishy, you know? It's much like uh, the government offices and the police officers. No accountability. Yeah, I did it. I shot him. 36 bullets in the back of the head. Yeah. He wasn't armed and he wasn't even running. So what? Fuck you. What you going to do to me? They call it suicide. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he committed suicide by getting thrown out of the 13th floor window. He only bounced yes. twice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're hanging from a tree. You got two bullet holes in the back of your head. And they say yeah, that's suicide. the one I want to say. He was suicide, yes. Self-inflicted wounds. And no gun around. But we just had one here last week. Lee Harvey Oswald did it. We just had one here. All he did was have the gun, wouldn't put it down, and it commenced firing on him. So he was dead. Well, I've seen quite a few of those horrible things, but I always enjoy cops getting shot for some reason. I'm like, oh, good. Another one. Most of the time, they do themselves in in car wrecks. We had one that just... um, Hit a deer, went off the road, went up into the trees, and the car, car caught on fire, and he burnt to death, I guess, oh. or died from the crash. But they just buried him yesterday. When I look at him, I mean, he's like, man, that's a weird-looking dude, you know what I mean? But he was like the chief of the police, too. I bet you he was flying. He wasn't even probably half a mile from his house. And no, he hit a not deer. only that, wasn't even wearing a seatbelt, either. I'll bet you. I wasn't. But he see, when he crashed that cop car, he died in it, and um, it burnt to a crisp, right? I guess it caught on fire. But yeah. the thing is, then I wonder, wonder what he did. They said everybody in the whole town said he's such a nice guy. If he if he knew you, he he treated you like a brother. What, what was about the secret? The what was the secret? Oh, what is people that he didn't know like that'd be the ones I want to talk. To. That's the secret. Like yesterday, I I drove over to get my car from the garage, and uh, we're at a junction. And the police pull up right behind us. I kind of like make believe that I'm going to film them. I'm like, yeah, yeah, look, fuck you, pigs, fuck you. And um, the light turns green and we go around the corner and we got passed by this police car that was absolutely hauling ass up this hill so fast. It was like, it's crazy. And my son is like, my son is like, oh, look at those fucking assholes. And you're getting all wound up. And I'm like, dude, all you got to do is be calm and think that hopefully one day they'll crash and burn co- and, and it'll be very bad because they didn't even care enough to wear their seatbelts. Yes. You know, that's basically it because the most dangerous thing to a policeman is not the public. It's the police car without the freaking seatbelt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I want to say, that's, if they're going to drive like that, the one followed me right on my bumper one time coming out of town. So then all of a sudden, about a month later, I'm driving out of town. All of a sudden, there's that same piece of crap. I right? remember this. I re- yeah. Well, then I yeah. happened the time. But the second time, um, Terry Golson made a video of me doing 100, or I think it was Commander. I made a video. I was doing 105 mile an hour in four seconds. Boy, and the cop was still on my ass chasing me. But either way, um, that cop followed me for a long time. I mean, way too close in the rain. If I'd have had to hit the brake, he would have hit me. 
There's no way he could have stopped. And then uh, he no passed. justice. That was not cool to uh, drop no questions. The dude is a solid dude. He's my brother, and that's really not cool. And, yeah, we're all hoes. It all depends on how much you get paid. So yeah. if you could, like, undelete the young man, please, that would be a very nice thing to do. Actually, you'd enjoy a conversation uh, with him. He's a really good content grabber. He's developed the art of the um, interaction almost to a science. And, yeah, he's been victimized quite a few times by the police just for being black. And it's a very interesting look through a man's eyes when he doesn't fit the uh, narrative of everybody who's doing this, you know? Solid dude. Solid dude. He caught a daylight robbery. Absolutely incredible. Who's I mean, that? if you don't mind, I will prop my bro. That That's all I got to say. Do I know this channel? I'll subscribe to it. If that's Is it no question, guy? Yeah, no question about it. Yeah, I don't know that channel. Hey, we'll let him come in and hang out and talk if you know me. I remember. Well, I'm going to call him in. I'm going to try try to get him in. Yes, oh, I, I, the veteran has epic meltdown. Yeah, that that's uh, the red shirt dude. Yeah, yeah. You, I think you saw that. Um, yeah. I can't get all the out. Greg, I have to tell you something, man. What? Uh, I went on Fort Dirt uh live right after i got off of yours oh yeah that was one day live. when i went in there they were making fun of you man i know i know i don't know i was there yeah i know you saw it yeah i see it yeah i see it yeah okay good i'm glad you did because uh what he said about you was pretty pretty bad wow was it yeah it was, yeah i know i know i know, that. I know. yeah i know he said you were stupid. You're oh. stupid. Oh, 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 I'm not dumb. No, I was it know. loud when he said it? That's what I want to know. Was it loud? So he pissed me yeah, off I pretty good, man. He pissed him off. I think you pissed him off. Yeah, I think so. Wait, you could wait. Listen, watch this, man. And uh, I think um, for someone to call you stupid, um, you know, make fun of you. I'm not. Uh, I'm not a fan. Of not a fan. Not a fan. Man. Now here's where I come in the room and, and they tell me I ain't allowed no more. And to tell somebody, hey, Greg. By the way, did I make you pay for that logo that I made? Nope. Nope. The no. logo was free. It I didn't make you pay a dime for that, did I? Nope. Hold on. Let me. I have. I'll proof. copy paste that to him if you don't mind. Yeah, I have proof. I don't want people that. All right, PDF. That shit. You All right. That? Yeah, man. You think I'm going down? No, I, I think you know, you're doing no, no, no. very well. I think I'm, I'm, I'm going down. I'm yeah, that's what you wanted to do. Yeah, I remember that dude, though, kind of. I don't know if I remember him. Um, yeah. What's happening? Hello? 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 Hello. Hello. Uh, Hello? Steve did it again. Damn it, Steve. You fucking fucked our shit up again. Texas <laughs> <laughs> Wi Fi is gone. I told y'all they're going to take the Wi Fi, y'all. We got to get. He's trying to take our voices away. <laughs> it don't get old, man. It don't get don't old. Anakin Police Department again, quick. <laughs> <laughs> We knew the Wi-Fi. I told y'all earlier they're gonna steal the Wi-Fi. They're trying to steal the voice right now. They're leaving the video but taking the voices. Can y'all hear me? Black National? Yeah, we hear you, Black National. We hear you. We hear you. Say what up. What's up, uh Blue and Max? What's up? How's it going? What's that? How's it going? 
All right, it's going. About to head back. Are you taking a walk? No, no, no. And heading back home. Oh, hell yeah. Fun time's over. Go go back to yeah. the grind. Yeah, back to the grind again. When you leave, what time are you pulling out? Uh, it's supposed to be 3.45, but um, it's changed to 4.45 if it's delayed. Why? Plane have heat stroke? That's I just what know. I said. They got to put the fire out on a goddamn tarmac first. No, it's all, it's all the pilots got to find their high heels. Well, they said 101 degrees up in there yesterday. I figured they done cooked you and put barbecue sauce on your ass. <laughs> yeah, I think barbecue sauce in Texas tastes good. Even yeah, that's what I've heard. <laughs> yes, that's whatever left over, they'll make a belt out of. <laughs> <laughs> Balance. Turn it into leather, yeah. <laughs> you got to make a pair of boots out of you. I don't know which one you want to be, boots or a belt. Because yeah. barbecue will be served, I'm telling you right now. You know how they are out there. I'm sure you done figured it out by now. They took. You got barbecue yep. something. You want to see an interesting Man, you clip know, uh, PDF, I would salt. suggest to you later on, you look at Pimp Loses All Control and Assault's Photojournalist. <laughs> That was some absolute insanity, and it goes down really quick. Uh, very well done, very well spoken, an example of how it should be handled. All right. I'll put my phone number in the back chat. You can um, text me. I don't know if you can text. Send Texas. If you can, that, you can send it to that number. Um, I can't do anything with the phone number. I could uh, reach out via internet page uh, chats and that kind of stuff. I don't have international dialing or anything like that. What's that one program, WhatsApp or something like that? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't use Facebook. I have a disc. I got you know Facebook and stuff like that. I'm sure you got a Facebook thingy, right? I got Messenger and Facebook, but we All use right. that. That program too, and you can send large files on it. And I talk to like Spirit yeah, and Australia. What's that? What's that? You, I can talk to people from Taiwan and everywhere. Yeah, I know it's it's independent thing. I don't use it. You can't install it on a computer, and I don't abuse my telephone with the Facebook yeah. applications and shit like that. You know. Well, I can. My find son my has phone. that, so I send my papers through him to whoever needs. Oh, send it to WhatsApp. All right, Junior, send it away. I email him, and he, he sends it forward. But yeah. And I got a couple of links to, to give you for a uh, knowledge database and stuff for like that for your own uh, usage too. You'll you'll be quite impressed. You'll be quite impressed. So you can do email? Yeah, email anything on the internet. Anything on the internet. Not only that, I host large files on a mega account, so I give you a link and you grab whatever you want. It's really simple. Very simple. And it's secure to be honest. Extremely secure. Yeah. I, I love doing stuff like that. I mean, that's, yep. that's the kind of stuff. That, well, I mean, you, we were I, talking I about the editing email. and stuff like that. If you need programs or whatever, you know, Batman. All right, man, whatever you need, you know, not a problem. Not a problem. I just dropped you an email in the back chat. Cool. Take a picture of it or write it down and... Well, oh, I'm a copy paste freak. And, oh, there you go. Anything that you can help out with, please. I take requests. Let's put it like that. You know what I mean? You got a problem? If I could figure it out, how to cheat it or go around it or find another way to make it happen and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. If I yeah. take donations, that's all I take. <laughs> I know you're you're the bookkeeping sector. Now like he's at the airport waiting. He is. Yeah, I am. But yeah, that's a sing along. I'm leaving on a jet plane. <laughs> Don't quit your day job. Don't know when I'll be back again. Gloria. Gloria. <laughs> G L O R I A. <laughs> Gloria. 
Man, I may not have called somebody and saying glory to them on their on their, on their answering service. Maybe. Well, maybe. Could have happened. It might have been. But that's alleged. There's no proof. Allegedly. Absolutely allegedly. Allegedly <laughs> recorded, though, too. It might be a recording of it, too. I know you feel it. <laughs> I think PDF digitally altered the name on the uh, alleged behavior to just catch the blame himself because he's such a blame monger that he has to be the center of all that goes on on the internet. And if anything ever happens, PDF did it. I have to take a. I I can't claim that. That's definitely not mine. Oh, that's the, the video clip proves me. Yeah. Still stand up real loud. But that way I don't want to win this thing and blow it in the background. So I'll get it. Just sit in the face down. He's going hard. He's holding him. He's holding him. I got to mute that. That's loud. Oh, you damn, loud. your girl just went live. Who's that? Gap girl. Oh yes, yes, yes. She's Gotta always going to say hi. She'd be like, "I love you, PDF. I love you." She's always live. She's live more than she ain't. Hell yeah! Every time she sees a new video about some certain group, I won't say their name on here. She goes up live quick. Yeah, she gets on it, man. She's like hard on them. Yeah, she don't. She's like they want to kill her bad. They want her dead. Well, I heard Emo and them are trying to go after Joni Rotten, and that's not too friendly. But all he's really trying to do is get my attention to where he could try to get me to battle. And I'm not playing his game. If I play his game, I'll drive down to his house. Well, he's going to use you for clicks and views is all it yeah. is. Hammer! Is this your public uh, Facebook group, Porter Farmer? Guy goes crazy. 409 members? No. No. Well, drop me the address or something in uh, the side chat. I'll uh, hit you up. Because, again, I I will say that finding you specifically through the Google, they don't make it easy because there's so many poor dirt farmers. It's not funny. Well, they're probably all him. Well, this is the thing. I tried a couple of emails and I got no responses. I'm like, yeah, this is no, that ain't him. Born to fail. Born to fail. I don't answer my phone. He answers every phone call. Well, I don't call. I contact via and I voice over IP or something like that, much like we're doing right now. So yeah. Hammer. What's the word? How y'all doing? I woke up this morning. And I was still breathing. I must be doing good. Really, right? Great start <laughs> to a new day. I'm telling you, but. Uh... Have y'all uh, watched what was coming out of the Senate today about the uh, pistol break rule? Hey. Oh. Okay, so. Man, man, man. But go ahead, Hammer. I'm just trying to show something. To, uh, we've been trying to find this. This may or may not be my group of relatives from Ohio. So it's all Ohio, Steve. That's me and my girl in the background over there. I have my cuz right there and my other cuz. And that's us riding in Ohio. Just to figure that's so. If you want to find my name on uh, Facebook, that's me right there. You see my wolf dog. Got me a canvas leaf, 2,700 subscribers. I wasn't looking thing. specifically for your for all this information. Just a simple contacting you and <laughs> no, a he about don't way care. would have been nice. But uh, yes, sir. Too well. I see your right. adorable picture with your nice doggy doggy. <laughs> that's well. that's, Make sure you get it right. That's my kid from, from Ohio. So, Ohio Steve, we're coming to get you, boy. <laughs> 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 what, was, what was they saying today? I didn't see none of that. We've been busy trying to find sci fi because they. Well, I just sent you a friend request. When I get back, I'll uh, be in contact with you. Uh, yeah, yeah. The easy way to uh, to get you when you're free. You know what I'm saying? Was this the house or the Senate, Hebrew? It's been a while, though. It's been a while. All right. I got you. Right on, my man. 
Well, I got a I in, in in addition to the link and this and that, I got a story to tell you. You'll laugh your ass off and you'll be like, "God damn." And it's about a mutual person that you have talked about in the past and it came out of me from the blue sky and I was shocked. All right. Well, um First of all, all right, I sent you a message. If you accept it, then we can chat. I don't know if you can accept it, but what was you saying here before? It's all good. It's all good. Uh, so today in the uh, Senate, the, uh, the Senate has voted to overturn the request on the Biden administration's pistol brace rule, 49 to 50. They did? So what this does, yep, yep, they, they voted against it in a, in a Democrat-controlled Senate. Okay. Wow. So basically what this has done is the estimates are anywhere between 30 and 40 million felons. Okay. So basically what this has done is the, the government has basically just told us to go fuck ourselves. Yes. Okay. And this is a, amendment. this is a, this is a forced registration of pistols. And yes. this is how it starts. Now it started in the past, all throughout history, every single That's time. Right. But now they're trying to say, as long as you don't have it hooked to the gun, you're all right. But if it's hooked nope, to the gun, nope, then you're in trouble. Nope, nope. They have what's called constructive possession. Yeah. That's like the thought possession. police. That's, that's an excuse for the thought police. Yeah. Right. It's like... It did, but that was it on there. No, but he could have done it if he wanted right. to, even though he did. But see, right, and that's why the ATF enumerated it in, into the rule that way. So that way, if you do have it separate, all right, it's not a um, it's not a unified piece. It's separate. So if you have it, uh, you know, your your pistols in the safe, and then your uh, braces in the attic somewhere, you boxed it up. It doesn't matter. It's called constructive possession. And you can do just as much time. You can do 10 years just for having constructive possession. Just for having it, yes. Just for having it. Okay, so my phone's been ringing. My, my phone has been ringing. My phone's been ringing. My phone has been ringing off the hook all day. That's why I haven't had a chance to get on here yet. But uh, we're forming a letterhead to the governor of Texas because we're going to enter in a lawsuit. We're going to sue the federal government for this. This is outrageous. Cool. Are they going to do a petition and get people to sign it, or do yes, they? Yes, absolutely. No, no. It's pertaining to anybody in the United States. Okay. Because so, even though that even though that you don't, um, you know, individuals may not exercise their Second Amendment, but that doesn't mean that it. they they still have it. And, and if they take away one of the rights, they're going to take them all away, right? So, yep. We got to let these people know. They're they're operating outside of the parameter of the law. The own government is doing this. Well, they okay. took your rights away a long time ago, and they permit you to behave in a certain way for now. And yeah, <laughs> filing it down, man, filing it down. Cowboys used to call it cutting the herd. Yeah, or culling culling the herd. Yeah, that comes <laughs> after the cutting. Yes, <laughs> the abattoir would be the uh, abattoir, the arbitrator. Of uh, what things to come, yeah, That's right. So a as we as we are familiar with history and we're looking at or through the looking glass of the future, we're starting to see parallels that are matching. Okay, this, this shit is getting very serious in this country, and people aren't realizing what's happening. And, yeah, uh, and that's why and we need to focus on, like you say, and everybody else has said for how long. And even Blue has been doing it, following these papers, going to these places, They're standing in there, filming them, putting them on Front Street. I mean, hell, Max went to a place one time. They flipped out when he walked in there with his camera. Hell yeah. Commissioner's meeting. It was a public meeting. Yep. It was not public used to be telling me I couldn't record. And then the police come and they said, oh, yeah, Ken. And then the mayor even got mad. Yeah, so he's pissing off the mayor over there. And, um, and this is over something that's happening in their town. It's not even has anything to do with watching cops. So it don't matter what they um, we're trying to ha address our concerns. They're so used to hiding everything. It's it's way out of control. The only way we can stop it, we have to expose it all. And 
Right. You got to do in these paperwork, and you can't do it all at one time. So you got to pick one thing and work on that. The wise man picks his battles well and fights one front at a time. You can't be going ham hock crazy. Uh, you have to have um, be methodical. And the only way to force change is lawsuits. No matter how much you talk to the city, they don't care. They really don't care. They're not forced to they fix anything. Of course they don't give a fuck. But, I mean, you have to force them. Yes. You know? you... Just like the police are there to force you, but you don't have police on your side. So there is the issue. When someone says, I have rights... You, you you might know your rights, but the only way you have your rights is when you're standing in front of a judge and he says, that's your rights. You have that right. And now it's been deemed that you have your rights because before that, it's just on paper. So Absolutely. you don't have rights until a judge tells you you have your rights. And in order for that to happen, you had to have your rights basically taken away from you not given up freely you know what i mean they so they were on the 14th amendment you were made a citizen hammer did Absolutely. they have it on c-span i hadn't seen anything on c-span yet that was so in order to channel to usually, continue yeah usually they let you see what's going on in the house and the senate i'm just trying to figure out where i can see that well, that's what I'm saying. In order for us to have our Second Amendment rights, we're going to have to have a judge tell them that we have these rights. And the only way to do that is if we do file, whether it is a petition, which is going to be hard, because how many signatures we're going to need? A million? I mean, I don't know. There's a lot to this. It ain't just a matter of I'm going to go file a lawsuit and somebody walks in the door, drops a piece of paper off, and it's filed. It's going to be a little bit different than that, I would think. Am I correct? Well, when the head of the yeah. FBI don't know what an assault rifle is, we got a problem. Right. Well, there's different coalitions that are involved with this as well. So there's a lot of money back in this. And uh, what, what I'm going to attach to the pe petition is if we can't get any clearance from the federal government on which direction we need to go, then we'll make the decisions for ourselves as the Constitution prescribes. Okay? So... Man, this is a big mess, man. People just don't like realize the ramifications. Back to the constitutional vows of uh, all enemies, foreign and domestic. I well, watch I that take movie. it very serious. I, I take it I, very seriously. I sh everybody should take that very serious. And most of the enemies are domestic and not foreign, unless you Correct. mean foreign corporations that have a state name at, at their heading. That would be foreign too. Right. Any corporate well, entity would be a foreign government or foreign entity that, yes. The biggest threat to our national security is our own government. Yes. And with that, with that being said, I would like to take time to wave a hand at the NSA agent assigned to monitor this international transmission. Fuck okay. you, sir or ma'am. <laughs> oh, we forgot about them, PDF. Yes. Reminded again. And um, mm. that on, but we'll find somebody to blame it on. We can't blame Steve. <laughs> no, nah, Steve's busy today. Sorry. No, nah, Steve. Listen, busy. listen, like I say, when in doubt, blame the Jew. Mm -hmm. That's well, all you have to do. When in doubt, C4, you know. <laughs> I'm an engineer. Yeah. When in doubt, well, C4, man. If you're like me, yeah. you would be getting the blame. Uh, I think they call those triple nickel engineers. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Either way, I'm starting to wonder about us. But, you know, people really do need to get involved. And, and all of these people that come out here on the YouTube and talk all their game and all of that, and uh, such as what Max did uh, the other day by exposing this guy, I yeah. mean, masterful, Max. I mean, it didn't take much to do that, but At it all. got done quick. <laughs> yeah, he was At so, all. Huh? That didn't so, take so, long so, at all. No, I was so, like... Master, that was masterful. <laughs> so, so these type of people. Nice, next thing you know, he's screaming. Power. So these type of people. These are the type of people who are who we are going to allow to advocate on our behalf to the government. No. Impossible. Negative. I want everybody to know I stand against that kind of people. That's why I've always been so outspoken, so boisterous. That's why I always say the words I say. I, I choose my weapons well, and my words are my only weapon. 
until true then. That. Until then. True that. You know, and until like I said, it's time when the zombies come, when you got to do what you got to do. As much as important as everything is on this whole damn American uh, value system, our guns are our last resort. And if yes. they take the last resort away, we ain't no better. We might well all just move to Mexico. At least we could probably have some guns over there because we can fight the government or pay them off. One of the guns are illegal in Mexico. But everybody got them. Everybody, this is the absurd. <laughs> yeah, New York's got the the strongest gun shit, and there's more guns in fucking New York. Well, California and New York has the most stringent. Uh, California, I think Colorado and New York have the most stringent gun laws in the U.S., and they have the worst problems of all. I'm not sure yeah. on the Colorado, but I know California, and New York. And how can the California people have- has some messed up gun laws? In New York, yeah. I would think would be the worst because New York yeah. is the worst period at almost everything. So that right there proves that taking guns away makes it more dangerous. Exactly. Absolutely. And I don't it think. Absolutely. But the fear mongers that- sell the other side of the coin, and this is the game that they play. Divide and conquer. What do they know? Democrat, Republican, political ideologies, big money involved. It's all a fucking racket. It's all a racket. And not only a racket, it's time to distract you from the actual things that are going on that are relevant and important to you as a person who lives where you live. What kind of place has two presidents are they? Trump being investigated, if it's true or not, don't matter. He's being in the courts and he's being run up in front of everybody, you know. And then we got the other president over there and his son, crackhead, running around and with they little. They don't do nothing to him. Take millions of dollars and scamming it. Society is the whole world's this way. Uh, we were talking to Gabby. She said over there in Dagon, uh, Scotland, is they're just as crooked over there. The shit they're doing and getting away with. The whole planet, the whole governments of all the governments, and the whole planet are fucking like this now. It ain't just us. It's not like it's just America. It's like the the system has worked its way through to the point where there's nothing left to eat, and they're just grabbing everything they can get because they need more. They need more. Now, where do we go from here if we lose our rights to stand up against our government? Because the Second Amendment is for us to be able to stand up against a government that's trying to take away our Second Amendment. Yes. Well, when you when you file petition for grievance, okay, the prescription is to follow the First Amendment, right? Your rules of order. One comes before two, two before three. So your First Amendment, you explore all the options. You file your petition, right to religion, freedom of the press, right to congregate, and all of that is not fruitful, Okay. Now, when all of that is not fruitful, we have the guarantee to the Constitution, which is the Second Amendment. That is why they are after the Second, is because the Second is the guarantee to the Constitution. Okay? So if they could get rid of the Second Amendment, then you have no avenue. You have no recourse after you file the First. Yep. You have no recourse. The government's going to look at you and just, you know, piss on you. They don't care. Okay? So, how do, what do we do at this point? What do we do? This may not work for everybody, but it worked for me. You run for public office. You petition. You go after their bonds. Before you sue a public official, whether they be police or elected official. Yeah, I was saying the same before thing. You the, sue, uh, yeah. Before you sue, okay, you have to file an ethics commission complaint. You have to go through the proper procedures. You can't just jump into a lawsuit. You have to prove the lawsuit, the validity of the lawsuit, because there are phases of that court filing. So if you write all your petitions, you file all your complaints, you do everything, now that gives you the warrant to go to the next level of the suit. Okay? But if the Second Amendment isn't there to guarantee it, then the glue to the Constitution comes apart. And they know this. That's why they're attacking the Second Amendment. They don't care if people go out there and kill a bunch of people. They could care less about that. As long as you pay your taxes before you do it. That's all they care about. Yep, all about the money. We have to be able to fight them without the money. How do you do that? Take their money away? It's, it's, yep. It's a difficult process. And it's, it's, uh, 
the way that it's structured, it's structured to discourage you, to discourage you from getting involved with these type of things. Because that's the same thing people told me. Oh, you'll ne- you never make it. You're not from here. You don't know anything about it. X, Y, Z. Why even try to run for politics? You know, you can't change anything. It did, voting doesn't work. I'm tired of hearing people say that. I really am. Because that's exactly what the government wants you to think. They want you to think that you can't change anything or do anything. And, I I can win a- and here's how I look at that the opposite way. I look at it as it's my silent form of protest. It's like I sat down. Now, could you imagine everybody stops voting? We, right. they, we don't, we don't uh, uh, the system's broken. We, all of a sudden now, nobody's voting, but we're all sitting here silently looking at them. Well, yeah, you know, the way to do that, actually, to cause them to wake up, I would say, would be to uh, trademark your legal fiction. And then they would have a real problem with their QSIP numbers that they couldn't use anymore and the bonds that they have on uh, the uh, misters and misses instead of the masters and mistresses, this would be a thing to see, to be honest. And yeah, I trademarked it. No more government mail. That's it. Thank you very much. You know, and you, th- technically you could sue them for copyright infringement. I would never be part of a system that worked and was fair and equal and just because if it's not and I'm not, then could you imagine what I might do? You well, know, I, mean, I can. I see an example of what others do. So I would think that you know the human animal would basically be able to perpetuate um, any hideous crime whatsoever, given the conditions. And today, the brainwashing is rampant. You piss blue steel off or hammer, they're going to jump out of airplanes and land on your head. <laughs> land on your head. <laughs> you know, people like that. <laughs> We, we need a t-shirt man we we need a t-shirt i'll work on some t-shirt design and yes i'll have that dog strapped to his chest right there you see that dog that thing that eats you alive before he even takes it off his chest <laughs> the thing is the beast i'm telling you right now so I, when i know the secret words that calm that beast's heart i could probably get away with bloody murder all you got to do is talk to them like a little baby and they lose their shit they're like oh i love you too you you know. I hope you speak German, because otherwise you're doomed. I'm just <laughs> uh, I've <laughs> learned keywords for dogs in German, Dutch, and uh, Alsace, if I if I'm correct. So yeah, just Junior give up. was well versed in uh, in uh, dog uh, care training, and okay, yeah. if we if we don't agree to belong to a system of some sort. Everybody try to pick, you know, the common goods and say, okay, we will all agree to this and live in harmony. If we don't agree to that type of lifestyle, we're going to have groups that are going to be able to jump out of airplanes and land on your head. And you don't want that kind of people running around saying, well, we can't have, we don't want to belong to anybody's system. We want to be on the outside of the system looking in, but we want, I don't think that's a good existence for humanity. I think you can say I I, I agree with that, but at some point, you know, you have to remove yourself from this vicious animal. And I've tried, I mean, I've boxed myself in and I don't deal with any of that stuff at all. It's like almost non existent. We've been through for the people that haven't been through it. Yeah. They learn from what we've been through and maybe they'll tighten up a little bit. You would hope. Let's see what we what happened to us, and if they allow to continue what the government's doing to them now, it will happen to them because we're watching it every single day. And this is another fine example, Absolutely. and that, that goes to the point that. And it's funny that I think most people that use these, you don't see a whole bunch of daggone people running around the street with these things strapped to their arm. It's military people, disabled people that right. they're taking. Like they're hitting them up. How that right there should be a lawsuit that they're attacking disabled people because how all it well, that's already a discrimination and uh 1984 case for uh, yeah, but again, we've already understood that that's a this is lawsuit it's a prey animal, right? They're all prey animals, the whole system. The police are used as a strong arm, but they all seek the prey and they will make you a victim. 
Yeah. And like I said, they sent me to the Wolves. Well, I come back, I feel like I'm leading the pack. <laughs> but either way. I, I, I understand uh, where you're coming from, though, and I totally agree with that. You know? Americans are going to have to stand up on this one. Or if they stand against against this, this is pre-Hitler German shit all over again. And like they don't I said in the beginning of our discussion, you know, they should use brown shirts and Nazis instead of all this uh, politically correct oh okay, pig but, or what. No, you're but, a fucking but, Nazi, man. Right. If you're going, if you're going to portray yourself in a certain manner, then you know, do it a hundred percent. Don't try to half-ass it. I mean, don't try to look, hide it. Like, like I've heard them say in the Marine Corps, say it with feelings. You know. You know. You know say I mean, it with feelings. Gonna... Mean it. If you're going to be a Nazi, then be a fucking Nazi. Be a fucking don't, Nazi. No don't half-ass. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm okay. sorry I have to do this to you, but... Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hitler with glow sticks, motherfucker. Come on. You got, you got, you got way more than just a Nazi type of group. Because you have the gang member mentalities, like in Los Angeles. How many gangs were in the Los Angeles Police Force? Now, these were official gangs. They're no better than the... Oh, absolutely. Mexico. So, we're not just fighting Nazis. You see what I mean? We have a large no, PDF, you're fighting a gang of Nazis. This is... Oh, many gangs. You know gang. what I'm saying? They're it's all a, a gang. Exactly. So now you say you defeated the Nazi people and everybody came away from that group and said, well, they're not going to be neo-Nazis, which are people that vote Nazi, neo-Nazi, which I had to learn of the Ukraine thing because the head of the police over there is a self-proclaimed neo-Nazi, runs the whole police department, and the, the entire Ukraine. Well, how can you yeah. have a Nazi, a, a neo-Nazi run the whole police department of Ukraine? So now what happens when the neo-Nazis self-proclaimed run our police departments or are they already they are right. already and i could tell you operation paperclip brought in so many nazis that it's not funny and they brought them into the science technology and data they run the cia they run the fbi they run nasa they, they sent men to the moon people don't know this they were coming in as doctors on um, lyme disease thank you mr nazi uh, the examples are endless. There's so many examples, I don't even remember all of them. And it's astounding that people don't know these simple facts. There are more Nazis in America than there ever yeah. were in Germany. Not only that, Germany won the Third World War. They run Europe, and that was Hitler's big dream. And it came to fruition in a free world after all the men died on the beaches and all that stuff. The Nazis won Europe because the head of the European community is in Germany. And the Germans run the show. Finished. People don't look. The, the, idea, the idea and the concept of socialism was a foreign entity to Germany. Socialism didn't start in Germany. Okay? It started on Wall Street. And what it was was a gamble to try to take over the centralized banks in Europe. How do we take these banks over without firing a shot? We create socialism and we transfer the wealth. And it worked. Among, so much so. Among, I, would, I, I wouldn't so, blame because, again, you know, there are a lot of um, trigger points that, the, that made it right. so, you know. But, but again, the idea, the exact, idea this is and what the I'm concept. Saying, the, the brainwashing was done and it was very effective and it's Correct. very easy to brainwash masses obviously it's worked so many times it started roman days you know what i mean there ain't nothing the romans didn't do that the nazis didn't do they just talked german well the socialists the socialists have perfected mass hypnosis okay so and the warning sign should have been to the world when world war ii was over and nato was formed and then they installed Rommel's right-hand man as nope. the supreme allied leader of NATO. Okay, so you just defeated the Nazis, but you put them back in power. Hmm. See, this is the whole question of the World War II against the Germans that, that I have. Because what I've seen, America and the Germans were in cahoots for a very, very long time before. Long the war, time. You know? 
And I've seen pictures of children in the 40s and 50s doing the Roman salute with the American flag under it. You know, a very famous bunch of pictures in school. So, you know, it's not all that you've been told it is. And actually, the truth and reality is actually opposite to the conscious story that everybody's been fed. Nothing more dangerous than rewritten history, my man. You know, the winner, right. the winner writes history, not the loser. Uh, Napoleon, right there. Napoleon, another fucking fascist. So these people, uh, you know, that have formed these ideas and concepts, once they go into fruition and then it no longer produces any fruit, they shelf that idea. They don't get rid of it. They shelf never, it. Put it never. on the shelf, okay? Work so the then, first time, it'll work the tenth time. That's right. Hey, so that's years that. pass. You ain't slipping up, are you, on the vet trip? No, no, no. I'm waiting for Junior to hit the door, you know? Oh, I and and was... then I boogie. He got to come to my house. And then from here, we gather up the cat. I got everything ready, and we're we're off. I'm probably going to videotape there, too. He was going to slip out or mess up and miss your time. That's what no, I no, no. I, Junior beat me silly if I did that. You know, it's a yeah. special favor that he's doing. You know, he's <laughs> taking me to work on his day off, you know? <laughs> Coming to get you. That's all right. You got this. Yeah, Yo, it's coming. Oh, he's coming to get me. Oh, yep, yep. I go to the vet commander, and then I didn't know if he had to leave on his own or somebody was coming to get him. So that's why I had to throw that in there. No, oh, got it. No, we're going together. It's a person that he works with. He's done uh, quite a bit of studies, and he works in a really big vet hospital. And uh, he's forwarding himself in a professional manner. You know, and yep. I'm I'm really proud and very jealous and envious that I wish my dad would have explained life so good that I'd be on the correct path today. You know. <laughs> Yeah. Very important. Very important. But you might have took the wrong views, though. What if you would have had someone like that and then they would have steered you down the wrong road and you'd be looking like Joe Biden's son over there? Well, l let me put it to you like this. I couldn't have done any worse than I did by myself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> any any little bit of hint or help would have been better. But again, the old my old man personally came from a way different age. You know, I kind of like skipped a generation. So just think of, like, your grandfather, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was yep. a different time. It was a very different time. Definitely, definitely. And now we see it. I don't understand why it's so hard for the general public to not see or want to know. But then I'm well, looking... It all depends on how brainwashed you are by the machine and how easy your access is to reality. I used to say, why do you think all advertisement is steered towards the young people? And then you've come up with words in the past 20, 30 years ago, like subliminal. Well, this again, in the end of World War II, uh, Freud's uncle, uh, uh, I forget his name. It starts with a B. Uh, well, no, he invented you... the whole issue of consumerism, and then it came from consumerism and well-built items to the consumerism of the idea of the new. And then there we go to, you know, so again, you're all developing this um, subversive behavior to your money and purchasing and buying things of value. And now you're replacing them with things of style. So the whole mind think has been skewed about 20 degrees on the compass. So you think you're going the right way, but your compass is really wrong. How, how open are you to understand that there's a deviation in your compass that's a big issue. You, you gotta know, go flow. the brainwashing, the subliminals, the advertisement, the lamestream media, the voting thing. Most mm -hmm. young people or old people, you know, what I mean, all that put together goes back to the brainwashing of society to make you think guns are the problem. Make you think some little add-on that you can put on your fucking gun to help you steady the shot better because people don't know how to shoot. Maybe. It's not there to, for what they're trying to say it's there for. How many no, but people... the implied fear is enough because you've been, again, the, the mindset is like guns are dangerous. They kill people. Or what about the idiot that's wielding the gun? Who gave the guy the gun? You know what I'm saying? I mean, they're paid, there's paperwork and checks supposedly that you have to do. And all these people bought their guns with all these checks, and they're absolutely batshit crazy. How so... does it... 
well, what's the problem? Is it the, the, the gun, the person, or the system that regulates all this stuff that isn't doing their job? Because, you know, hey, government workers, they don't like to do their job. It's the or, maybe, or maybe there is a trickling effect from each category. Okay, And this would be so, the brainwashing. Right, yeah, that, okay. So, like, say, so for instance, if somebody comes into my shop, okay, and <clears throat> what I look for is I look for indicators, Okay, certain psychological and physical indicators. Right, right. Now, I am covered by uh, entering into commerce and having insurance on my business. I'm covered. Uh, I'm exempt from liability to a certain degree. Okay. Now, if I sell a weapon to somebody and they go out and, God forbid, use that weapon in an unscrupulous measure, I cannot be held liable. That person is held liable. But what the government is trying to do is put the liability on everybody in society. You see what I'm saying? Now, I took oh, the I measure. I understand that. It's all the collective, collective, collective. There we go. But it's, no, it is, these are individual. No, it's a collective. Because, again, you're a bunch of citizens. You're chattel. There we, we go. on you. You work for me, not the other way around. You know, as the government sees it, you're a government worker if you consider yourself a citizen. Because you have the ever... plainly says so. Because ha has anybody ever noticed that when the government addresses the U.S. citizens, they say people, not people. They don't use it in plural. They use it in singular. They don't use it in plural. They use it in singular. And well, all you have use, to do... They would say person, not people, because that, that's right. the indicator. Well, people, A person is something that you wear, and that is your right, citizenship. But, but the using, personhood would be the... Um, like the cops, they're, you know, they get the privilege. They're using, they're using the word people in singularism. They're not using it in pluralism, right? So when they are stating these facts, all you have to do is look above them on the Senate floor and you will see the fascisti acts. Fascisti. right there in front of us. You said that with a Russian accent. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, it is what it is. I, 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 I'm with you, man. He speaks a whole bunch of languages, man. I, I know, I know. <laughs> so do I. So, it's good. <laughs> right. A piece well, of Yiddish is always good. A little bit of Yid. That's there right. There you go, or, man. Or you, you learn it from your Meshuggah very quickly. Yeah, the Meshuggah to Zayda. <laughs> man. But, you know, it's so when, when you think in different languages, so your, your thought patterns go only as far as your language capability skill. That's oh, as absolutely. far as you can think. Right. Absolutely. So, so if you can understand and comprehend other languages and cultures, then you're thinking on multiple parallels at the same time. In applying this to the government, thinking in multiple parallels, applying it to the government. It, it's not an easy thing to do, but it can be done. It can be um, done. It can be done. So people say, well, how do we change the government? Well, we first must look at society because government is a direct reflection of society. So we have to first figure out how to change society. What are the discrepancies with society that can be changed? Um, and we better do it quick before the Russians get here because if the Russians get here, they're going to have it their way. Not all. Well, the the Russians, if they get here, they're going to be fighting with the Chinese. Let's put it like that. When, when, when I should say when, not uh, not if. You know, I hey, I'm a skeptic. You know, what I'm, <laughs> I'm into yeah, the I, if. Uh, when I agree uh, with that train of thought, I mean, I, I'm not saying no, but I'm me personally, I'm a skeptic. You know what I mean? I'm prepared at first. That's all I can uh, say. I'm dying well, for it. The math, the math, the math that I'm looking at implies when, not if. I so, understand you know, where that, you're going. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, what I think what we have so, to do is so you're a fatalist. I see. <laughs> well, yeah, absolutionist. You know what I mean? Well, even better, <laughs> even better, man. Beware the title that you wear. I, I dig that. Yes, yes, I agree with you. So uh, you know, thank you, and, and so. What we're doing here right now are the basic building blocks of repairing society by conversing, by helping each other with their issues and problems, becoming think tanks. And the opposition, the evil entity that's out there, does not like that. They do not like what we're doing because they know we're right. They know we're righteous. They know we're helping people. 
That's why they're so adamant against you, PDF, the, all the hate and the evil and the animosity. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it was coming. I've seen it. So I said, I, I can rile them all up into one little old fucking shitty fucking thing. We could watch who they are. And it's plain oh to evil. It's plain that'll come out and just take somebody's word for it and not even research but yet pretty much put out here and act like they put veteran in their name so now they're a good guy but, but the that, funny thing is that we just like learned that very lesson tonight that you're exactly saying right now that people said one thing nobody bothered to check nobody bothered for the sum to equal up in their little own heads and it took absolutely two geniuses to yeah. be like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> it shouldn't be like that. <laughs> I mean, blatantly <laughs> obvious to, to the observer, I will say. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it was cool, though, because it, it led on to a great day. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. I, I more than oh, enjoyed it. No one got injured. No one got harassed. <laughs> <laughs> no bruises were received in the uh, observation yeah. of this feat of magical mindness. Yes. It's we all know after today it's Ohio Steve's fault first, and then absolutely. Si five Bry is causing our Wi-Fi to go down. And we he learned that's a five hundred word, uh, and, you know, essay. <laughs> yeah, Terry Olson is missing because he's been calling the. Um, is he calling Shenanigan, uh, Wisconsin? <laughs> he's calling Shenanigan, Wisconsin, and they're telling him back. that that is not there. So he's on the phone constantly all day today. And, and we're looking up shenanigan wisconsin people were still coming in believing this shit after we sat there and called it shenanigan and i mean we were throwing the hints around that hey look there's a gold coin and there's music playing and then it we gets made it very simple to understand I, I agree with you sir i agree with you way it could be live but yet we let people think that it was really live until they probably went back and researched and watched the video and realized wait a minute this ain't live, and there is no shenanigan Wisconsin. But Terry, I will Golson, tell you the best part of it was when Sci-Fi showed up, and you know, what happened? <laughs> totally innocent. <laughs> that would that'd be priceless, dude. Priceless. Yeah, the best part is I forgot all about calling him. I should have called him when I first came in and acted oh, more. Oh, I thought you did. You told you said that his phone was disconnected or something like that. But yeah, you reminded me, but we were a long time into it. But I don't think gotcha, anybody. Gotcha. Because I was like, oh, shit. Because if I really thought he was arrested, I would have called his phone right away, right? Yeah, you would have. Yeah. No. Well, this goes back to that you didn't see the video, and then you went live, and then you watched the video, and then we're like, hum for the third time. I'm like, oh, BDF, dude. Uh, yeah. One plus one does not equal three. I don't know. <laughs> it was funny as hell, though. But... Yeah, it was. It was. Always a good time with you, PDF. Always a good time. I had fun, man. Like I say, it was all Yo. pretty cool. Yeah. Listen, I, I couldn't say no, you know what I mean? I'm like, ah, all right, I'm on this. Let's go. Let's go. It's going to be a good time, that's for sure. And and she just asked me, did we get arrested? I was like, no, we didn't get arrested. Because she thought this morning when she got up that Sci-Fi got arrested. I was like, because I told her, yeah, I'm just putting the video up for Sci-Fi. got arrested. And I went live. I went live on StreamYards and took the dogs for a walk. So I came yeah. back in and started watching the video. And right away, I'm like, wait a minute. This ain't. This ain't live. This this is pre-recorded. The funny thing is, I thought you were going to go live before you even went live, cause like you recorded it, and I'm used to all right. PDF got some hot pancakes in the pan, you know, awake or not, <laughs> you know, let's throw down, y'all. But well, when yeah. he, back to me, he said he said Sci-Fi got arrested. Not like I said, I wasn't really awake. I didn't even make coffee, so I said, okay, well, I'll go ahead and I went into the room. Coffee first, straight up. <laughs> I checked it out, and I said, okay, well, I'll record the video. So I recorded it, and I set it to do an instant free mode. So it just came on. I never even watched the video. But it wasn't like I was saying something bad about someone, like the way do a lot of people out here. So, you know, like I say, it wasn't something that I should have had to research because, oh, you're so wrong, and you did all these bad things because you didn't yeah. research. The way they did you know what I mean? The way they did come out and attack people saying they did things, but they never researched the video. Well, I never researched this video, so I put it out there. You know, 
for Ohio Steve. It's his fault, of course. And um, <laughs> <laughs> I put it up, right? And then I went live on the stream yards after the video played, and I typed in the chat a little bit. But like I said, I wasn't really paying attention. So it just shows you so you can be steered wrong just because even watching or not watching a video, just because you think someone got arrested. Because when Steve watched it, he really believed that sci-fi got arrested. And so once he believed it, he sent the information to Chuck Bronson. His friends came over. None of them typed in the chat that this was no, a two. No. Not one well, of them. Well, no, I'm telling you from what I was reading, even the mods didn't know. And again, uh, you know, that's an issue. That's an issue. Because yeah. the mods, they do let, at least the mod, a little bit of responsibility to, to know what's going on. Oh, yeah, he's doing a rebroadcast. Don't worry about it kind of thing. <laughs> Yeah, he falls asleep all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. So, yeah, uh, Very interesting. The Rue Goldberg machine pushed the PDF button today, and they will be paying the consequences, Steve. Steve, it's your fault. <laughs> but I got to go to the store. I got to go get some stuff. Right on, PDF. Right on. So I'm going to go ahead and end it. And um, Heck, we've been out here a long time. For eight and a half hours over that. And then tomorrow it'll be Cat's fault. Or AJ. Oh, everybody has to take their turn in volunteers. They, you know, he's moving up on the list. I'm telling you that right now. AJ is right there underneath where Steve was. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> I'm about to go back and watch the clip. I think he was there. Yeah. All right, y'all have fun. Have a good day. A better tomorrow. I'm gonna put an end to it, and I'm back quiet. Come on in the room.